Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 5 PSP. Chapter 181 Invitation and Joining First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Compared with what you know on paper, you can only recognize it when you really see it. Luo Wei is stronger than he imagined. Yamato is terrible. While cooperating with Perona to deal with the negative people, Nico Robin also became more uneasy. Because she already understands that Luo Wei possesses a power that she cannot resist, and whether it is to escape or save her life, she needs to act according to Luo Wei's next face. After finishing Aubrey, Luo Wei didn't make a move. Instead, he came to the ruins and sat on a broken wall to watch the fight between the two women. Although killing the remaining members of the Tekken society will surely gain a lot of crime points, just like the previous hunts on gangsters, Luo Wei also has the idea of using the West Blue Gangsters to hone Perona. Hard work can certainly enhance a person's strength, but fighting is also a part of practice, it can also grow people, and it can also cultivate a wealth of combat experience. Without Luo Wei's help, although some people escaped, most of them were dealt with by Perona and Nico Robin in a short period of time. Even in the later stage, Perona did not cooperate with Nico Robin, but adopted close combat, using 610 physical skills to fight with people from the Tekken Association. This is also the result of Luo Wei's training direction for her. She can focus on Devil Fruit, but she must not lag behind too much in terms of physical skills. Advertisement. In the case that you do not need to use Devil Fruit to fight, you can use physical combat. Perona obviously obeyed Luo Wei's usual teachings to her, and did not blindly rely on Devil Fruit to fight. Regarding this situation, Nico Robin was also a little surprised, but because he hadn't gotten rid of the dangerous situation, he didn't think much about it. When the battle was over, Luo Wei first praised Perona's performance, and then left with the two girls. Returning to the port, Nico Robin stopped suddenly. Mr. Kakarot, I have already taken you to the headquarters of the Tekken Society. If there is nothing else, I wonder if I can leave. On the way back, she actually wanted to bring it up, but because Luo Wei didn't look at her, it was delayed until now. Luo Wei and Perona who was sweating a lot and was about to get on the boat to take a shower, both turned their heads to look at each other. Are you sure you want to leave? As far as I know, you are regarded as a dangerous person by the world government, but you have been avoiding detection by all kinds of forces. Don't you think I am not as good as those forces you used to stay with? Luo Wei asked back. He naturally thought about the other party's handling during the time just now. Not to mention the dramatic encounter. The important thing is that Nico Robin's talent is really good. Advertisement. In addition to Grandmaster Archaeology, he is also good at assassination and knowledgeable, and has a deep understanding of world government, pirates, and navigation. Then there is the flower flower fruit that the opponent has mastered. In Luo Wei's opinion, this devil fruit ability also has a very considerable potential. Once developed, the opponent may not be able to become a powerful force. Also, Nico Robin had been in the Tekken Club before, so he must have some understanding of the West Blue Underworld Gang, which will also help him in his next hunt. Of course, Luo Wei does not deny that he has some male psychology mixed in. Beautiful things are inherently attractive, and Nico Robin's personality and appearance are in line with his aesthetics, so he naturally doesn't mind keeping the other party by his side. Nico Robin was taken aback by Luo Wei's words. He seemed to be very surprised, but he also started to think unconsciously. First of all, she definitely won't be Luo Wei's opponent, and she doesn't even have the possibility of escaping. Then, just as Luo Wei said, Luo Wei's strength is extremely powerful, surpassing those forces she has been with before, if she stays with Luo Wei, she will naturally be able to get better protection. You know me so well, you probably don't know the world government's determination to capture me. I can tell you that once my whereabouts are exposed, it may even lead to the pursuit of Marine Admiral. In a short period of time, Nico Robin thought a lot, and then she just stared closely at Luo Wei. Luo Wei smiled slightly, and said, I don't think you will believe me just by words, so you can follow me for a while, and if you think I'm not worth trusting, then you can leave at that time. That's right, let's stay for now, our abilities are so matched, maybe we can become a good partner in the future. Perona seemed to have a good impression of Nico Robin, and said with a smile. Advertisement. Nico Robin looked at Luo Wei, then at Perona for a while, and suddenly a smile full of intellectual beauty appeared on his face. It seems that I can't refuse, well, anyway, I have nowhere to go, so I will trouble you for the time being. What's the trouble? There are only three people on board in total. I just have company when you come. Perona stepped forward and grabbed Nico Robin's arm, saying happily. Really, it seems that we should get along very well. Nico Robin smiled, and she also did not reject Perona. Let's go, we'll talk on board the boat if we have anything to say. Seeing that Nico Robin chose to stay, Luo Wei was also very satisfied. With a wave of his hand, he turned around and jumped onto the moonlight. Nico Robin and Perona are not far behind. Robin, 
I'm going to take a shower, do you want to come together? After getting on the deck, Hirona asked Nico Robin without any sense of unfamiliarity. Not only did she consume a lot of physical strength in the battle with the Iron Fist just now, but she also left a lot of sweat on her body. When she came back now, she was naturally ready to wash it off. Okay. Nico Robin was ready to nod in agreement, after all, she had been chased all the way, and she also sweated a lot. It's just that before she could finish her sentence, a burst of violent gunfire came from a distance, and then she saw the shells all over the sky rushing towards at an astonishing speed, falling towards the port where the moonlight was located. Boom boom boom. On the side of the moonlight facing the sea, there was a violent explosion in midair, and the shock caused the nearby sea to stir up chaotic waves, which also made Nico Robin and Perona look hurriedly. Advertisement. Chapter 182 finally arrived, second update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The huge translucent spherical shield firmly sheltered the moonlight at the rear, and Lua Wei had already appeared in front of the guardrail on the other side at some point. What a big ship, is this a pirate ship? Looking in the direction where the cannon roar came from, Perona's eyes widened suddenly, with both shock and anger on his face. It can be seen that on the sea in the distance, a giant ship that looks like a hill is sailing fast towards the port. On the same huge sail, even if it is far away, you can see the skull pattern representing pirates on it. The most important thing is that the bombardment just now came from this huge pirate ship, and after the first round of shelling was over, the second round of shells fired towards the moonlight again after a few seconds. Boom boom boom. Like the previous bombardment, the Thought Power built a powerful protective shield to firmly block the falling shells again, and the violent explosion made the nearby sea more turbulent. This pirate picture. Not good. This ship is from the Crusher pirate picture, they are the great pirate force of New World. Nico Robin also stared at the huge pirate ship in the distance for the first time, and after looking carefully, he recognized the pirate pattern on the other party's sail, and immediately cried out coquettishly. Stand firm. In front of the guardrail, Lua Wei gave a loud shout without looking back, followed by a majestic thought force that burst out from his body, devouring the density. Boom. Advertisement. Nian Li not only turned the moonlight around, but also under the ferocious push, the main ship burst out at an astonishing speed and rushed straight towards the port side. The sudden rush caused the ship to shake, but because of Luo Wei's reminder, both Perona and Nico Robin reacted immediately, stabilized their bodies quickly, and did not fall down. As for Hoback, after the first round of shelling, he had already fled into the cabin. As a non-combatant on the ship, and also an important ship doctor, Luo Wei gave him special instructions early on that if a battle broke out, he could directly hide in the bilge. The third round of bombardment by the huge pirate ship could not go on as the moonlight rushed away, but the people on the huge pirate ship also immediately changed their sailing trajectory and chased after the moonlight. The Crusher pirates have come to West Blue, are they planning to avenge Terence? Propelling the moonlight to sail quickly with his thoughts, Luo Wei also looked at the huge pirate ship chasing him with a solemn expression. He didn't know the identity of the other party at first, but Robin's words told him the origin of the other party. However, the reason why he was so dignified, and even directly controlled the moonlight to leave, was not because of the name of the Crusher Pirates. The real reason is that after he was bombarded, he sensed many powerful auras from observation hockey of the huge pirate ship. These powerful auras represent nearly a hundred superhuman level combat forces and several powerful level combat forces according to a rough assessment. In addition, Luo Wei also sensed a terrifying aura above the green pepper, which undoubtedly told him that there was a dominant level of combat power on the opposite side. He is not afraid of the overlord level combat power on the opposite side, but Perona and Nico Robin can't deal with nearly a hundred superhuman level combat power and several powerful level combat power. Advertisement. Hurry up. Don't let the other party run away. This time, we must not let that bastard, the evil hunter, escape again. Keep firing and intercept the ship for Lousy. The huge pirate ship is the main ship of the Crusher Pirates. Under the rapid pursuit, the pirates on board kept shouting and shouting. At the bow of the ship, Locke yelled in shock and anger when he saw the distance between the two ships gradually widening. Boom boom boom. The belated third round of bombardment was quickly fired from the huge pirate ship. As a big pirate force, the cannons equipped by the crusher pirates on the main ship are undoubtedly top-notch. Even though Luo Wei quickly pulled the distance between the two sides to one nautical mile with his thoughts, the shells fired by the huge pirate ship quickly caught up with the moonlight and launched a violent bombardment. However, Luo Wei's psychic shield is not a vegetarian either. Covering the entire ship, the shells that fell from the bombing were all resisted, and did not cause substantial damage to the moonlight. Zero. Seeking flowers. After several rounds of bombardment, the crusher pirates not only failed to intercept Luo Wei, but instead widened the distance between the two sides. No way, Captain, the opponent's ship seems to have some special power, our ship can't catch up at all. Damn it, how could such a thing happen? Our ship was purchased from the capital of Seven Waters, and the keel was built by the precious tree Adam. How could it be thrown away by a three-masted sailing ship? Advertisement. Want to escape? Lousy will not give you this chance, evil hunter, let Lousy die. 
Finding that the distance between the two sides continued to decrease, the members of the Crusher Pirates were both shocked and angry. At this time, Locke at the bow jumped out in a rage, and then stepped on the void, at an astonishing speed. Grabbed towards the moonlight. What the hell is going on with the Crusher Pirates, why are they chasing us? I think it's for revenge. If I remember correctly, our captain once killed the other side's deputy captain. It's normal and normal for the other side to come. What? Perona and Nico Robin, who had stabilized their bodies, quickly looked at the huge pirate ship that was chasing after them, and when Perona voiced his doubts, Nico Robin quickly responded. The newspaper published by the World Economic News Agency at the time had reports on Luo Wei's previous achievements. Compared with Perona who only glanced at it briefly, Nico Robin read it carefully. So when she recognized the giant pirate ship as the Crusher Pirates, she immediately analyzed the greatest possibility. Kindness. Luo Wei didn't pay attention to the conversation between the two women, his attention was focused on the Crusher Pirates, and when Locke stepped down, he was also the first to notice it, his eyes froze slightly. It turned out to be Moonwalk, is this person the captain of the Crusher Pirates? Locke is naturally the most powerful or that Luo Wei perceives, and to be able to have such strength, naturally he can only be the captain of the Crusher Pirates. Although Luo Wei was surprised that the opponent would be able to perform the moonwalk in the sixth form, he reacted immediately. Advertisement. Chapter 183 Conflict and Interception 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Jung. The eyes seemed to be haloed with extremely sharp eyes, Luo Wei quickly swept away from Locke, entered the range of his own slashing, and instantly drew out the knife, and slashed straight at the opponent in the bright light of the knife. Mind Flow Slash Condor. The terrifying slash split the air in front, causing violent air waves to separate towards the sides, and at the same time cause the beautiful eyes of Perona and Nico Robin behind them to widen. Like a steep solitary peak, nearly 100 meters high, the blazing radiance of the sword tore through the sea with earth-shattering domineering power, and then madly slashed towards Locke who was rushing through the air. What kind of power is this? Nico Robin's face was shocked, because his heart felt as if he had been hit by a storm. Although she pays attention to intelligence collection, after all, she is only, 350, in the world, and has never really seen the upper level power of this world. Luo Wei surpassed the sword light slash of ordinary great swordsmen, as if it shattered the world view she had erected before, and saw the true appearance of this world. In comparison, although Perona is also very shocked, after all, Luo Wei has beheaded and killed the sea kings who attacked many times, so the impact suffered by Nico Robin is much smaller. The sea was sliced open by the solitary peak-like terrifying sword light, and Locke, who was chasing after him through the air, shrank his pupils when he saw the sword light sweeping ahead. Advertisement. Is this the slash from the evil hunter? What did he do with the sword? He was also surprised. But in just a split second, his heart was once again filled with killing intent, not only did he not stop chasing, but instead exploded at a faster speed, exploding like a cannonball trampled on the air under his feet. Ah, Locke didn't choose to dodge, but directly faced the sword light with a fierce attitude, and his right fist quickly gathered under the amazingly powerful armament hockey, and smashed out with an extremely violent punch. Boom. A huge roar resounded through the main sea area, and the majestic air waves visible to the naked eye spread wildly, distorting and churning the surrounding void and sea surface. After a brief violent collision between the fist and the sword light, Locke paused slightly and shattered the sword light with incomparable strength. Like an explosion, the huge sword light immediately dissipated into scattered vigor, and Locke also followed the trend and continued to chase out, quickly approaching the moonlight. How come? The slash was broken. Perona saw that Luo Wei's slash was shattered by Locke, his face was full of disbelief and horror. The face of Nico Robin next to him also changed drastically. Although she has only just boarded the ship, she is undoubtedly with Luo Wei now. Originally, Luo Wei's slashed sword light shocked her, but now suddenly there is an enemy who can smash that terrifying slasher, which undoubtedly shows how terrifying and powerful the enemy is. Robin, you should know how to steer a boat. Advertisement. With his back to the two women, Luo Wei quickly slashed again, but he didn't use his sword skills, but purely slashed out the sword light. While intercepting Locke who was chasing him with his sword light, he said in a deep voice without turning his head. Nico Robin was taken aback for a moment, then hesitated for a moment after reacting, and then said, I did learn navigation, you ask this is. It will be fine, then the next voyage will be handed over to you, and I will buy you enough time to evacuate. Luo Wei directly interrupted the other party's next words, and after finishing speaking, he flew into the air directly, and swept towards the pulled up sail with mental force, knocking it back, and then headed towards Locke who was chasing him. Hey, what are you going to do, come back quickly. Perona, who had just reacted, turned pale with fright, rushed forward, and shouted anxiously at Luo Wei who was going away. Whether it's Luo Wei's slash being smashed to pieces, or his evacuation, these are enough to prove that the enemies he encountered this time are far more terrifying than ever before. Although Perona was a little bewildered, she also discovered this situation. Although she has been dissatisfied with being with Luo Wei on weekdays, in fact, after getting along for more than a year, she has already recognized Luo Wei. 
After all, apart from being strict in training, Luo Wei has always been very tolerant towards Perona in other aspects, especially after the battle at Baoyu Glacier, which made Perona develop subtle feelings for Luo Wei. Seeing Luo Wei going to intercept a strong enemy now, Perona naturally felt anxious, and even panicked, she was afraid that Luo Wei would encounter an accident. Nico Robin was also in a daze. Although she had some guesses, she didn't expect that Luo Wei would actually intercept the enemy for them to evacuate. Advertisement. In her past experiences, once the power she belongs to encounters a strong enemy, she will mercilessly abandon useless companions, and even she is often the one who is abandoned. Anyone born in this world will never be alone. He will definitely have a partner who is willing to protect him. Will he be my partner? At this time, Nico Robin couldn't help but recall the words Saul said to her before he died, and murmured. Recovering from his trance, Nico Robin took a deep breath and ran quickly towards the rudder. He is really a considerate man, maybe you will really be my partner. Glancing at the sails that had fallen, her beautiful eyes revealed a strange brilliance, she smiled but firmly steered the moonlight, which had slowed down after losing her mind power, and sailed towards the distance at full speed. 4.3. Boom. Horrific vigor crazily overflowed, and amidst the sharp roaring sound, the void and the sea within a radius of hundreds of meters were twisted and tossed by the impact of radiation passing by. Ha 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 ha. Sin Hunter, do you finally understand that running away is useless? When Nico Robin was evacuating by boat, Lua Wei and Locke also met quickly. Both sides swung violent fists, and one split and slashed. The collision caused a huge movement. Both of them were shocked. They were both repulsed by the opponent's powerful attack. Locke stepped back under the continuous air blast of Moonwalk, and stabilized his figure after retreating less than 10 meters, at the same time, he smirked at Luo Wei. On the other side, Luo Wei did the same thing. After retreating nearly 10 meters, he stopped his retreat with a gushing force of thought. Advertisement. Chapter 184 Fighting in Six Forms, Fourth. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. This person is indeed much stronger than Qingzhao, whether it's physical strength or armament hockey's cultivation. Feeling the numbness in his hands, Luo Wei's heart became serious, and at the same time he stared at the other party coldly. Although it was just a confrontation, it was enough to obtain some information. In the collision just now, Locke not only exploded with amazing physical strength, but also the armament hockey covering his fist was extremely powerful. In addition to the extremely high strength, like the original green pepper, the application of armament hockey has reached an advanced level, which can produce the effect of, outward release. Come again. While grinning grimly, Locke rushed out again, punching Luo Wei violently. The air that was squeezed by the terrifying force was layer upon layer, and the impact like a tsunami swept across and spread. Jung. Luo Wei intends to obtain more information from the other party, so he slashed out the piercing light of the knife at the same time, and under the powerful attack, he met the fist that was coming towards him with the force of tearing apart the void. Oh nine. Boom. Advertisement. The knife and fist collided again, and the two terrifying forces immediately released an astonishing impact. The huge air waves radiated in all directions like a gust of wind, and the stirred up sea below created huge waves. The fierce collision between the fist and the sword even splashed messy sparks. In this collision, Luo Wei felt the opponent's strength and armament hockey's cultivation level more accurately. At the same time, he did not confront the opponent like last time. Instead, after obtaining enough information, he suddenly turned the blade, and his body was staggered from one side, so that the two exchanged positions from left to right. Without a moment's pause, the two sides crossed each other, and when rushing towards both sides under inertia, Luo Wei immediately twisted his waist like a twist, turned around and attacked. Under the terrible sharpness, the blade cut out a huge crescent-shaped sword light, as if dividing the world into two, tearing towards Locke. Paper Arts. Locke reacted very quickly, and immediately stopped the inertia with the moon cloth. He turned around and saw that under the torn sword glow, he was flustered like a thin paper, but he dodged it by the airflow rolled up by the sword glow. Come. Although Marine Six Styles is the inheritance of world government and Marine, there are also many people in the sea who have mastered this physical skill. This is obviously the case for Locke. Before he became a great pirate, he captured a Marine General after discovering the powerful potential of the Six Forms. From the opponent's mouth, he tortured the Six Style practice method. The sword light was avoided, Luo Wei didn't stop the attack because of this, but spurred his thoughts to shoot out, approached, and immediately cut the blade, slashing towards the opponent's neck. Ding. Boom. Locke immediately recovered his physical condition, and then lifted the wall to resist the slash. Amid the sound of Jin Jie clashing, the violent collision immediately caused a huge impact visible to the naked eye to spread. Advertisement. Locke and Qingzhao are the same type of powerhouse, and they also follow the path of Taiju and Haki, and compared to the old and declining Qingzhao, he is even stronger in these two aspects. Especially armament Haki, with its extremely high strength and the application of high level, external release, even Luo Wei's cold flow slash is difficult to break through the defense. Locke's arm firmly blocked Luo Wei's slash, and then another attack came without a pause. 
Finger pistol. The index finger pierced out like lightning, the sharp force of the finger made holes in the air, approaching Luo Wei's heart in the blink of an eye. Paper art's snake shake. With his weak and boneless body twisting, Luo Wei resolutely withdrew the knife and dodged the danger, Shi Wen dangerously staggered the stabbing index finger. Whoosh. The finger pistol that hit the air shot out a beam-like impact, flying obliquely with a degree of condensedness visible to the naked eye, hitting the sea surface tens of meters high to form a high-splashing water column. Are you paper arts? Ha ha ha. Interesting, I didn't expect you to be able to marine six styles. Locke also saw the shadow of paper arts in Luo Wei's dodging skills, and after a little astonishment, he laughed wildly, and then broke out a more ferocious offensive. With both hands showing the finger pistol, he swung his arms wildly, forming an afterimage, and pierced all over the sky towards Luo Wei, as if a thousand arrows were fired at once, leaving nowhere to hide. Ding ding ding. Advertisement. Luo Wei's eyes froze, and he swung his knife quickly, likewise laying an airtight knife net in front of him, constantly blocking the stabbing finger pistol. In the dense collision like a storm, the void is surging, and sparks are splashing one after another, giving people the feeling that it is not the blade colliding with the fingers, but more like the sword is slashing. During the collision, Luo Wei's figure was retreating. Although the defense was not broken by Locke, it felt as if he was at a disadvantage and was suppressed by Locke's fierce offensive. As the evil hunter quite capable, even able to block the captain's attack. So what? Didn't you see that the captain has the upper hand? The evil hunter might be killed by the captain in a while. Sin Hunter seems to be really a 790 great swordsman, I hope the captain will not kill him directly, but I really want to feel what it feels like to kill a great swordsman. During the fierce battle between Luo Wei and Locke, the crusher pirates came nearby with a huge pirate ship. The purpose of their entry into West Blue was to avenge Terence, and Luo Wei was the target of their revenge. Where Luo Wei was, they were naturally there, so they did not continue to pursue the moonlight. Watching the battle, the ordinary crew members were fine, but the captains of the crusher pirates began to criticize, from time to time, they might be exaggerated and contemptuous, or they might look ready to move. The scene of the battle reveals that Locke has the upper hand, and everyone in the crusher pirates is obviously very relaxed, and at the same time, they have no intention of assisting their captain in the battle. This is not only because Locke has the upper hand, but also because Luo Wei also showed strong strength. No matter what kind of posture it is on the surface, the body still obeys the true inner thoughts. Even if they were at a disadvantage, the strength Luo Wei displayed was beyond their ability to deal with. Even the strongest captains of the Crusher Pirates were full of fear of Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 185 Counterattack and Destruction First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Paper Arts Hyphenation Point Snake Shake. Locke frantically attacked with finger pistol, Luo Wei seemed to be unable to hold on after resisting for a while, and changed the defensive method to dodge. Like dancing on the edge of a knife. Luo Wei moved back and forth to avoid Locke's attack, but at the same time there was no counterattack, as if under the opponent's fierce offensive, he didn't even have the strength to counterattack. It's just that if you look carefully, although Luo Wei has been dodging, in fact, he has not suffered any substantial damage from the beginning to the end, and even his eyes have remained calm. Ten minutes, twenty minutes, half an hour passed without knowing it. With the moonlight's sailing speed and the current wind direction, it should be far enough away for such a long time, so it's time for me to start acting. He was clearly at a disadvantage in the battle, but Luo Wei's expression never fluctuated much. After counting the time silently, he suddenly changed his fighting style. Tempest Kick Dragon Tail, using Paper Arts Snake Shake. To avoid Locke's finger pistol attack again, Luo Wei immediately lost the look of being powerless to fight back before, and swept his legs and feet violently, kicking out a fiery slashing wave in an instant. Kindness. Locke was taken aback, obviously he didn't expect that Luo Wei, who had been suppressed by him, would be able to fight back, so he immediately crossed his arms to resist the sweeping chopping wave in surprise. Boom. Advertisement. Under the violent collision, Locke's face changed slightly again, the tempest kick slashing waves hitting his arms were far more powerful than he had imagined. Even with armament hockeys, outside, defense to defend his arms, the violent impact of the slashing wave blasted him back, quickly retreating tens of meters away. With both feet stepping on the air quickly, Locke let out a loud shout, and opened his arms with astonishing force, but he scattered the chopping wave forcefully. But in the next second, when he looked at Luo Wei again, a look of shock and anger appeared on his face, and he shouted, Bastard, what are you trying to do? After kicking out the tempest kick, Luo Wei didn't stay in place at all, but turned around and shot at the huge pirate ship not far away. When Locke yelled, Luo Wei had approached the huge pirate group within a distance of less than tens of meters, and at the same time swung his knife violently, slashing towards the huge pirate ship with a terrifying sword light. Boom. The substantial dark gold sword light violently tore through the void, like a huge crescent moon falling down, separated from the sea with an incomparably terrifying posture, and quickly swept towards the huge pirate ship. Not good. Block it, Sin Hunter, he wants to destroy our ship. Sin Hunter, you seek death. 
Everyone in the Crusher Pirates also didn't expect that Luo Wei would be able to get rid of their captain's attack, and even sent such a terrifying slash at them. Advertisement. The captains who were the first to react all changed their expressions drastically. Roaring in horror, they all rushed to the part of the ship that was torn apart by the sword light, and then broke out their strongest attacks to resist. For a moment, the sword chi, the tempest kick slashing wave, and the mad dance in the void agitated by Devil Fruit's ability collided with the huge sword light that swept across the city car under the huge movement. Boom boom boom. There was an endless stream of astonishing roaring sounds, and frenzied air waves spread out wave after wave, stirring up the surrounding void into chaos. Although they had already resisted with the fastest speed and strongest attack, the attacks of the captain still couldn't stop Luo Wei's sword light slashing with all his strength. Even though the power was partially weakened by various attacks, the sword light still slashed at the side of the huge pirate ship with a terrifying edge. The violent impact swept out, causing many pirates on the deck to fly to the ground. At the same time, the huge pirate ship also tilted more than 30 degrees amidst the roar, causing the surrounding waves to swell and roll. Countless sawdust splattered, and the sword light tore apart like a huge hole, leaving a large crack that was one-third deep before slowly dissipating. When the sword light disappeared, the huge pirate ship fell suddenly, but it also ushered in countless seawater pouring into the cabin along the huge crack, and the hull immediately showed signs of sinking. Ah, when Locke saw this scene, his eyes were tearing, and he frantically rushed towards Luo Wei, and at the same time kicked out a huge tempest kick-slashing wave in a rage. The terrifying impact and tearing caused a frenzied whistling sound, swiftly passing behind Luo Wei. Advertisement. But unfortunately, Luo Wei's observation hockey and the field of mind understood the opponent's attack, and when the huge slashing wave approached, he immediately spewed out mind power, and the whole person leapt into the sky. This is not over yet. After avoiding the huge slashing wave, a huge force of thought pushed towards the huge slashing wave, causing its trajectory to change, and it also hit the huge pirate ship. Boom. There was another deafening roar. Locke's tempest kick slashing wave had a scale of more than a hundred meters, and it was extremely condensed. It directly formed a cross-shaped super large crack team with Luo Wei's slashing. It was severely damaged again, and more seawater crazily poured into the huge pirate ship from the cracks, which also accelerated the sinking speed of the pirate ship, approaching the position of the deck. Backquote, Sin Hunter Lousy killed you. Seeing that his tempest kick slashing wave not only did not hurt Luo Wei, but was controlled by Luo Wei to destroy his own ship by some means, Locke roared and burst into a faster speed, he rushed towards Luo Wei. However, compared with Moonwalk stepping into the air, Luo Wei's mind power to control the air is undoubtedly more flexible and faster. The figure moved towards the other side like lightning. Not only did Locke not close the distance between the two sides, but Luo Wei opened the distance again by flying a kite, and he was always close to the huge pirate ship. Boom boom boom. While keeping a distance from Locke and not giving him a chance to get close, Luo Wei also manipulated a huge amount of thought power to cover the sea around the huge pirate ship. The majestic huge waves rushed up layer by layer, like a huge lotus flower, a tsunami tens of meters high suddenly rose around the huge pirate ship, gathering towards the center, trying to swallow the entire pirate ship. Advertisement. Chapter 186 Tsunami and Destruction, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Asshole. This happened to Locke for the first time. Seeing Luo Wei, who was moving so fast and couldn't get close at all, he rushed to the pirate ship in a panic, wanting to rescue him. Flow of Thoughts Universal Pull. When Luo Wei used the sea to deal with the rest of the Crusher pirates, he was also on guard against Locke. When Locke just made a move, he immediately stopped moving, turned around and grabbed at the opponent. The thought power turned into a terrifying suction force, which instantly extended to where Locke was. Locke, who had just rushed towards the huge pirate ship, staggered immediately, and then flew towards Luo Wei. This is the difference between air combat and ground warfare. If it is a ground battle, with Locke's strength and armament hockey's cultivation, it is enough to stop the figure immediately, but in an air battle without any leverage, even if you know the moonwalk physical skill, your mobility will be affected. Extremely restrictive. Luo Wei didn't really suck Locke in front of him, it was just to delay the opponent's action. When he got close, he just waved his palm and pressed him down. A huge palm appeared in the sky all the time, like a Buddha suppressing a monkey, and slammed on Locke's body, hitting him like a meteor towards the sea surface, and then 780 blasted a high column of water and crashed into the sea surface. Run away, the boat is sinking. Help, I am devil fruit ability, help me. Attack quickly to block the tsunami. Advertisement. The tsunami surrounding the huge pirate ship submerged in a ring shape toward the center, and for a while, the crusher pirates fell into huge chaos. Many people fell to the ground and fell into the sea due to the swaying of the ship due to the tumbling waves. Some of them were terrified and grabbed the fixed objects beside them, hoping that the pirate ship could withstand the impact of the tsunami. In addition, people at the captain level even roared and attacked the surrounding tsunami in an attempt to block the approach of the tsunami. It's just that under the continuous urging of Luo Wei's thought power to set off a tsunami, unless the tsunami is defeated in an instant otherwise even a small gap will be quickly filled by the painful sea water. Run away. 
Finding that the approaching tsunami could not be prevented, someone chose to abandon the pirate ship, jumped into the air in a hurry, and cast Moonwalk to escape from the sky above the tsunami. Locke mastered Marine Six styles, and naturally transferred this physical skill to the pirates, so that many people in the Crusher Pirates knew it. Leave it all to me. A cold light flashed in Luo Wei's eyes, and with the burst of majestic thought power, not only the speed of the tsunami's gathering accelerated, but also a violent shock wave crashed down from the sky above the tsunami. Boom. The shock wave like a huge beam of light directly sent the people who cast Moonwalk screaming and flew back backwards, leaving holes in the deck and cabin. When the Nianian fruit reached the eighth level, even if Luo Wei did not display the power of awakening, the intensity of the Nianian power was much stronger than before. Otherwise, it would be impossible to delay Locke's actions under the tsunami. Boom. Advertisement. Amidst the deafening sound of huge waves, the huge pirate ship was finally swallowed by the terrible tsunami, and everyone in the Crusher Pirates was also involved in the violent current. In the face of a tsunami comparable to a natural disaster, even a superhuman combat force would find it difficult to resist the terrible ocean currents. As for the mighty level combat power, the situation encountered is equally bad, especially the demon fruit power, unable to swim, being sucked into the bottom of the sea by the tsunami, basically a certain death. The huge pirate ship was seriously damaged by Luo Wei and Locke's attack, and now it was crushed into pieces of wreckage by the terrible impact of the tsunami. At the same time, when the tsunami fell, a huge Uzumaki Ajay, was formed on the sea surface, causing secondary damage to those who survived. Boom! A high column of water exploded on the surface of the sea not far away, but Locke, who was driven into the sea by Luo Wei, rushed out of the sea. Ah! Stepping into the air with Moonwalk, when he saw the wreckage of the pirate ship in the huge Uzumaki and the few people who were struggling and trying to get out of the current, Locke's eyes immediately showed a lot of bloodshot eyes, and he roared in anger. Boom! Amidst the roar, Locke's body also erupted with raging conqueror's hockey, which radiated like a shock wave, causing the void to tremble. Luo Wei, who was less than 200 meters away, was immediately hit by the opponent's conqueror's hockey, and his breathing was slightly stagnant. Then, just like when he was fighting with Qingzhao, his heart was oppressed and visible. Conqueror's hockey. Luo Wei's pupils shrunk slightly, and he growled while gritting his teeth. When he looked at Locke, his eyes suddenly became terrifying and sharp. Advertisement. Heart pressure will not only affect the display of strength, but also feel very depressing, as if lowering the opponent's head for no reason. Even with the experience of the green pepper, Luo Wei is still very resistant to Conqueror's Hockey's oppression, and even has an involuntary impulse of anger in his heart. Sin Hunter, if Lousy doesn't kill you today, you won't be called Locke. The roar lasted for a few breaths and then came to an abrupt end. Locke turned his head suddenly, his eyes brimming with scarlet as he fixed on Luo Wei. He opened his mouth and roared, and a tyrannical wave of air burst out from under his feet like an astonishing explosion. Boom. Amidst the ferocious explosion, Locke rushed nearly 100 meters in an instant, and then swept towards Luo Wei with a tyrannosaur-like terrifying prestige. If you want to kill me, follow along. Amidst the loud shouts, Luo Wei turned around and shot towards the distance, and the air agitated by unparalleled thought power formed a stream of air visible to the naked eye, straddling the sea like a lotus shooting star. Don't try to escape. Locke roared even more furiously, and the void stepped on by his legs exploded crazily, and he also chased after him at an alarming speed. The two quickly disappeared in this sea area one after the other. On the surface of the sea, a small island with a length and width of about one kilometer is located. There are almost no animals and plants on it, and there are only strange rocks and desolate hills. Suddenly, a figure rushed towards the sky from one side, and when it approached this small island, it immediately landed on the center of the island like a falling meteorite. Advertisement. Chapter 187 Stupidity and Disdain 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Boom. The violent air waves that rolled up lifted the nearby rock and soil, and the figure landed steadily on the ground. At the same time, he turned around without hesitation, and looked sharply in the direction he came from. Running into the air, almost immediately followed, another figure quickly swept towards the island, and with terrifying power, it swooped directly towards the previous figure. Die de lousy. The roaring roar resounded throughout the island, and the figure swooping down was clearly Locke, who violently smashed down with his fists that gathered amazing armament hockey. The first person to land on the island was naturally Luo Wei. Facing Locke's swooping fist, he resolutely swiped aside. Bang! A deafening roar erupted instantly, and Locke's fist hit the ground hard, and the surrounding rock and soil twisted like waves, and then exploded crazily. The billowing air waves spread, radiating far away, and a huge deep pit with a diameter of more than tens of meters appeared in the center of the island. Shave! Luo Wei, who was rushing to the side, stepped on the ground in a hurry, but immediately returned at a faster speed, slashing the blade horizontally, and slashed at Locke who fell into the deep pit. Twisting his waist and turning around, Locke quickly and violently punched out his fist again, meeting the blade that was coming. In the shocking and shocking collision, the two sides paused, and then retreated towards both sides of the deep pit, and landed on the two edges of the huge deep pit. 
The rock and soil cracked, and as soon as he landed, Locke disappeared in place, but he also moved at a high speed, and when he reappeared, he had already reached the other side of the deep pit, that is, the top of Luo Wei's head. Advertisement. The terrifying armament hockey gathered his fists together, and the compressed air under the swing solidified Luo Wei's body like a copper wall. Entanglement of thoughts. Luo Wei raised his head abruptly, his eyes were extremely sharp, and a terrifying power erupted under the unrivaled power wrapped around his body, shaking the frozen air away, and at the same time, he swung his knife and slashed upwards. Bang! The falling fist collided fiercely with the blade that was slashing upwards, and while causing a huge roar, it also burst out violent waves visible to the naked eye, radiating directly to the edge of the small island, making the nearby see there was a huge wave. The ground under Lua Wei's feet collapsed in an instant, and dense cracks spread out at the same time, extending more than tens of meters away. With both legs bent sharply, Luo Wei turned the blade decisively, deftly released the fist that was pressing on it, and then spewed out his thoughts and swept away to one side. Losing any obstacles, Locke crashed into the collapsed ground, hit the ground with his fist, and immediately blasted out another huge pit. Sin Hunter, you are so stupid. Compared with air battles, ground battles are Lousy's home field. After rushing out of the pit without the slightest pause, Locke sneered and burst into alarming speed again, rushing towards Luo Wei. Indeed, Moonwalk's Takong is far incomparable compared to the Nianli's Yukong. If it is an air battle, Luo Wei will definitely occupy a very large advantage, but now in a ground battle, Locke's power will no longer be limited, enough to explode 100% of his strength. Luo Wei did not respond to the other party, but looked at Locke who was rushing violently with cold eyes, raised his leg and raised the, dragon wagging tail, chopping wave. The vertical and falling blazing slashing waves tore the ground forcefully, and hit Locke straight away. Boom. Advertisement. Locke didn't dodge at all, but punched straight, using terrifying power to break the torn slashing wave into violent air waves that exploded. Thinking flow hyphenation point blood mosquito. The terrifying edge cut through the air wave in an instant, but Luo Wei followed closely after kicking out the tempest kick, stabbing the opponent's head with a knife. Locke's pupils shrunk, and the equally profound observation hockey immediately sensed the danger from this attack, and immediately used paper arts to dodge. The tip of the knife fell into the air, and the crazily vibrating blade caused ripples in the air. Luo Wei quickly stopped his figure, and then centered on his left foot, he spun and swung the autumn water, showing Locke avoiding to one side again. Go away, lousy. Locke couldn't dodge anymore. Amidst the roar, he punched through the air and hit the cutting blade, trying to block Luo Wei's attack with armament hockey and tyrannical strength. Zero. Seeking flowers. Boom. The fists and knives collided, and a terrible impact swept across the surroundings in an instant, shattering the rocks and ground they passed. At the same time, a ray of blood splashed from the fist. Feeling the sting, Locke's expression changed. He did not continue to fight against Luo Wei, but hurriedly retracted his fist and retreated. Quickly drawing a distance, he looked at the stinging fist, and saw a bloody knife mark covering armament Haki's fist. Although the wound was not very deep, it was enough to make Luo Shu feel frightened and angry. You said you were stupid just now. That can only mean that your courage is nothing more than that. Why do you think I chose this place as a battlefield? It's all because I don't bother to use some advantages to win. Advertisement. Zero. The blade flicked off the stained blood, and Luo Wei looked at the other party indifferently. Locke, who was originally frightened that his armament hockey defense was broken, immediately turned livid. Arrogant guy, Lousy's courage is not your turn to make irresponsible remarks. Locke shouted loudly. Tempest kick broken mountain. Leaping up, twisting his waist and sweeping his legs, the tyrannical armament hockey instantly condensed his legs, and a terrifying slashing wave with a scale of more than 100 meters swept out immediately. Looking at the chopping wave that was about to break the mountain peak, Luo Wei snorted coldly, raised the knife and blocked in front of him. Boom. Amidst the huge roar, the slashing wave slammed fiercely on the blade, and Luo Wei was pushed back by the violent impact, and his feet quickly plowed the ground out of a long deep ditch. Drink. The muscles in his arms bulged, and with a loud shout, Luo Wei held the knife with both hands, and slashed down fiercely, but the chopping wave was cut in half abruptly. The chopping waves that turned into two pieces passed by, and Luo Wei's back immediately reverberated with roars, but it was the two chopping waves that smashed many rocks into pieces with terrible destructive power. Awakening dragon armor. Invisible waves radiated out, and wherever they passed, the earth and rocks turned into countless golden light spots, and then gathered on Luo Wei's body, forming a mighty dragon-shaped armor. Advertisement. Chapter 188 Attack and Defense 4th. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Thinking Flow Slash Evil Dragon. The power that surpassed before exploded from his legs, and Luo Wei turned into a golden lightning in one step, and then appeared above Locke like a teleportation. So fast. Locke's complexion changed, not only because Luo Wei's speed was astonishingly fast, but also because of the awakened power of Devil Fruit that Luo Wei displayed. He naturally knew that Devil Fruit had the power of awakening, but he didn't expect that Luo Wei had already reached this level. Iron Body Diamond Body, 
A deep armament hockey appeared on the arms, and at the same time, the burly and tall body bulged with explosive muscles. Locke hurriedly crossed his arms to resist. Boom. During the collision, a huge impact burst out, instantly shattering the ground around, 583, and the terrifying slash-like fangs crazily tore apart Locke's arms in an instant. The body shook violently, and the ground under his feet collapsed immediately. What Locke couldn't restrain was being sent flying backwards, leaving a deep ditch tens of meters long on the ground. At the same time, there were messy torn scars on his arms, and strands of blood overflowed from the wounds, staining his arms red. Damn it, did he use the awakened power of devil fruit to greatly increase his speed and slashing power. The injuries to both arms made Locke look hideous, and when he looked at Luo Wei at the same time, a stronger killing intent burst out in his heart. Even with the disguise, Luo Wei looks very young now, and youth represents infinite potential. Locke is already in his fifties, and this age can be said to have entered the end of his prime. Unless he gets a top-level devil fruit, his strength has already reached its peak, and he will only go downhill as his body ages in the future. Advertisement. On the other hand, Luo Wei, he is far behind even in his prime, and his strength still has a huge room for improvement. The two sides have already accepted the death feud. If there is no division of life and death this time, the future development will inevitably be that Luo Wei will become stronger and stronger, while Locke will become weaker and weaker. Such a development is naturally not what Locke wants, so this time he must cut off the threat of Luo Wei. Boom. With a strong killing intent, Locke smashed the ground with one foot, and rushed out violently while maintaining the iron body state. Normally, when iron body is activated, it is difficult for the body to move, let alone launch an attack. But Locke's mastery of the six moves has obviously reached an astonishing level, and he can move freely even while maintaining the iron body state. Six forms hyphenation point smash cannon. Quickly rushing in front of Luo Wei, Locke punched out with a berserk attitude, the front of the fist pressed the void, and burst out a ferocious shock wave visible to the naked eye. Paper arts snake shake. Luo Wei, who had just withdrawn the saber, had his eyes condensed slightly, and his figure immediately twisted like a spirit snake, flexibly avoiding the incoming, beam-like shock wave. Bang. The shock wave passed by, and then landed tens of meters behind Luo Wei, with a violent roar, the shock wave easily shattered the ground, leaving a crater that penetrated obliquely and was unfathomably deep. Hole. The rock and soil were shattered and turned into dust like powder that quickly drifted away. This is a six-style extended technique similar to the Six King Spear. Advertisement. Observation Hockey and the realm of mind sensed the destruction behind him, Luo Wei's heart trembled, and then he fought back resolutely. The best defense is to attack. With a quick slash, Luo Wei cast blood mosquito, and slashed directly at Locke who was rushing over. Danger. Locke hurriedly stopped his figure, avoiding the slash to one side. Even though the defense was enhanced with the iron body, under Luo Wei's awakening power, the power of psychic flow slash was also greatly enhanced by the combination of stronger psychic power. Especially the, blood mosquito, slash, the edge produced by it made Locke feel a strong threat, I dare not touch it easily. After the slash failed, Luo Wei did not stop the attack, but quickly stepped forward, one slash after another, continuously slashing at the opponent, the terrifying sharp edge drew white marks in the void. Damn it. Locke was frightened and furious, and quickly continued to dodge. Shave katakana middle dot flash. After avoiding more than a dozen slashes in a panic, Locke took the initiative to swipe towards the rear in order to get rid of Luo Wei's offensive, opening a distance of tens of meters. Finger pistol random arrow kill. As soon as he stopped, Locke waved his hands wildly, and the void hit by his index finger rippled, shooting out dense arrow-shaped fingers, and shot wildly towards Luo Wei's location. Swish. Luo Wei reacted instantly, smashed the ground, and shot straight into the sky, avoiding the intensive strafing shots in time. Mind flow slash, heavenly snake. Advertisement. Standing high and below zero, his eyes locked on the opponent sharply. In the whistling air waves of the dance, Luo Wei slashed fiercely, cutting out a fierce sword light like a snake. Like a tornado rushing down obliquely, the sword light enveloped Locke with a terrifying strangling edge. Paper Arts Bei Yun. Locke stopped the finger pistol attack, and faced the terrifying sword light rushing obliquely, he showed a more subtle six-style extension technique. His body was like a weightless cloud, and he wanted to avoid it towards the side. In the sky, Luo Wei's eyes flashed, and he manipulated the trajectory of the sword light with the power of the sword, making it sway and shoot, and suddenly rushed towards the direction Locke dodged. What? Locke didn't expect that the sword light could change the trajectory at all. When he found out, it was too late to deal with it, and he hurriedly covered armament hockey all over his body full of horror. Boom. In an instant, the terrifying sword light seemed like a giant snake with its mouth wide open, and 2.7 directly swallowed Locke's whole body into his belly. All parts of his body were cut off by countless small sharp edges, and Locke retreated backwards driven by the sword light, crazily crushing the rocks and ground he passed along the way, leaving Mo Yan with a nearly 100 meter long depression deep ditch. Boom boom. Two ferocious shattering shock waves suddenly exploded violently from the sword light, and amidst the violent roar, the sword light suddenly exploded. 
When the rolled up dust dissipated, Locke, who was covered with long and narrow wounds all over his body, appeared, and his body was infiltrated with blood, making him look extremely hideous and terrifying. Die. Undoubtedly, Locke was full of rage due to serious injuries. His scarlet eyes fixedly looked at him who fell from the air to the ground and let out a violent roar. The whole person burst out at an astonishing speed. Chapter 189 Conqueror's Hockey, First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Six Types Smash Cannon. While running wildly, Locke's fists blasted repeatedly, and two fierce shock waves burst out towards Luo Wei. Under the terrifying power, the void immediately stirred up howling air waves. Luo Wei, who was landing towards the ground, flexibly avoided the fierce shock wave with the paper art snake shake, and the moment he landed, Locke, who was rushing towards him, also arrived in front of him. Both of them attacked each other without hesitation, one punched out again, and the other slashed fiercely. Six types smash cannon, thinking flow slash violent ape. Amid the deafening roar, two terrifying forces collided fiercely, and the rolling impact visible to the naked eye scattered in all directions, causing the ground to shake wildly in a radius of hundreds of meters, and at the same time, countless rocks and soil were smashed to pieces. The shattering shock wave fought against the forceful slash, and finally Luo Wei was slightly better, splitting the shock wave furiously, and then the blade that continued to slash immediately hit Locke's chest. Spit blood out of his mouth, Locke let out a muffled grunt and 09 flew back upside down like a cannonball. The astonishing impact pierced through the void, rolling up violent air waves, and quickly flew a hundred meters away. It is undeniable that Locke's strength is much stronger than that of Qing Zhao, but Luo Wei is also no longer comparable to Qing Zhao. Nianian Fruit has been promoted from the 7th level to the 8th level, his strength has naturally been greatly enhanced, and after the battle with Qing Zhao, he has also been well-tempered, whether it is physical skills or swordsmanship, he has a corresponding improvement growing up. Advertisement. Single quote single quote. Slashing the opponent with a single blow, Luo Wei followed without hesitation, his figure flew out at a speed beyond the naked eye, and within a few flashes, he caught up with Locke who was flying upside down. The fierce slash left a long, sunken knife mark on his chest. Although Locke was shaken violently, he sensed Luo Wei's approach with observation hockey immediately. Damn bastard, don't get carried away. Intense anger turned into conqueror's hockey bursting into the void. Locke turned around and forcibly fell back to the ground to stop his retreat. The sudden intensification of heart pressure directly caused Luo Wei's figure to freeze for a moment, and this also gave Locke an opportunity. He quickly crushed the ground, turned back, and smashed violently on Luo Wei's head with a punch. Superior. Boom. The terrifying power collapsed the dragon head-shaped helmet covering the head, and Luo Wei immediately leaned back, shooting towards the rear like an arrow. Flying backwards continuously, after flying nearly 200 meters, the ferocious thought force spewed out from behind, blocking the backward trend. It landed obliquely on the ground, dragging his legs to draw two deep grooves more than 10 meters long. Luo Wei coughed up blood with his mouth open, making the dragon scale mask all flushed red. Even though the dragon armor relieved most of the strength, Luo Wei was still severely impacted by Locke's terrifying fist, especially the head that was injured enough to be fatal. Once and again, what about Conqueror's hockey? Get the hell out of here. A deep voice came from the dragon scale mask, and a horrible aura emanated from his body. Luo Wei finally couldn't bear it anymore, and in the end, the low voice turned into a roar. Boom. Advertisement. The anger was like a volcanic eruption that blasted away the coercion oppressing the soul, and an invisible shock burst out from Luo Wei's body with a long howling sound. Thunderbolt. The void trembled and twisted, and tiny and dense purple lightning flashed, as if there were two terrifying forces colliding crazily. The air was violently compressed, and quickly turned into a gust of wind and spread in all directions, rolling up a large amount of dust. Locke, who was attacking violently, stopped in shock. It's Conqueror's hockey, he actually has the qualifications of a king who is only one in a million people, damn it, he actually awakened Conqueror's hockey at this time. The purple lightning flashing in the void is exactly the vision produced by the confrontation between Conqueror's hockey. Locke was shocked and angry, never expecting that Luo Wei would awaken Conqueror's Hockey. Conqueror's Hockey cannot be improved through conventional practice, and its strength depends on its own strength and courage. Although Luo Wei has just awakened, the Conqueror's Hockey that burst out is no weaker than Locke's Conqueror's Hockey. Not only blasted away the spiritual oppression, but now it is fiercely contending with Locke's Conqueror's Hockey. Boom. As soon as the mental oppression disappeared, Luo Wei's strength was no longer affected at all, and he disappeared in place almost instantly. Not good. Locke's complexion changed, and he hurriedly dodged to the side. A terrifying knife light immediately appeared in the sky, and slashed fiercely on the ground. Advertisement. Scoff. Amidst the terrible tearing sound, the earth was split into two halves immediately, and a huge crack more than 100 meters long spread out towards the two sides. Tempest kick dragon tail. Losing heart Rayatsu forced Luo Wei to attack again, as if his strength had suddenly increased 023, his movements were swift and fierce, and if he missed the attack, he quickly twisted his waist and swept his legs, and violently kicked towards Locke who was avoiding to the side. 
The blazing slashing wave flew out fiercely. Locke could not dodge again, he could only hold up his arms to resist, and under the violent impact, he immediately retreated backwards under the impact of the slashing wave. Although Iron Body and Armament Hockey defended against the tearing of the chopping wave, before Locke could counterattack, Luo Wei flashed again in the sky above him. The blade vibrated, and the terrifying edge fell down. Locke dodged in horror, but was still scratched by the falling edge to his arm, causing acid to splatter blood. Laugh. The blades that followed the trend all sank into the ground, and Locke, whose arm was scratched, didn't pay attention to the injury, roaring and punching Luo Wei's head. Iron Body Hyphenation Point Ape Hammer. Due to the difference in height, Locke's fist slammed down obliquely, Luo Wei's left arm swelled and thickened, and he punched him with a backhand. Boom. Like an astonishing explosion, a terrifying impact swept across, and the ground under Luo Wei couldn't bear the pressure and collapsed into a huge pit. Both Luo Wei and Locke fell into the deep pit, and the fists that collided with each other separated because of this. Advertisement. Chapter 190 Maximum Limit Evil Dragon V's Ultimate Smash Cannon, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. In the competition of strength, Luo Wei is obviously at a disadvantage. After all, his armament hockey and physical strength are lower than Locke's. Even with the dragon armor, to make up for the lack of physical fitness, Locke still has the upper hand with armament hockey's strength and application level. When it fell, Luo Wei flew obliquely, and when it landed, the entrained impact collapsed another pit in the deep pit, causing a large cloud of dust to fly up. Boom. Locke, who landed almost at the same time, naturally wouldn't give Luo Wei a chance to relax, he just raised his fist and hit the six-style smashing cannon. The terrifying shattering shock wave rushed straight at him with a ferocious attitude, Luo Wei's right arm instantly turned into an afterimage, and he reacted super fast to chop up the autumn water. Mind flow slash blood mosquito. The astonishing sharp edge directly cut the shock wave in half, and then swept past Luo Wei's side, blasting out two deep holes on the edge of the pit behind. Shave. Under the slash, Luo Wei quickly disappeared in place, and when he reappeared, he had already come to Locke's side, holding the crazy shocking autumn water and slashed out, grabbing the opponent's right leg. Don't try to succeed. Although Locke's speed is slightly inferior to Luo Wei's, observation hockey's level and reflexes are also very strong. He jumped down and avoided the slashing blows. Leaping into the air, Locke didn't forget to fight back, his legs formed afterimages, and he sent out intensive chopping waves like a storm towards Luo Wei. Ding ding ding. Advertisement. Luo Wei raised his head abruptly, instantly slashed out an impenetrable knife light with the autumn water, and shattered the falling slashing waves one after another. The flow of thoughts Shen Luo Tianzhong. When all the chopping waves were blocked, Luo Wei immediately pushed out his left palm again, bursting out a hemispherical shock wave visible to the naked eye, and the violent force squeezed the air madly into a violent air wave. Boom. Locke's pupils shrunk, and he hurriedly defended his body with armament hockey, and then he was hit by the shock wave, and the whole person flew upside down into the sky. Although the powerful defense did not suffer substantial damage, Luo Wei also took advantage of this to jump into the sky from the deep pit, and quickly swept towards the opponent who was flying upside down. Flow of thoughts universal pull. It took only an instant for the impact to be converted into suction, and Locke, who was enveloped, shook immediately, and then uncontrollably faced Luo Wei who was flying upwards. Jung. In an instant, the two people crossed each other, accompanied by a terrifying slash that left white marks in the void. Blood splattered, although Locke had reacted immediately and tried his best to avoid the slash, but in the end he still couldn't dodge completely, and a deep knife mark was drawn on one side of the waist and abdomen. Life returned. After falling to the ground, Locke immediately controlled the muscles and closed the knife marks on his waist and abdomen, blocking the continued loss of blood. Type 6 Ultimate Smash Cannon. Advertisement. The fists and arms fit together like a cannon erected. Locke looked ferociously at Luo Wei in the sky. Under the agitation of the muscles, the two arms that were fitted together exploded into a spiral-shaped violent shock wave. Boom. The terrifying power pierced through the void, rolling up violent air waves visible to the naked eye, and the spiral shock wave turned into a beam of light, blasting away at the place where the wearer was located in an instant. Maximum Dragon. The figure turned back, and Observation Hockey had already noticed that the dragon armor, covering the body instantly gathered on the autumn water like flowing water. The dazzling golden light shone, and the slash that contained the power of terrifying tearing burst out immediately. Boom. The dazzling golden slash and the violent spiral shock wave collided earth-shatteringly, and the terrifying aftermath instantly crushed everything within a radius of 100 meters, and then radiated to the entire island like a storm sweeping. Pieces of rock and soil weighing several tons were lifted from the ground, swept into the air by the surging impact air waves, and fell towards the distance. Both of them unleashed their strongest attacks. In the frantic confrontation, after a few breaths of stalemate, the spiral shock wave was torn apart, dissipating in the air with a bursting tendency. Luo Wei rushed down obliquely along the slash, and quickly came to the sky above Locke. The autumn water still blooming with dazzling golden light immediately shook shockingly, drawing a terrifying edge. 
What? His strongest attack was defeated, which made Locke full of disbelief, and when the terrifying sharp edge approached, he was terrified and wanted to dodge to the side. Poof. Advertisement. Blood spattered, although he had tried his best to dodge, but he still couldn't avoid it completely after all, one arm twirled and flew to the distance. Backquote. The left arm was cut off, and the intense pain hit his mind. Locke let out a scream, and his figure also staggered, almost falling to the ground. Following the blood mosquito, slashing Luo Wei who fell to the ground, he quickly recovered the cover of the dragon armor, and then twisted his waist and slashed horizontally, but sent out a blazing sword light again towards Locke who retreated. The void roared like a tear, and the sword glow crazily expanded, and at the same time, it rushed like lightning, and it came to Locke in the blink of an eye. The intense pain of the broken arm made Locke lose his mind. When he realized that the sword light was close to him, he had no time to dodge, so he could only gather armament hockey to his right arm and block it in front of him. Boom. In the turbulent impact, the sword light slashed fiercely on Locke's Wang Wang Zhao right arm. Even though the powerful armament hockey resisted the tearing of the sword light, under the huge impact, the whole person moved towards the rear quickly. Slide. Withdrawing the knife, Luo Wei rushed out following the sword light, but when Locke was forced to retreat by the sword light, he appeared on top of the opponent's head. The blade oscillated again, although it was not in the maximum state before, but it still showed an astonishing sharpness, and it quickly slashed at the opponent's head. Aha! Locke's observation hockey had an insight into Luo Wei's attack. Roaring and roaring, he moved his body sideways against the sword glow, but the falling blade still slashed across his shoulder. Blood spattered again, and the shoulder that Luo Wei slashed with the blood mosquito, was exactly the left shoulder with the broken arm. Deep knife marks emerged from the position close to the neck, and even reached the heart in the lower chest cavity. Advertisement. Chapter 191 Fatal Blow 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. He wanted to sacrifice his wounded left shoulder to resist Luo Wei's slash, but Locke obviously underestimated the sharpness of the blood mosquito. Even though he had dispersed most of the armament hockey gathered on his right arm to cover his left shoulder, he was still forcefully cut open by the blood mosquito, and the sharp edge even touched his heart. Even if it was only a very weak contact, the terrifying sharpness still left a knife mark on his heart. Locke immediately felt a sharp stabbing pain from his heart, which not only stopped his breathing, but even armament hockey collapsed. The heart is the vital point of the human body, a small impact is enough to seriously injure and kill a person, let alone a knife mark. Even for a strong man like Locke, it would be unbearable to suffer trauma to the heart. Hockey is driven by consciousness, and under the piercing pain, Locke's consciousness obviously became confused and lost control of armament hockey. Without armament hockey's enhancement, his right arm was immediately torn and bloody by the sword light that slashed on it, and then the Berserk 903 hit his body, causing him to spurt out a mouthful of blood. Flying tens of meters away, after hitting the ground, the impact of the fall hit the injured heart again, and Locke coughed up a few mouthfuls of blood again. At the same time, his right arm, which was torn apart by the sword light, showed a tragic injury, and bones could be seen faintly. Die. Advertisement. The incomparable mental power whipped up a whistling air wave, how could Luo Wei let go of this opportunity, and shot towards him like a meteor. The blade rotated around the handle, and suddenly turned into an upside-down grip. Luo Wei grasped the handle with both hands, and plunged fiercely down. Locke couldn't dodge under the tragic and serious injury, and he didn't even have time to react. The blade pierced straight down his throat, breaking his cervical spine. His eyes widened suddenly, and Locke's right hand firmly grasped the autumn water that pierced his throat. The palm of his hand was immediately scratched by the sharp blade, leaving bright red blood along the blade. Boom. As soon as the knife fell, Luo Wei also slammed AJFE, the opponent's Locke's heart with his knee, which not only caused the chest to collapse, but also gave the heart a fierce impact again. The body sank, but the violent impact caused the ground below to sag, forming a crater over 10 meters in size. Under the continuous fatal attack, Locke's eyes quickly dimmed, and the right hand holding Chushui also fell weakly, completely cutting off his vitality. Sin value plus 72100. The information that appeared in his mind and the breath that disappeared from observation hockey's perception made Luo Wei confirm the death of the other party. The dragon armor covering the body turned into countless golden light spots and dissipated. Luo Wei pulled Chushui out of the corpse's throat and sat on the ground beside him. It's really necessary to strengthen your physical fitness as soon as possible, otherwise every time you encounter an enemy of this level, the burden on your physical strength will be too great. Luo Wei thought silently while breathing heavily. Advertisement. Although the battle time from the sea to the present is not very long, Luo Wei's physical strength is still greatly exhausted under the high-intensity fighting. And it was a bit of luck that this battle could end so quickly. Not only because of the accidental awakening of Conqueror's Hockey, thus offsetting the spiritual oppression, but also because of the previous, Blood Mosquito Slash, that injured the opponent's heart. Otherwise, even if he has the upper hand in the battle, Locke's strong physical fitness is enough to last for a long time, and once he falls into a protracted battle, the situation may not be reversed with Luo Wei's physical strength. 
After panting for a while, Luo Wei seemed to have thought of something, and hastily opened his trousers pocket. Fortunately, the phone bug is not damaged. Looking at the sleeping phone bug with his eyes closed, Luo Wei heaved a sigh of relief, and then he took off the microphone on the other party's back and started dialing. Hey, hungry, well, I'm fine, the enemy has been dealt with by me, well, then follow my life paper. The person Luo Wei dialed was naturally Perona. After a short conversation, he just hung up the phone and continued to rest. Although it took only half an hour for Luo Wei and Locke to go to this small island, the speed of the two is so fast. Advertisement. When Nico Robin was driving the small island where the moonlight Luo Wei was located, more than half a day had passed, and it was already evening. After merging, Luo Wei naturally received Huoba Kei's treatment immediately, and under the excellent medical skills of the other party, the injury was quickly relieved. Bastard, what kind of hero are you? It's not that I don't know your ability. You can leave together, so why stay and entangle those people? When the treatment was over, Perona and Nico Robin, who had been waiting outside the medical room, hurried in, and saw Perona glaring at Luo Wei angrily. But when they met, she was more excited and joyful than anyone else, and even threw herself into Luo Wei's arms, which almost caused Luo Wei's injury. Of course, what Perona is saying now is indeed true. Although Locke's pursuit was very tight at that time, with the ability of Nian Nian fruit, Luo Wei could still escape safely. In addition to being able to control the ship to fly into the sky, he can also use his mind power as a shield to dive into the bottom of the sea, so as to get rid of Locke's pursuit. Although his head was shaken quite a bit, and a bandage was wrapped around it, Luo Wei still couldn't move. He got off the hospital bed, walked up to Perona, rubbed her head, and said with a light smile, I'm sorry, I made you worry, but I'm not trying to be a hero, I just feel like I'm going to run away when I face the enemy. That was really ugly. Who cares about you anymore, don't talk nonsense. Perona raised her head and retorted rather angrily. It's just that she not only didn't resist Luo Wei's intimate act of rubbing her head, but instead stood honestly where she was, and even took the initiative to move closer to Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 192 Disguise, Fourth More. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. A smile appeared in Luo Wei's eyes, and by turning his head, he looked at Nico Robin who also came in. I'm laughing at you, you just boarded the boat, but you were attacked so soon. It's okay, I've been used to this kind of thing for a long time, and hasn't the captain already dealt with the enemy? Nico Robin shook his head, then smiled softly with a relaxed look. It's just that this is just the surface, in fact Nico Robin's heart is very shocking. The Crusher Pirates are not a small organization, and its Captain Locke even offered a reward of 890 million big pirates. Just the astonishing amount of reward is enough to prove Locke's power and terror. But such a terrifying character is now solved by Luo Wei, which undoubtedly proves that Luo Wei will become stronger. The three chatted for a while, and then Luo Wei, who needed to recuperate, was urged by Perona to return to the room. Lying on the boat, Luo Wei did not rest immediately, but sank his consciousness into his mind, and checked the situation of the Golden Template. Is there still two-thirds left? In this case, it should be almost, in another twenty days. Seeing that a third of the sand had flowed from the phantom hourglass on the golden template, Luo Wei murmured in his heart after counting the time silently. Advertisement. Three days later, on the deck of the moonlight, whether it was Perona, Nico Robin, or Hoback, they all looked at Luo Wei in disbelief. Why, am I ugly now? Regarding the reaction of the three of them, Luo Wei, who was mostly recovered from his injuries, touched his face and said with some doubts. No, although his real appearance can't be said to be so handsome, he should still be fairly handsome. Maybe there is something wrong with his aesthetics. That's right, just now, Luo Wei gathered the three people on the ship on the deck, and then lifted his disguise, revealing his original appearance. Uh, ugly is not ugly, but much more handsome than before, but I just want to make sure if you are our captain. Nico Robin was the first to calm down. But he also looked at Luo Wei with a strange expression. Jung, the autumn water at the waist unsheathed in an instant, and cut towards the distant sea. The crescent-shaped dark gold sword light showed terrifying power, splitting the sea easily, forming a terrifying crack extending far away. Well, this should prove it. Putting the blade back into the scabbard, Luo Wei asked Nicole Luokan back. Luo Wei's sudden unsheathed slash startled Nico Robin at first, and almost instinctively crossed his hands in front of him. However, she relaxed when she saw that the direction of Luo Wei's attack was the sea. At the same time, she said helplessly to Luo Wei's question, although the method was a bit rough, it can indeed prove that you are indeed our captain. It's not someone else's fake. Advertisement. Ah, at this moment, Perona also woke up from the sluggishness because of Luo Wei's slash, and then suddenly let out a scream, pointing at Luo Wei and shouting, No, why can you change your appearance? Which one is your real look? Really, it seems that what I just said was in vain, forget it, then I will explain to you again, my previous appearance is actually just a disguise after I changed the facial muscles with Nian Nian fruit, and now it is me the real look, and the name Kakarot is also fake, my real name is Luo Wei, now it is clear. 
Luo Wei raised his forehead to express a headache, and then had to explain it again. Luo Wei. Nico Robin silently repeated the name in his heart, and then thought about it. As for Perona, after being stunned for a while, she suddenly got excited, and quickly moved closer to Luo Wei, raised her head, and carefully and seriously looked at Luo Wei's appearance. After observing for a long time, she looked relieved and relieved. So, now is your real appearance. And your real name is Luo Wei, but I'm curious, why do you have to pretend your appearance and name? Perona seemed to have fully accepted Luo Wei's changes, and asked the baby with a curious face. It's okay to tell you the reason. I was originally a recruit of Marine, but I left later. Because I wasn't strong enough at the time, I disguised myself to avoid being discovered by Marine. Luo Wei said frankly. Zero. Seeking flowers. Regarding this experience, he did not intend to hide it, because after he decided not to pretend anymore, this matter would be exposed sooner or later, it is better to explain it in advance. Advertisement. You used to be a Marine. Now it was Nico Robin's turn to be surprised, she frowned slightly, and said, did something happen on the boat that made the Marine leave later? Because the hometown was destroyed by Marine's buster call, even if the instigator was the five elders of the world government, Nico Robin obviously didn't have a good impression of Marine. That's not true, it's just because what I want to do doesn't match the nature of Marine. Speaking of which, I don't seem to have told you what we are going to do in the future. Wait a minute, let me talk about the rest. Before Luo Wei could continue talking, Perona interrupted, and then said to Nico Robin as if crying, You don't know how pervert this guy is, he wants to hunt all the criminals, even the celestial dragons it's his hunting target, you said how unlucky I am to have such a captain. Hunting criminals, celestial dragons, Nico Robin's beautiful eyes widened involuntarily, and he was also shocked by Perona's words, and looked at Luo Wei in shock. She's right, my goal is indeed to hunt the evil ones, celestial dragons are also my hunting goal, and this is where I got the title of Sin Hunter. Luo Wei calmly looked at Nico Robin's eyes said. Ahem. If the captain is fine, I'll go back to the cabin to help you prepare the replacement medicine. Huo Bake, who had never been born, said carefully. Although he was shocked by Luo Wei's disguise at the beginning, as a non-combatant on board, he has always had a good position on himself, so after confirming that Luo Wei is still the same person, he stopped paying attention. As for Luo Wei's plan to hunt and kill the celestial dragons, he already knew the same as Perona, so naturally he would not be shocked again. Chapter 193 New Golden Template First Update Previous Chapter Next chapter. Advertisement. Well, go get busy. Luo Wei nodded. After Hoback entered the cabin, he looked at Nico Robin again, and said, Why, are you scared? You don't have to be too nervous, even if you really hunt celestial dragons. It will only be me who will do it. No, I just didn't realize it for a while. As for your goal, Captain, although it is indeed very dangerous, I don't reject it. Nico Robin shook her head, and after hiding the complex emotions in her heart, she smiled and said, Perona looked at Nico Robin in astonishment. She thought that the other party would be as scared to death as she had just found out, but she didn't expect Nico Robin to be so calm, and even said words that were not repulsive. However, Luo Wei, who is familiar with the grievances between Nicole, 007, been in world government, was not surprised by this, so he changed the subject after seeing that the other party didn't have much reaction. Okay, now you all understand my situation, so what about the two of you next? Next, I'm going to rest here for a while so during this time, you two need to practice hard to increase your strength. Perona, you should still train according to the practice plan I made for you. As for you, Robin, I have also learned about your abilities in the past few days, so your next practice will focus on physical fitness. Advertisement. They clapped their hands, and when the two women's attention came back, Luo Wei spoke in a deep voice. Do you want to rest here? That's fine, I can just take advantage of this time to practice properly. Perona nodded habitually, she was used to the practice arranged by Luo Wei. Nico Robin was a little surprised and said, do you want to practice? It's just that, Captain, are you sure you want me to focus on physical fitness instead of developing devil fruit abilities? Of course, the strength of the arm you made with flower flower fruit depends on your own physical fitness, so the stronger your physical fitness, the stronger the strength of the arm you will create. Although the development of devil fruit is also very important, as far as your current situation is concerned, the most important thing to improve is physical fitness. Not only through the knowledge of the original book, although Luo Wei has been recovering from his injuries in the past few days, he has also approached Nico Robin to find out about the fruit ability of the other party. As that's so, then I understand, and then I will trouble the captain to give me some advice. Nico Robin didn't resist physical training, but was just curious. After receiving Luo Wei's explanation, she nodded happily. Compared with Perona, her experience is more rough, so she also understands the cruel nature of this world better. Strength is always the prerequisite for survival, and only with strong power can one have the right to survive in this world. Next, Perona and Nico Robin began to practice according to the plan formulated by Luo Wei, and Luo Wei also continued to recover from the injury during the teaching process. 
Two days after Mo Yu, Luo Wei's injury had completely healed, and then he also started to practice on himself. Although the main reason for stopping the ship to rest was to wait for the end of the Phantom Hourglass, Luo Wei obviously wouldn't waste his time waiting. Advertisement. Time passed day by day, and the practice of the three was in full swing. Before he knew it, it had been 20 days since Luo Wei killed Locke. On this day, Luo Wei seldom practiced practice, but stayed alone in the room, sitting cross-legged on the bed as if closing his eyes and resting his mind. Consciousness sneaked into his mind, quietly observing the illusory hourglass on the golden template. After these days, the sand in the upper half of the phantom hourglass is almost gone, and Luo Wei is also waiting for the final moment. Coming. When the last grain of sand left in the phantom hourglass, Luo Wei's mind became awe-inspiring, and he focused on the golden template. Buzz. Just like the abnormality that happened at the beginning, after the end of the illusory hourglass, the golden hibiscus plates were slightly connected. First, the illusory hourglass blended into the golden template like a liquid, and then the golden template burst into light, restoring its former glory from the gray state. Not only that, but the data displayed on it also changed as if the interface was refreshed. 1. Character. Luo Wei. 2. Open black lens bracket nian nian fruit close black lens bracket open black lens bracket kendo close black lens bracket open black lens bracket armament hockey close black lens bracket open black lens bracket observation hockey close black lens bracket open black lens bracket conquerors hockey close black lens bracket. Advertisement. 3. Practice space. 4. Evil value original sin value. Luo Wei was refreshed when he saw the golden template recovering its brilliance, because this undoubtedly represented that the golden template had recovered from the cooling state. And when the new interface was displayed after the golden template was refreshed, Luo Wei was surprised, and then observed with some seriousness. The new interface is more concise than before, and it seems to be differentiated, and different types of data are neatly divided into four types. The name and age are naturally irrelevant, Luo Wei checked the second ranked item first. When he contacted Nianian Fruit with his consciousness, the originally reduced information was immediately re-stretched and displayed as Nianian Fruit, 8th level, 0196830ths. It seems that the information is only reduced, and the increase in power has not changed. Luo Wei breathed a sigh of relief at 1.3, and then continued to click on several other powers, and found that there was no problem, and the level and experience value were the same as before the golden template was upgraded. It is worth mentioning that when you click on Conqueror's Hockey, although this power has not been recorded in the Golden Template for a long time, it has already reached a very high level. Open Black Lens Bracket Conqueror's Hockey, 7th Order, 065610, Close Black Lens Bracket. Conqueror's Hockey is different from the other two types of hockey, and cannot be improved through conventional methods. The known strength depends on one's own strength and courage. It's hard to say that the spirit is illusory, but in terms of strength, with Luo Wei's current strength, it is natural that even if he has just awakened Conqueror's Hockey, Conqueror's Hockey already has a very high strength. Advertisement. Chapter 194 Practice Space, Second Change. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Since Conqueror's Hockey is also recorded in the Golden Template, it can also be improved by using the Sin value and original Sin value. There was a gleam in Luo Wei's eyes. Conqueror's Hockey can be a very powerful force. It can not only wipe out those miscellaneous soldiers whose strength is far weaker than itself, but also weaken the enemy's strength with psychological pressure. For this, he has a deep understanding, and is even able to awaken Conqueror's Hockey, part of the reason is because the heart pressure aroused his anger. Luo Wei also spends a lot of time on the Conqueror's Hockey these days. Perhaps because of his strong soul, he has initially completed the control and can activate and deactivate the Conqueror's Hockey independently. After a few thoughts flashed through his mind, Luo Wei looked at the third item, which was not there before. The first is practice when Luo Wei's consciousness came into contact, before 09 noticed the change in the other party, a message appeared inexplicably in his mind. This is, Luo Wei was stunned, and a look of surprise quickly appeared on his face. Consciously and subconsciously looking at cultivation, I saw that the complete information has been displayed on it. Open black lens bracket practice close black lens bracket small, medium, large. If there is no information inexplicably appearing in the mind, the complete information of practice may not be understandable, but now Luo Wei has already understood the function of practice. Advertisement. The information that just appeared in my mind is the introduction about open black lens bracket cultivation close black lens bracket, just like its name, this item is for practice. The meanings represented by small, medium, and large are small practice, medium practice, and large practice. Using the sin value is the key, Spend 10,000 sin points to open a small practice, spend 100,000 sin points to open a major practice, and spend 1 million sin points to open a major practice. At the same time, when cultivation is activated, the whole person will enter the so-called practice space, no matter which practice is small, medium or large, the time to enter is 24 hours. In the outside world, 
24 hours in the practice space is only equivalent to one second, that is to say, the time difference between the two is one second, 24 hours. And most importantly, the practice space has some kind of wonderful ability. Once you practice in it, the effect of practice will far exceed that of the outside world. If you start the small practice and enter the practice space, the effect of 24 hours of practice will be comparable to a month outside. The medium practice and the major practice are equivalent to one year and ten years of hard work respectively. An inch of gold can't buy an inch of time. The effect of cultivation can be said to be equivalent to that Lua Wei can exchange the time of practice with the value of sin. Although the strength recorded in the golden template can be improved directly through the sin value and original sin value, but the technical ability needs to be learned and strengthened by himself through practice. There is such a thing. After understanding the function of practice, Luo Wei immediately felt pleasantly surprised. Advertisement. With his current strength, it is not too difficult to obtain evil points. Although the amount of crime points required to start cultivation is not low, compared to the effect, the effect that cultivation can exert is still huge. Just like fencing and hockey applications, these are things that take a lot of time to perfect and improve. Strength also requires matching skills in order to exert its power 100%, even if the skill is advanced, it is enough to exert the power of strength 100% plus. This time it really is an upgrade of the golden template, just the addition of cultivation, this month or so and the 10 original sin points spent have already been earned back. Luo Wei took a deep breath to calm down the joy in his heart. Although he really wanted to try the effect of practice immediately, he still endured it first, and looked at the space that was added at the same time. When the consciousness is in contact with it, just like the practice just now, information about this ability naturally comes to mind. Space, just like its name, it is an independent small space, which can also be said to be a storage space. Its space size is about 10 times 10 times 10. Moreover, the size of space is not fixed, but can be improved. According to the information that emerges in the mind, the improvement of space requires the investment of original sin value, and the consumption can be doubled. Just like now, if Luo Wei wants to increase space, he only needs one point of original sin to increase it to 20 times 20 times 20. Advertisement. But if you want to increase it again, the consumption of the original sin value will be doubled, and so on, respectively 2 points, 4 points, 8 points. Although, space is not like practice can be used to improve strength, Luo Wei is also very satisfied with the role of space. As a time traveler, without a portable storage space, it is not a qualified time traveler. Then let's feel the effect of practice first. After checking the remaining sin value and original sin value of 447, Luo Wei immediately refocused on the practice that made him most eager. Although it has only been a month, after destroying almost all the elites of Locke and the Crusher Pirates, it has also brought more than 100,000 crime points and 7 points of original sin. With the addition of several underworld gangs he hunted and killed before, Luo Wei's current crime value has reached more than 270,000, and the original sin value also has 9 points. After thinking about it for a while, Luo Wei started a small practice, ready to confirm the effect of practice. When the 10,000 crime points were subtracted, Luo Wei, who was sitting cross-legged on the bed in the room, suddenly disappeared like a flicker. Opening his eyes, when Luo Wei noticed a change in the external environment, he withdrew from his mind and stared at the surroundings. Looking around, he was already in a vast space with almost no boundaries, the jade-like land was under his feet, and the sky was white. It's a bit like a spiritual time room. Luo Wei was thoughtful, and then he suddenly felt an abnormality in his body. The mind's thinking is extremely clear, and the inspiration for practice is like a fountain. At the same time, the body seems to have infinite energy, as if every cell is cheering. Advertisement. Chapter 195 Physical Enhancement 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. What a wonderful state, is this the reason why the practice space can greatly improve the effect of practice, and it is only a small practice. If it is a medium practice or even a large practice, this wonderful state will probably be even stronger. Luo Wei was full of admiration for his own abnormal feelings, but at the same time his heart was burning, and he started to practice without hesitation. Although the practice space can improve the effect of practice, it also requires self-cultivation. If you don't come in, you can automatically become stronger. Luo Wei's practice directly chose physical fitness, because this is his biggest shortcoming at present, and he urgently needs to strengthen it. Using the vibration quenching technique as a practice method, Luo Wei quickly discovered the difference from practicing in the outside world when his body was in a wonderful state. Normally, in the case of damage to the body, he can only last for two hours at most under the maximum use of the vibration tempering technique, and it will take a long time to rest and recover after using it. But now, he found that both the body's load capacity and the pain tolerance were far beyond the outside world, and it seemed that there was invisible energy entering the body during breathing. This not only kept his body and spirit in the best condition at all times, but also greatly enhanced the effect of tempering his body. It's amazing, it's not an exaggeration to describe it as a practice paradise. Even Luo Wei's current will is somewhat shocked by the unimaginable cultivation situation. 
Shua, advertisement. In the room of the moonlight, Luo Wei, who had just disappeared suddenly, reappeared immediately to the outside world. Has 24 hours passed so quickly? Seeing the familiar environment in the room, Luo Wei got off the bed with some regret. The 24 hours he said is naturally the time of the practice space, the wonderful state and the unimaginable practice effect, which made Luo Wei unable to help being fascinated by the practice space. After getting out of bed, Luo Wei first moved his hands and feet, and then he held his breath to feel the condition of his body. Sure enough, there has been a significant increase in physical fitness. According to the previous growth rate, after starting the small practice this time, the improvement in physical fitness can almost be compared to the previous month or so. Although the physical quality reaches a certain height, the six style game hands will not be able to detect the accurate power value, but the approximate improvement rate can still be judged. After Luo Wei carefully sensed and judged, he came to the result. After starting the small practice, he practiced in the practice space for 24 hours, and the practice effect was indeed comparable to a month of hard work outside. After being sure, the corners of Luo Wei's mouth slightly raised, and a smile appeared on his face. Now the cultivation of skills and abilities has also been resolved, just like the improvement of strength, now he only needs to continue to acquire evil points, and then he can be strengthened quickly. Open black lens bracket evil value, 265,300 close black lens bracket. Open black lens bracket original sin value, 9 close black lens bracket. After checking the amount of sin value and original sin value again, Luo Wei pondered. Except for the Nianian fruit, his other powers are at the 7th level, and the 7th level to the 8th level requires not only 3 points of original sin, but also about 65,000 evil points. Advertisement. Nianian fruit now needs nearly 200,000 evil points to upgrade. This amount is too large. I must keep enough evil points to strengthen my physical strength. In this case, then I will improve the sword first, and then use all the remaining evil points to strengthen my physical strength. As for hockey, I can only improve after obtaining new evil points in the future. After some thinking, Luo Wei gradually made a decision and began to manipulate the golden template to improve the way of the sword. Kendo is a power of high attack. Although it is not as balanced as armament hockey, it can exert a super attack power in battle, especially when combined with Nianian fruit, the attack power generated is enough to threaten those strengths enemies above themselves. The evil points are continuously invested, and after consuming 65,609 points of evil points, Sword Dao has reached the state of full experience value of the 7th level. Then the, plus, appears behind the original sin value, Luo Wei is clicking to use it. At the same time that the original sin value was immediately reduced by 3 points, the, Sword Dao that had fallen into a cooling state regained its brilliance, and it was instantly promoted to the 8th level. After adapting to the sudden increase in strength, Luo Wei did not hesitate, and directly activated cultivation, and this time it was a higher level of cultivation. Compared with the consumption of evil points of small practice, the effect of practice is comparable to that of one year of medium practice, and the consumption of 100,000 evil points is equivalent to two months of practice consumption, so he would naturally choose this. The figure disappeared into the room again, and when Luo Wei reappeared a second later, obvious changes had taken place on his body. Not only are the muscles stronger and the body is much stronger, but just standing there will give people a strong sense of oppression. Boom. Raising his hand and clenching his fist, terrifying power instantly burst out from the palm of his hand, and the air that had been horribly squeezed overflowed wildly like a burst. Advertisement. Backquote The effect looks better than expected. Luo Wei smiled slightly at this scene. Under the practice of starting, one second outside the world is equivalent to a whole year of penance for him. Under the practice of completely concentrating on physical fitness, his physical fitness has naturally been astonishingly enhanced. During this practice, my physical fitness has increased by at least 20%. In terms of Taoism, my current physical fitness is close to 6,000. Luo Wei murmured. Not only because of a small practice before. In the days after leaving the Boeing Islands, although he has been hunting everywhere to get money, Zhao, whether he is on the way or free, he will allocate enough time for physical training. Before practicing this time, his physical strength value has almost reached about 4,500. An increase of about 30% is equivalent to an increase of more than 1,000 Dao's strength. Although it is only a general assessment, his physical fitness has definitely grown tremendously. Is it less than 100,000, then come here first. After checking the remaining status of the evil value, Luo Wei temporarily ended the practice after finding that it was not enough to start the practice again. It's not that he neglected the small practice, but because his current sin value is less than 1,000 points of evil value from 100,000. Instead of starting a small practice, it is better to go out and hunt. After all, the crime value of less than 1,000 is easy for him to obtain. Advertisement. Chapter 196 Shichibukai Changes, 4th. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The sea breeze was gentle, and after resting for more than half a month, the moonlight set sail again, fluctuating in waves of waves, and constantly moving towards the distance. Newsbird come here, I want to buy a newspaper. On the deck, Nico Robin, 
who has a delicate face and a hot figure, waved a 100 berry in his hand, and greeted the news bird flying through the air. The news bird landed decisively, grabbed the berry in Nico Robin's hand, dropped the rolled newspaper, and continued to look for new buyers. How is it? Is there any big news released recently? Luo Wei, who just walked out of the cabin door, saw Nico Robin who picked up the newspaper and opened it to read, and walked over with a smile. The captain really told you right. Nico Robin looked up at Luo Wei who was coming, and opened the newspaper with both hands, so that the news recorded on it was displayed in front of Luo Wei. Oh, is there really big news? Luo Wei bent down slightly with great interest, and his eyes fell on the other party's open newspaper. The most eye-catching thing on it is a picture of a character, with a title in large font obliquely printed on it, it is impressive to read, Wu Hai Replacement. Pirate Hunter Tiger Hunting, Tina has become a new member of Seven Warlords of the Sea. Advertisement. Look, it said that Gecko Moria, the original member of Seven Warlords of the Sea, violated the signed regulations, so the world government reselected a new member, that is, this pirate hunter named Tina. The news also introduced that this people are as strong as monsters, and they have defeated several big pirates who offered a reward of more than 500 million berry. Nico Robin continued. Interesting. While listening to Nico Robin's explanation and carefully reading the reports recorded in the newspaper for a while, Luo Wei showed a playful expression on his face. After seeing Luo Wei's strange expression, Nico Robin asked curiously, Why, does the captain know this Tina? That's not true, but Gecko Moria has been dead for more than a year, do you think the report on it is very interesting? Luo Wei said with a smile, retracting his eyes and straightening up. Nico Robin was surprised at first, and then his eyes flashed. There is such a thing, it is possible that Gecko Moria was killed by the captain. Well, not long after first left Marine, I happened to know that Gecko Moria was hiding in the magic triangle, so I found the other party, and Perona and Hoback were also on board Gecko Moria before. I see, does the captain know so much about Gecko Moria? Nico Robin was thoughtful, and said to himself, So, the world government should have known about this a long time ago. Not surprisingly, it should be to maintain the deterrence of the Seven Warlords of the Sea. Published. Then until now, after finding the right person, they changed Shichibukai's roster to the current situation. The collection and analysis of intelligence is one of the skills Nico Robin is good at. Now after learning what Luo Wei said, he almost quickly sorted out what happened. This possibility is indeed very high. The Seven Warlords of the Sea is used by the world government to balance the power formed by the sea. They will definitely pay close attention to it. I guess the world government may hold the life paper of the Shichibukai. If anyone has an accident, the other party can immediately know and respond. Advertisement. If this is the case, then it makes sense. Nico Robin also very much agrees with Luo Wei's guess. Speaking of which, this new Shichibukai should be a fur family. It looks like a tiger. Well, it looks pretty, and its body, AJFE, is very good. Although it's not as good as Robin's, it's still quite stylish. Beauty. Can I understand that the captain is praising me for being beautiful? Of course, because I was praising you. N. He he he, I didn't expect the captain to be quite good at coaxing people. No, I'm just telling the truth. While chatting, the topic of the two of them suddenly shifted to other places. Facing Nico Robin who was covering his mouth with a sweet smile, Luo Wei was calm and calm. Because Perona is still young, Luo Wei has scrupulousness, but Nico Robin is different. Although it is still a little short of Yuji, it is already a delicious fruit that can be picked, and Luo Wei can naturally take it with confidence. Nico Robin is a person who pays great attention to intelligence gathering. She was in the days of Iron Fist, so she is also very familiar with West Blue's underworld forces. When going out to sea to start a new round of hunting, Luo Wei felt much more relaxed, and there was no need to search slowly as before. Advertisement. Every time he goes to a sea area, Nico Robin can immediately provide the location of the nearby underworld gangs. He only needs to drive the moonlight to go directly there. In the next less than a month, Luo Wei successfully patronized more than 10 underworld gangs, including a first-rate underworld gang and two second-rate underworld organizations with Tekken Triad Yasuji. With such a hunting speed, even if Luo Wei handed over some of them to Perona and Nico Robin in order to give Perona and Nico Robin enough training opportunities, the harvest is still huge. Even if he started his middle practice again, the remaining sin points would still be as much as 30,000. At the same time, during the re-launch of the practice, Luo Wei's practice is still physical fitness. Although the further backward the physical fitness, the more difficult it is to improve. But after the second middle practice, his physical fitness has been greatly enhanced, and his power value has broken through the 7000 mark. You must know that in the Ennis Lobby chapter, Rob Lucci only has 4000 power points in human form. Although the Zone Leopard type has an excellent boosting effect on physical fitness, at most it allows him to exert around 6000 power points. Based on the evaluation of Rob Lucci by the vice admirals of several headquarters that executed Buster Call at that time, Rob Lucci at least has the strength of the naval headquarters general level, and he is not even inferior to those weaker vice admirals. At that time, 
Rob Lucci didn't know hockey, and his strength came entirely from the physical fitness added by six forms and zone. Advertisement. Chapter 197 Top Underworld, First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. With Luo Wei's current physical fitness, it can be said that even if he doesn't use other strengths, he can easily defeat the opponent with the same not weak six forms alone. From this simple example, it is enough to illustrate how strong Luo Wei's current physical fitness is. Of course, he did not become arrogant because of this. One of the advantages of the traveler who knows the plot is that he knows the vastness of the world, and his vision will not be limited to a narrow place. Compared with physical monsters like Big Mom and Kaido, Luo Wei is very clear that his physical quality is not enough, so he needs to work harder to enhance it. The moonlight sailed slowly into the port. After stopping, as usual, non-combatant Hovak stayed on board to guard, while Luo Wei, Perona and Nico Robin disembarked and boarded the port. Captain, is the action going to be the same as before? Nico Robin turned his head and said to Luo Wei beside him after casually glancing at the busy scene in the port. Luo Wei nodded slightly, and said, That's right, except for the leader of the opponent, you can dispose of the rest freely. Ha 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 ha. The target this time is the top underworld gang in West Blue, so it shouldn't be too boring, the lively Perona followed with a smile. That's for sure. Even the first class underworld organization can't match the background of the top underworld gang. Although it may not be a big deal to the captain, it can be said to be extremely dangerous to us. Nico Robin was a little dignified road. Then be more careful, don't leave me too far when you're ready to act, so that even if something happens, I can provide immediate support. Luo Wei smiled lightly. Advertisement. Clear. Don't worry, I'm not that weak. Nico Robin and Perona had different reactions, the former was steady and the latter was confident. After a brief exchange, the three of them headed towards the town with Luo Wei leading the way. A large part of the underworld gang's revenue comes from protection fees. The more prosperous the place, the more protection fees it can naturally collect. Luo Wei's target this time is a top underworld gang in West Blue. The town where its headquarters is located is naturally very prosperous, and it can even be said that it already has the embryonic form of a kingdom. Like the original Iron Fist, the headquarters of this top underworld gang is also located in the center of the town, as if this is the only way to demonstrate absolute control over the territory. No special investigation was needed, after casually finding out a few local residents, Luo Wei easily found the headquarters of this top mafia gang. Is this the place, really rich enough? Across the street, Perona clicked his tongue looking at the building in front of him that was far more beautiful and luxurious than other buildings. Nico Robin on the side smiled gracefully and said, it's normal. A top mafia gang has a lot of wealth. The headquarters is the face, so it will naturally be carefully built. Luo Wei, who was standing between the two women, was also staring at the other's exquisite building. After a while, he frowned slightly, and said in a deep voice, something is wrong, there are surprisingly few people in this building, and there is not even a decent master. Huh, what do you mean? Advertisement. Is there a trap? Luo Wei's words immediately shocked the two girls, especially Nico Robin, who had already cultivated a sense of vigilance after years of survival, and immediately looked around with vigilance. I don't know if there are any traps, but there must be problems. While Luo Wei was talking, he also spread his perception to the observation hockey of the exquisite building in all directions. Under the observation hockey of the seventh level intensity, the perception range can easily radiate a radius of one kilometer, and countless life breaths quickly fall into the perception through the dimension. Luo Wei's frown deepened, because he originally thought there would be ambushes around, but after sensing it, he found that there was no aura of interest, but ordinary people instead. Could it be that our hunting this month has aroused the other party's vigilance and set up an ambush here? Nico Robin lowered his voice and asked Luo Wei. Zero. Seeking flowers, I used observation hockey to perceive a radius of one kilometer, and found no abnormality. Luo Wei also looked at the other party, and told the other party what he perceived. If it was in the past, Nico Robin naturally didn't know the existence of hockey, but now, although she hasn't studied yet, she has a comprehensive understanding of hockey under Luo Wei's intentional introduction. Then what's going on here, could it be that the other party just took all the elite out? Nico Robin wondered. Then should we make a move? Perona also asked. Luo Wei didn't hesitate, and said decisively, Of course I have to shoot, you will follow me later, don't rush to act alone without my order. Advertisement. Point zero. A mere underworld force in West Blue, even the top underworld gang, is obviously not enough to make him afraid. Similarly, not being afraid does not mean losing vigilance. Luo Wei's exhortations to the two women later are just in case. After finishing speaking, Luo Wei walked directly towards the exquisite building opposite, Perona and Nico Robin did not hesitate, keeping a guarded posture while following closely behind. Stop, you are. In front of Jingjing building, there were several strong men in black suits guarding the gate. When the three of Luo Wei approached, some of them immediately shouted and prepared to step forward to conduct an interrogation. 
Whoosh whoosh. Without waiting for the other party to finish speaking, Luo Wei shot out bullets with his fingers, piercing the foreheads of the strong men guarding the gate. Enemy attack. Someone is invading. The enemy is at the gate. Aim and shoot. The security force of the exquisite building is far more than just a few people guarding the gate. Not only are there patrolling personnel nearby, but there are also many secret sentries. Following Luo Wei's shot, these people immediately fought back in fright, some shouted for support, and some directly shot at Luo Wei and the others. Advertisement. Chapter 198 Explosion and Union, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Da da da. There were at least 20 guns firing, and the bullets shot out quickly, but when Luo Wei coldly swept them, all the bullets stopped in midair. The power of thought emerged, and the bullets flew back in an instant, killing all the people who fired. Boom boom boom. After entering the gate, Luo Wei did not continue to move forward, but waved his hands casually with a calm expression and shot out waves of tyrannical thoughts like shock waves. Amidst the violent roar, not only the people who came to support were blasted away and screamed, even the exquisite building was shattered into a hole by the violent bombardment. Nico Robin and Perona didn't make a move because of Luo Wei's explanation. At the same time, they saw that the approaching enemy was easily killed by Luo Wei, and the tension between the two of them was relieved a lot. It seems that the elites and masters here may really be out. Nico Robin thought secretly after observing for a while. Although people with guns and soldiers in Jingjing building are constantly coming to support them, the level of strength shown by these people is very average. It can only be said that they are just a group of miscellaneous soldiers. Luo Wei. On the other side, Perona also saw that there were no powerful masters and ambushes, so she couldn't help asking if she could make a move. But when she just yelled two words, an astonishing drastic change happened suddenly. Advertisement. Boom. Like a volcanic eruption, a terrifying explosion erupted centered on the exquisite building in an instant. The scorching flames and gunpowder smoke engulfed everything in a frantic manner amidst the earth-shattering roar, whether it was the three of Luo Wei or the others in the exquisite building, they all disappeared in the explosion. Not only did the exquisite building instantly disappear into nothingness, but the terrorist explosion radiated in all directions with a frightening impact. Looking down from the sky, the center of the town seemed as if a nuclear bomb had been dropped. The terrifying ring-shaped shock wave crazily destroyed houses and buildings, and then a huge mushroom cloud rose. The terrifying explosion appeared very suddenly, and at the same time, its destructive power was astonishing. It is no exaggeration to describe it as shaking the earth. Ah, my god, why did the town explode all of a sudden? My leg is broken, who will save me? Destruction is always easier than creation. After the explosion lasted for nearly a minute, when the explosion dissipated, the original town center, where the exquisite building was located, presented a terrifying pit with a diameter of more than 500 meters. At the same time, the terrible impact caused by the explosion is enough to radiate several kilometers in radius. Such an astonishing destructive power can be said to have caused unimaginable trauma to the entire town. Advertisement. Not only were countless houses and buildings turned into ruins, but countless people suffered tragic casualties. In the radiation area of the explosion, mourning was everywhere, and screaming and wailing wounded could be seen everywhere, and at the same time, there were bloody corpses all over the place. It is only a rough estimate that this terrorist explosion caused at least thousands of casualties. Yo ha ha ha, it really is a super bomb that spent a lot of money to buy. This kind of power is simply a visual feast. Lousy has decided to buy another one in the future. It's amazingly destructive. It destroyed half of the town in an instant. With such power. No matter how powerful it is, it's impossible for anyone to survive. Now the other party is definitely doomed, HMPH, although the headquarters and some people were sacrificed, it finally solved a problem. When the terrorist explosion ended, a large number of people with guns and soldiers poured in outside the town. In front of thousands of people in the dark, the leaders showed different expressions when they looked in the direction of the explosion, either laughing arrogantly or sneering with disdain. Idiot, you're not even sure about the life and death of the enemy, but you're giving a victory speech here, and you don't send someone to check in the heart of the explosion if you have this time. At this time, one of the leaders, with a cigar in his mouth, exhaled a puff of smoke, and immediately yelled at the others. Capone Beige, who are you calling an idiot? Thinking that you are in charge of this operation means that you can command us. That's right, do you still think that the other party can survive such an explosion? Capone Beige, don't forget that the reason why we joined forces is to eradicate this madman who appeared out of nowhere. Now this madman is absolutely certain to die, and the alliance between us will come to an end. Advertisement. They were also the leaders of West Blue's top underworld gang, and the others naturally refuted not to be outdone. Even looking at Capone Beige is full of unkindness and hostility. However, Capone Beige seemed to have expected such a scene long ago. After taking another deep puff of his cigar, he said calmly, if the enemy hadn't threatened the entire underworld forces of West Blue this time, Yuanzi wouldn't have cooperated with you trash at all. He was telling the truth. If Luo Wei hadn't hunted down the underworld gangs during this month, 
especially easily destroying a top underworld gang, how could Capone Bej and the leaders of other top underworld gangs secretly unite because they felt threatened, set up this ambush? After finishing speaking, Capone Bej didn't bother to pay attention to these people, and prepared to take his own troops into the town and go to 1.3 to check the specific situation of the explosion center. Boom. Suddenly, without waiting for Capone Bej to make a move, a strong roar swept over them, and then a ferocious shock wave visible to the naked eye engulfed him and several gang leaders. Amidst the deafening roar, violent air waves crazily overflowed, not only kicking up a large cloud of dust, but also blasting the surrounding people out. Ah, no, it's an enemy attack, where's the leader? Look, the enemy is in the air, kill them. The sudden attack immediately caused a chaotic scene. Not only were there screams and exclamations, but some people looked at the sky in disbelief. Advertisement. Chapter 199 Horizontal Push and Crush Third Update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Stepping into the void like walking on the ground, Luo Wei coldly looked down at the many gangsters below, and beside him, Nico Robin and Perona also had gloomy faces. The explosion caused by the shock wave dissipated quickly, not only revealing the casualties of dozens of people, but also several gang leaders, including Capone Bej, in a panic. Except for Capone Bej whose clothes were damaged, the others had injuries of varying severity and their bodies were stained with their own blood. Da da da, those who can appear here are the elites of several top underworld gangs. After a brief shock, when these people found the three Lua Wei in the air, they immediately counterattacked in shock and anger. There was a lot of gunfire, and bullets shot out like a storm. Among them, some people even shouldered the artillery and fired shells. The flow of thoughts Shen Luo Tianzheng. Luo Wei indifferently raised his palm and pushed it out, a terrifying shock erupted in the palm of his hand. Not only did it blow back the sub-09 bullets and artillery shells that came from the strafing, but it also crushed the crowd like a wildly expanding hemispherical energy force. Boom. Amidst the violent roar, the ground that had stopped just now shook violently again. The ferocious impact radiated in all directions in a circular shape. Wherever it passed, the unmatched power blasted and smashed gangsters one by one. Advertisement. The billowing dust filled the air, and a crater with a diameter of nearly 100 meters suddenly appeared in the crowd. At the same time, hundreds of people died under the huge shock wave. After the shock, Luo Wei also landed to the ground with the two women in an instant. Luo Wei, can we make a move now? Perona gritted her teeth. Nico Robin on the other side didn't speak, but his pretty face was frosty, and he looked at the many gangsters ahead with strong murderous intent. It is normal for two women to have such a reaction. In the terrorist explosion just now, if Luo Wei hadn't reacted in time, at the moment of the explosion, the awakened power of Nian Nian Fruit had built a defensive shield, leading them to the sky, and now they would have been bombed like everyone else became smashed. Moreover, whether it is Luo Wei or the two women, they underestimated several underworld gang leaders including Capone Bej. It never occurred to them that they would plant a terrifying bomb in the center of the town, which completely treated everyone in the town as a victim. Go, get rid of all this rubbish. Luo Wei's voice was full of coldness, and at the same time, his eyes were extremely cold looking at Capone Bess and the others. Without hesitation, Perona and Nico Robin rushed out immediately. Mini ghost ghost bomb. Ten wheel flower hook claw. One after another, the ghosts and the flower arms launched a fierce offensive, blowing up the gangsters to death and breaking their necks. Kill them all. Be careful, these two women are demon fruit power. Advertisement. Die. Although many people were killed or injured by Luo Wei's, Shen Luo Tianzheng, there are still a large number of gangsters left. Facing Perona and Nico Robin who came to kill them, these already brutal gangsters immediately roared and launched a counterattack. But Perona and Nico Robin are no weaklings, especially when combined. Even in the top underworld gangs, there are very few people who know hockey, and Perona can quickly make a large number of people lose their fighting spirit with just a negative ghost. And Nico Robin cooperated with Perona's attack, and quickly twisted the necks of these people who lost their fighting spirit with the flower arm. Although there are not two powerful moves, the speed of the two women killing the enemy is also very fast. It is almost possible to see pieces of gangsters either being blown into pieces or having their necks broken to death. When Perona and Nico Robin were fighting with many gangsters, Luo Wei also walked towards several gang leaders including Capone Bej. In this world, strength always comes first. To become the leader of a top gang, one's own strength is naturally the strongest of the faction to which one belongs. According to Observation Hockey, even if Luo Wei doesn't know the identity of other people except Capone Bej, the strength of breath is enough for him to distinguish. Damn, is he a monster, and survived such an explosion? How did this happen, who is this person, and why is he so strong? Damn it, give it to Lousy, whoever kills him, Lousy will reward him with 100 million berry. The gang leaders naturally also saw the future Luo Wei, some couldn't believe it, and some were horrified. Among them, Capone Bej also had an ugly face, staring at Luo Wei firmly. Advertisement. A leader yelled in horror, and asked the subordinates of his own gang nearby to deal with Luo Wei. 
Although Perona and Nico Robin have attracted many underworld people, the most elite group of people in each gang undoubtedly stick to their leaders. Immediately after receiving the order, hundreds of people roared and rushed towards Luo Wei, accompanied by the sounds of gunfire and shelling. Without stopping, Luo Wei Leng raised his hand in a violent shock wave. Under the turbulent void and chaos, hundreds of gangsters were immediately swept by the shock wave, and then exploded into blood mist like fireworks. The flow of thoughts universal pull. The waving hand didn't let go, but grabbed the gang leaders including Capone Beige from a distance, and an astonishing suction burst out instantly. Ah, amidst the exclamation, no matter whether it was Capone Beige or the others, they had no ability to resist, and flew towards the fortress-like shells. Boom boom boom. Suction and impact were converted instantly, and when Capone Beige and the others approached, a terrifying shock wave erupted from Luo Wei's palm, causing howling air waves to dance wildly. The two forces were diametrically opposite, but they were also squeezed by tyrannical forces. Except for Capone Beige, several other gang leaders were directly blasted from their bodies, turning into sprayed blood and minced meat and scattered around. Capone Beige fell to the ground, and at the same time opened his mouth to spurt out blood. Although he was not blasted like the others, he was also seriously injured, which can be seen from the bruises on his body. At the same time, the current him no longer had the composure he had before, and he was full of horror and ferocity when looking at Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 200 Defeat, 4th Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Is it the fruit of the strong city? Luo Wei's eyes also fell on Capone Beige, who was not killed by him, and his eyes flickered slightly. Obviously, the opponent has already eaten the fortified city fruit, otherwise he would not be able to survive the double blow of universal pull and Shenluo Tianzheng, even if he did not exert the full power of the Nianian fruit. The strong city fruit can make the body of the capable person like a strong castle. In addition to the castle-like space in the body, the body will also become extremely strong. In the original book, Capone Beige and even Charlotte Linlin's attacks were only injured but not dead, which shows how excellent the defense of the strong city fruit is. Of course, compared to the period of the original book, Capone Beige's development of the fruit of the strong city must not be so deep now, otherwise he would not have suffered serious injuries now. It was hard to see with the naked eye, but when the ferocious Capone Beige looked at Luo Wei, tiny holes appeared on his body, followed by countless bullets and cannonballs. These bullets and shells were as small as dust particles at the beginning, but after exceeding a certain range of Capone Beige, they immediately returned to their original appearance and shot towards Luo Wei crazily. An ordinary person might not even have time to react to such a weird attack, but Luo Wei instantly understood the opponent's attack with observation hockey. He also pointed to the sword, and with a light swipe, the incomparable power of thought instantly turned into a dense mass of invisible primitives. Advertisement. These mind blades not only sliced and sent the incoming bullets and shells flying, but also enveloped Capone Beige in an instant. Chi 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 chi. Amidst the dense and terrifying tearing sounds, Capone Beige let out a scream, and his whole body was bleeding violently, as if he had been tortured by Ling Kai, and there was no good flesh left on his body. But even so, Capone Beige still didn't die. Instead, after being hit hard, he hurriedly turned around, his legs turned into crawlers, and fled towards the distance. He is a very standard underworld godfather, who can carry out brutal massacres, and will also decisively escape in the face of invincible enemies. Swish. It's just how could Luo Wei let the other party go, when Capone Beige galloped away on the track, Luo Wei also disappeared in place in an instant. Boom. As if flashing, when Luo Wei reappeared, he had already come to the sky above the galloping Capone Beige, and then he punched down without the slightest pause. Amidst the violent roar, Capone Beige screamed and hit the ground. Under the terrifying pressure, the ground collapsed violently, forming a huge deep pit. At the bottom of the pit, Capone Beige's seven orifices, which had been hit hard on the head, were overflowing with blood, especially from the mouth, which was constantly coughing up blood. It's just that under the crisis of life and death, he held back the pain and fired a lot of bullets and shells from his body towards Luo Wei again. Boom boom boom. The crazy explosion rushing out of the huge deep pit also engulfed Luo Wei above, and there were also dense bullets strafing past, flying towards the sky. Advertisement. Call. The strong wind-like impact dispersed the thick gunpowder smoke and flames almost instantly, and it was also Capone Beige who was oppressed in the deep pit-like gravity and tried to escape again. Boom. Like a gecko, Capone Beige stuck his whole body to the rock and soil in the pit under the tyrannical pressure, and then his body continued to crack, and his body fell into it. In the dissipating gunpowder smoke, Luo Wei landed quickly and arrived at the opponent's place in an instant, and then his right hand was like a knife, slashing straight down, slashing on Capone Beige's neck. Armament hockey is covered, although it is a sword in hand, it is no less than a famous sword. Cooperating with Luo Wei's current physical fitness, Capone Beige's neck was broken first, and then Luo Wei cut it off with a hand knife. The fruit of the strong city only allowed Capone Beige to live for a while longer. Under the absolute difference in strength, Luo Wei wanted to kill the opponent, there was no suspense at all. Ignoring the information of crime value and original sin value that appeared in his mind, 
Luo Wei jumped out of the deep pit after beheading Capone Veg's head, and swept towards the rest of the gangsters. Bang bang bang. Without using too much strength, Luo Wei is just pure physical quality, constantly waving his fists through the crowd. The fist-to-body attack and ferocious power not only killed the gangsters one by one, but also sent the corpses flying upside down like shells, breaking the tendons and fractures of other people around, screaming endlessly. The leaders of Capone Beige were all easily killed by Luo Wei, let alone their subordinates. The superiority in numbers had no effect on Luo Wei at all, and the casualties of the gangsters rose at an astonishing speed as fists burst out. Asterisk backquote, escape. Advertisement. Why did this happen? The leader was killed. Are they all monsters? I surrender. Spare me. It didn't take long for the underworld side to be killed by Luo Wei's three people, leaving less than a few hundred people, and under such a situation, these underworld people were terrified and collapsed immediately. Some fled in terror, some were frightened and dazed, and some cried and begged for mercy. With the loss of fighting spirit, the underworld party's defeat accelerated even faster. At the same time, no matter whether it was running away or begging for mercy, none of these made the three of Luo Wei stop attacking, but buried them all in hell. When Nico Robin twisted the neck of the last gangster, looking around at Lee Dezhao, the messy land was covered with dead bodies of all kinds. Hoo hoo. Both Perona and Nico Robin are short of breath, especially Nico Robin, her physical fitness is the worst among the three, and her physical exertion is naturally the greatest. When fighting against the gangsters, apart from Luo Wei, Perona and Nico Robin did not have smooth sailing, but were attacked by many masters. Although the two women won in the end, the burden on their physical strength has also increased, and they also have more or less injuries on their bodies. It's all right. When the battle was over, the three of them also gathered together. Seeing the two women who were dripping with sweat and with many injuries on their bodies, Luo Wei asked with concern. Chapter 201 Marine Appears, First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. It's okay. Just a few minor injuries. Small. I'll let Hoback heal him later. Nico Robin and Perona shook their heads one after another, neither showing a hard look. Okay. Then I'll go back to the boat. Luo Wei nodded, and at the same time stimulated his thoughts to envelop the two women. Although the two women acted very relaxed, he didn't really feel completely at ease. In order to prevent the two women's injuries from getting worse and to get treatment as soon as possible, Luo Wei directly took the two women into the air with his thoughts, and flew towards the fast-flying quality. Although Capone Beige and the others set up an ambush, their targets were obviously all on Luo Wei. When they returned to the port, Hoback's side was not attacked. After successfully returning to the moonlight, Perona and Nico Robin began to receive Hoback's treatment, while Luo Wei drove the ship out of the port. Although we were ambushed this time, we have gained a lot. While controlling the rudder, Luo Wei checked the golden template consciously. Although some of the enemies were solved by Perona and Nico Robin 880, in this battle, after killing several gang leaders including Capone Beige, Luo Wei undoubtedly gained a lot of crime points and original sin points. Advertisement. Being able to develop into a top underworld gang is naturally accompanied by bloody storms and countless bones. Just like Capone Beige, after killing him, Luo Wei gained more than 50,000 crime points. Although the other few people were a little worse, their sin values were all around 20,000 to 30,000, and this also brought about the harvest of original sin values. After checking, Luo Wei found that his sin value had reached nearly 200,000 again. At the same time, the original sin value plus the previous hunting had accumulated 15 points. Luo Wei began to think about the distribution of evil points. Although his physical fitness has been greatly enhanced during the two practice sessions, it is still not enough to satisfy him. Therefore, he is still planning to use the evil points of the ten directions for practice. As for the remaining evil value, after thinking about it, he decided to use it to upgrade armament hockey, a jack. In this way, the last remaining tens of thousands of evil points can be used in the application practice of armament hockey, and the application of just the, hardening, level is still worse after all. Luo Wei thought secretly in his heart. With his current strength, the enemies who can threaten him are all powerful grandmasters. Just like Green Pepper and Locke, both of them are hockey-type powerhouses. In addition to cultivating hockey to extremely high strength, the application of armament hockey has also mastered a higher level of external release. It is important to know that, external release, can not only exert the power of armament hockey at 100+, plus, but also attack through the air like a breath. With such a function, the help it can play in the battle is absolutely huge. Huh, is this a warship? Advertisement. Suddenly, after thinking about the allocation of evil points, Luo Wei, who turned his attention back to the navigation, showed surprise on his face when he casually glanced around. On the side of the moonlight that was moving forward, looking into the distance, it was impressive to see the shadows of several ships approaching rapidly. If only ships were found, Luo Wei would not be so. The problem is that these ships are marines warships, and the leader is a large vice admiral class warship of the headquarters. Boom boom boom. Almost at the same time as Luo Wei discovered it, the warships in the distance also burst into flames. Amidst the fierce gunfire, 
A large number of shells flew towards the moonlight like a giant bird with wings spread. They're targeting me. When the artillery shells came, Luo Wei also reacted instantly, and his figure shot from the rudder to the side of the hull facing the warship. Violent roars immediately appeared around the moonlight, and the bombardment did not land on the moonlight, but bombarded the sea nearby, blasting up jets of water that soared into the sky. Under the violent explosion, the originally calm sea immediately became frantic, setting off bursts of huge waves, and the impacting Yugong County shook violently. As this trying to force me to stop, because he found that the shells were not bombarding the ships, Luo Wei did not urge the Nianian fruit to stop them. At the same time, he stabilized his body and stared at the approaching fleet with a slight frown. The Four Seas is different from the Grand Line. Large warships of the Vice Admiral class in the headquarters are rare. Now, the sudden appearance and attack of this fleet naturally gave Luo Wei various ideas. Advertisement. Although he has returned to his original appearance, it does not mean that the original reward has lost its effect. Whether it's Corona or the Moonlight that has been following him, these are enough for Marine's intelligence forces to detect his location. Are you here to arrest me, but depending on the situation, the person leading the team is not Marine Admiral. Luo Wei quickly deduced the greatest possibility, and even activated observation hockey to perceive the approaching fleet. When he sensed one of the strongest auras, his eyes lit up. The strongest breath in this marine fleet is very powerful, even stronger than Qingzhou and Locke, but it doesn't give Luo Wei the feeling of being invincible. With such a feeling, it is naturally certain that the owner of the breath is not Marine Admiral. Luo Wei pondered slightly, and did not urge his mind to evacuate. Instead, he stopped the boat and watched the other party approaching calmly. What should come is coming back, he has already prepared for the encounter with Marine, and he also wants to make sure whether Marine already knows about his situation. On the other side, it was discovered that the moonlight did not escape, but stopped, and the Marine fleet sailing fast also stopped the shelling. After a while, a fleet of five warships, including large warships, came close to the moonlight and surrounded the moonlight. Although the firing stopped, after approaching, no matter whether it was the cannons equipped on each warship or the large number of Marines with guns attached to the guardrail, they aimed at the moonlight tightly. Chapter 202 Face It Calmly, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. At this time, on the deck of the moonlight, not only Luo Wei was looking at the opposite fleet, but Perona and Nico Robin, who had just bandaged their wounds, were also standing guard behind him. Naturally, the two women could not have been unaware of the violent shelling just now, and rushed out of the cabin to check the situation immediately. How will I plan to fight these marines later? Is it going to board their warships? Perona leaned close to Luo Wei and asked in a low voice. The boarding battle can easily cause damage to ships. Compared with Marines' fleet, Luo Wei and the others only have one ship, the Moonlight. Once it is damaged, it will naturally be very troublesome. No, I just want to confirm some things. If there is a real battle later, I will control the ship to evacuate. Luo Wei waved his hand. While speaking, on the large warship opposite, Dao's figure appeared at the front of the bow. I'm Marine Vice Admiral Gion, I'm here to hunt down the evil hunter, evil hunter, why don't you come out? Standing in the middle, Gion showing a tall figure and delicate face glanced at Luo Wei on the deck of the moonlight, frowned slightly, and then shouted loudly. What is she doing? Perona was stunned. Nico Robin subconsciously glanced at Luo Wei in front of him, and then got up thinking about it. Obviously, the Marine on the opposite side did not recognize Luo Wei, and this means that Marine still does not know that Luo Wei was in disguise. Naturally, Luo Wei also discovered this situation. From Gion's performance, he also confirmed that Marine didn't know his situation yet. Advertisement. At the same time, when looking at Gion, Luo Wei's eyes paused slightly when he saw a person beside him, and then focused his gaze on Gion. Because of the height of the two ships, Luo Wei had to look up at Gion, so he simply urged his thoughts to rise into the air until he was at the same level as the other party's line of sight. This move of his naturally attracted all the marines including Gion, and made the marines on the deck quickly shift their guns to aim at him. Gion Mimo stared at Luo Wei, and at the same time waved to the marines behind him not to approach. As Gion Vice Admiral looking for me, I've been here all the time. Luo Wei crossed his arms and looked at him calmly. Gion, who was just about to finish speaking, was stunned, and then a look of surprise appeared on his face. Are you a crime hunter? Luo Wei is completely different from his disguised appearance, which naturally arouses Gion's suspicion. Luo Wei smiled slightly, and said casually, It's natural, why, don't you believe it? Really? Then let me confirm whether you are a crime hunter or not. Gion naturally wouldn't believe it easily. After she realized it, her eyes instantly became sharper, and suddenly she pulled out the golden pira from her waist, jumped up vigorously, and shot directly at Luo Wei. Ding. Boom. Luo Wei also reacted quickly. When Gion first made a move, he also pulled out Chushui. The two slashed at each other almost at the same time, and an astonishing slashing collision erupted. Sparks sputtered out between the blades, and the majestic impact of the Japanese stock immediately radiated crazily towards the distance and the sky centered on the two of them. Advertisement. 
The violent aftermath swept across a radius of one kilometer like a gust of wind, not only rolling up the sea with monstrous waves, but also shaking the warship and the moonlight violently. Stand firm, be careful not to fall into the sea. Get ready to fight, don't hurt your own people. Everyone is on alert. The tossing of the huge waves not only caused many marines who were not standing still to scream and fall, but also made everyone on the marine side nervous and ready to attack at any time. The collision didn't last long. After a short moment, both Luo Wei and Gion retreated towards the rear. Luo Wei slid back more than 10 meters, while Gion flew upside down and landed on the bow of the large warship. Despair. Both feet landed steadily. Gion slashed his sword in front of Plump, his beautiful eyes fixed on Luo Wei who also stopped his retreat. It seems that you are right, you are really a crime hunter, then are you disguised now, or is your previous appearance a fake? Gion's eyes flickered, and then he said in a deep voice. Zero. Ask for flowers. Luo Wei casually walked in the air step by step, and returned to his original position. Facing Gion's temptation, he said indifferently, Of course it is my real appearance now, the question depends on whether you believe it or not. Gion's indiscernible eyebrows frowned, she was naturally not sure whether Luo Wei's words were true or not. Advertisement. It's really troublesome now, I didn't expect the evil hunter to change his appearance. If he doesn't catch him this time, once he changes his appearance again, it will be difficult to find him even if the reward is high. Her I thought secretly in my heart. Are you Luo Wei? Are you Luo Wei? Suddenly, a shout sounded from the edge of Gion. Including Gion, all marines on the deck looked at the owner of the voice in astonishment. She has soft sea blue wavy hair, and her exquisite face is not inferior to Gion at all. At the same time, under the cloak of justice, she also shows a graceful and tall figure. This person is obviously Ian who was at the same time as Luo Wei in the elite training camp. Luo Wei also shifted his gaze from Gion to Ain. Compared with the last encounter, Ain not only has a more mature appearance and figure, but also his military rank has been promoted from captain to major on the cloak of justice he is wearing. Long time no see, Ian, I didn't expect you to recognize me. Luo Wei didn't deny it, but responded very calmly, smiling. Different from the experience of entering the scientific research department because of Zephyr's broken arm in the original book, Ain joined Crane after graduating from the elite training camp. At the same time, because of her outstanding talent and performance, she also got the fancy of Gion, who has a sister relationship with Suru. After becoming a major, Ian was transferred to his own army by Gion, preparing to train her as an adjutant. This is also the reason why Ain is on this warship and follows Gion with great status. Advertisement. Chapter 203 Breaking Out of the Siege 3rd. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Are you really Luo Wei? After receiving Luo Wei's response, Ain's expression became agitated. Ian, what do you mean by Luo Wei? Gion walked up to Ian while maintaining his guard against Luo Wei, and asked in a low voice. She had to find out, because the performance of Luo Wei and Ian clearly showed that the two knew each other, and they might even have a close relationship. Especially Ain's excited performance, which aroused Gion's various conjectures. Gion's voice woke up Ian from the excitement, and at the same time, when she looked at Luo Wei, her eyes were extremely complicated. She unconsciously hesitated about Gion's question. She herself is an extremely intelligent person, and as she calmed down, she naturally understood the general situation of, 463. Obviously, Luo Wei's disappearance was not due to any accident, but he left Marine voluntarily, and also changed his appearance, creating the name of the evil hunter. It's just that Ian didn't want Luo Wei to be in danger, no matter it was because of his initiation in the elite training camp, or Luo Wei's rescue in a critical moment during the Emperor's alliance battle. Although she has not been with Gion for a long time, she also knows how powerful her chief is. Even though Luo Wei is now a well-known and powerful man, she still feels worried. This, Gion Vice Admiral. One is emotional to Luo Wei, and the other is rational to Marine's responsibilities. For a while, Ian didn't know whether he should tell Luo Wei's situation. What does Gion Vice Admiral want to know? Advertisement. Just when Ain hesitated and hesitated to answer, Luo Wei suddenly spoke. His eyes fell on Gion again, and he said lightly, If Gion Vice Admiral wants to know why I met Ain, I can tell you directly. For example, I used to be a Marine, and I was also a recruit of the elite training camp, or, half a year before graduation, I voluntarily left the internship ship and also left the Marine. Luo Wei's words diverted Gion's attention from Ain to herself very well, and at the same time made her look astonished. You used to be a marine recruit from the elite training camp. Gion said in shock. Luo Wei said lightly, Do you think it is necessary for me to lie to you about this kind of thing, and you only need to report my matter, I think it will be easy to confirm. I see. After all, Gion is not an ordinary person. Although Luo Wei's situation shocked her at first, she quickly regained her composure. At the same time, he locked on Luo Wei fiercely again, and said in a deep voice, no matter what your purpose is to leave Marine, you are now a wanted criminal, a crime hunter, and I will give you a chance to surrender now. If you refuse if so, 
Then even if I kill you, I will bring you back to the headquarters. Gion Vice Admiral, Luo Wei He. When Gion spoke, he unabashedly exuded a terrifying murderous aura and the astonishing sharpness of a great swordsman, which shocked Ian, who was on the side, with an anxious expression on his pretty face. It's just that she didn't wait for her intercession to come out, Luo Wei said calmly. I refuse, Gion Vice Admiral wants to kill me, it depends on whether you have the ability. After finishing speaking, Luo Wei flew towards the moonlight in an instant. Advertisement. Boom. A surge of thought power surged, and the moonlight immediately rushed towards one side like a speedboat. The two medium-sized warships blocking the front also suffered a violent impact in an instant, as if pushing open the gate, they moved sideways to the outside, and a passage appeared. The rushing moonlight passed by in the blink of an eye, and then galloped towards the distance. Don't try to escape. Gion was the first to react, his tall figure showed the agility of a cheetah, and he rushed to the side of the moonlight warship all at once. Boom. An astonishing sword energy flew out ferociously, not only tore apart the sea easily, but also swept across the channel between the two warships at a super fast speed, and slashed straight at the moonlight that was going away number zero. Even though part of this sword energy is below the sea surface, the part exposed above the sea surface is nearly a hundred meters high. The sword energy is not only extremely condensed, but also exudes a terrifying edge. Is he really a great swordsman? When Luo Wei controlled the moonlight to move forward, he also appeared on the top of the cabin in a flash. He stared at the amazing sword energy tearing from behind, and without hesitation, he swept out with the autumn water. Boom. Amidst the violent whistling sound, Luo Wei also unleashed an astonishing slash that was not inferior to Gion's. Advertisement. The solid dark gold sword light is like a giant eagle flying with wings spread, and as it flies horizontally, it rolls up a violent air wave that rolls up and down with violent force. One vertical and one horizontal, the sword chi and sword light seemed to divide the world into a cross shape, and they collided on the sea in an instant. Bang! The deafening roar immediately resounded through the sea area, and the terrible sharp edge and aftermath of the impact also ravaged the sea crazily, the churning huge waves churned, and Uzumaki emerged. This guy is indeed a great swordsman, and this kind of slashing does not seem to be a pure kendo, but a combination of other powers, is it Devil Fruit's ability. The power of the sword chi and the sword light were evenly matched, and they dissipated into chaotic airflow almost at the same time under the terrifying movement, and Gion's eyes were slightly terrified when he saw this scene. 0.6 regarding the evil hunter, or whether Luo Wei is a great swordsman, Gion had some doubts before, but now he is certain that Luo Wei is indeed a great swordsman. Not only that, but also a great swordsman, she was also very keen to discover the abnormality of the sword light, and saw that it was not sword energy, but mixed with other forces. Not good. Fire quickly. Don't let the evil hunter escape. All obey orders and shoot. Turn the rudder and pursue. The collision between the sword chi and the sword light caused violent tumbling on the sea surface, which also gave way to violent movements of warships in this area. Marine above hurriedly stabilized his figure, and at the same time was shocked and launched a counterattack. Advertisement. Chapter 204 Get rid of it easily, fourth more. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Under the yelling of the commanders of the various warships, the gunners shifted the barrels to the moonlight galloping away, and fired shells one after another. At the same time, many soldiers aimed their guns and carried out strafing attacks. Boom boom boom. Da da da. Even under the impetus of majestic thought power, the moonlight encircled at a rapid speed, and even extended the distance between the two sides by nearly a hundred meters, but under the powerful firepower, Marine still caught up with the cannonballs and the rainstorm of bullets. After intercepting Gion's slash, Luo Wei held Chushui's side down, his eyes fixed, and the invisible force of thought immediately swept out. Whether it's shells or bullets, under the sweep of thoughts, all of them stopped for a short time, flew back upside down, and blasted towards warships one by one. Jung. A brilliant sword energy swept across, crushing all the shells and bullets that flew back, and then flew obliquely to the distance until they disappeared into the sky. The person who emitted the sword energy was Gion. At the same time, after O9 slashed, she did not stop, but quickly used Moonwalk to step into the air and shoot towards the moonlight string. Flow of thoughts starlight extinction. Staring at Gion who was coming in fast pursuit, Luo Wei looked normal, put the autumn water into the scabbard quickly, and raised his hands in front of him. Advertisement. Boom. Like a torrent of energy bursting out in a fan shape, countless golden light spots containing terrifying explosive power crazily shot at Gion, making it impossible for her to avoid it. Devil Fruit Ability. Gion's complexion changed slightly, he hurriedly stopped, and while stepping on the moonwalk, he quickly swung his knife and slashed continuously, slashing with sharp sword aura. Boom boom boom. The torrent of energy and the sword energy collided amazingly immediately, the violent explosion almost engulfed the sky, and also stirred up frenzied huge waves on the sea below. When intercepting with, starlight annihilation, Luo Wei did not stop pushing the moonlight, and even increased its speed again, quickly breaking through the waves, and rushed thousands of meters away in a short period of time. Can't catch up. There was a messy airflow in the void, and when the explosion dissipated, Gion frowned when he saw the moonlight that was thousands of meters away. Although he was a little unwilling, 
but the speed of the moonlight was too fast, and Luo Wei kept intercepting it with swordsmanship and some kind of devil fruit ability, so Gion had no choice but to give up the pursuit. But you have to report the situation of the evil hunter as soon as possible. Thinking of this, Gion no longer hesitated, stepped on the moonwalk and returned to the warship, ordered to stop the pursuit, and went to the communication room. Luo Wei jumped down from the cabin until Gion's figure disappeared from sight and observation hockey's perception. Advertisement. Luo Wei, was that female marine just now a great swordsman? Falling back on the deck, Luo Wei still didn't let go of his thoughts, and continued to push the moonlight to sail at a fast speed. At the same time, Perona came over. Although she and Nico Robin didn't make a move just now, they still saw the whole process in their eyes. She was taken aback by Gion's strength. Luo Wei nodded slightly, and said, Yes, the other party is indeed a great swordsman, her name is Gion, and she is the Vice Admiral of Marines Headquarters. Are Marines Vice Admirals so powerful, and anyone who comes here is a great swordsman? Perona was shocked when she was confirmed. Of course it's impossible, a Vice Admiral is just a military rank, and it doesn't represent strength. Although Gion's military rank is a Vice Admiral, her strength is already higher than that of an ordinary Vice Admiral. Is that so? That's okay, I thought the top management of Marine were all monsters. Perona patted his chest with lingering fear. At this time, Nico Robin also came over. Although he hesitated, he still said to Luo Wei, Captain, don't you want to conflict with Marine? It is not without reason that she has this inquiry. Just like Locke before, when Luo Wei was being pursued by the opponent, he fought fiercely with the opponent without giving in. Although Gion showed great strength, based on Nico Robin's understanding of Luo Wei, Luo Wei shouldn't retreat without counter-attacking as he is doing now. Luo Wei also looked at the other party, and said softly, After all, I have received the favor of Marine, if it is not necessary, I really don't want to conflict with the other party. And my goal is to hunt those criminals. Although I can't say that there are no mistakes, but people like Gion who are not within the scope of my hunting, as long as the other party is not my enemy, I will not kill them. Advertisement. Gion's pursuit is an order from her superiors and Marine's duty, not a personal grievance between her and Luo Wei, so for Luo Wei, the other party is not an enemy. So that's how it is. Nico Robin was thoughtful, and his eyes flickered slightly when he looked at Luo Wei's beautiful eyes. Through this incident, she had a clearer understanding of Luo Wei. In addition to being strong and decisive, Yamato is also a person with clear grievances and grievances. Okay, you still have injuries, go back to your room and recuperate. Luo Wei looked at the two girls and said with a smile. The danger has been lifted, Perona and Nico Robin naturally have no objection, and after greeting Luo Wei, they return to the cabin. Then let's continue. Luo Wei, who stayed on the deck, continued to steer the moonlight with his thoughts, while sitting cross-legged in front of the rudder, and began to manipulate the golden template. According to the plan before meeting Gion, he also upgraded armament hockey. After consuming 65,610 sin points and three original sin points, armament hockey successfully made a breakthrough and rose to the eighth level of strength. It can be said that strength has entered a high level level since the seventh level. Just like big pirates like Aokiji and Locke, who specialize in hockey and taijutsu, the strength of armament hockey is only about eight levels. Although Luo Wei is one grade behind the two in application, but after Armament Hockey's strength reaches the eighth level, his own strength is definitely a step forward. After Armament Hockey was promoted, what Luo Wei did not stop was to start his middle practice with 100,000 evil points. Advertisement. Chapter 205 Underground Rewards First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The figure reappeared a second after disappearing. Although Luo Wei's appearance didn't change much, his muscular muscles became tighter and more explosive. Sure enough. The difficulty of upgrading is getting bigger and bigger. Although I have successfully broken through 8,000 power points, the growth rate is getting smaller and smaller each time. Sensing the condition of his body carefully, Luo Wei muttered to himself. For such a situation, although he had expected it, he still inevitably felt a little helpless. After sorting out his emotions, Luo Wei began to use the remaining evil points, and started to practice the application of armament hockey by starting a small practice. I don't know if Gion has given up on the crusade against Luo Wei, or if Marine learned of Luo Wei's situation and changed his strategy. In the following days, Luo Wei did not meet Gion again, nor did other Marines come to hunt him down. Although Luo Wei was surprised by this situation, he didn't pay much attention to it. In order to break through the application of armament hockey to the advanced level as soon as possible, his attention is completely on hunting the West Blue Underworld. The first to be targeted by him were of course Capone Beige and several other top underworld gangs. Although their leaders and elites have been eliminated by Luo Wei and the others, there are still a lot of people left on the site. Advertisement. In less than a month, Luo Wei uprooted these top underworld gangs with overwhelming force. The turf competition between the underworld is very cruel and fierce. The death of Capone Beige and the others will naturally be found out by other underworld gangs. Especially those first-class underworld gangs, if they can annex a top underworld gang, 
then their power will inevitably be greatly expanded and become the new top underworld gang in West Blue. It's just that these first-class mafia gangs obviously didn't expect that after the death of the tiger, a Tyrannosaurus ushered in. When Luo Wei cleaned up the remnants of several top underworld gangs such as Capone Beige, he also took away many first-rate underworld gangs who wanted to pick peaches. In less than a month, it has been a bloodbath for West Blue's underworld forces. More than 10 first-class underworld gangs were wiped out by Luo Wei and the others because of greed, and this also caused panic among the remaining underworld gangs. Because of Capone Beige's failure and Luo Wei's terrible power, these underworld gangs did not dare to directly attack Luo Wei, and chose to issue county rewards in the underground world. Compared with the reward offered by the world government, the underworld forces of West Blue, which are directly threatened, are much bigger. For the reward offered by Luo Wei, they directly set a reward of 1.5 billion berry. Although such an amount is also the reason for the West Blue underworld forces to raise funds, the reward amount of 1.5 billion is enough to prove their fear and determination to kill Luo Wei. The personnel composition of the underground world is very complex, shipping, usury, intelligence, assassination. It can be said that as long as it is black or gray industries are included. Advertisement. Even four emperors like Charlotte Linlin have suffered countless assassinations and attacks, and Luo Wei is naturally even more so. The bounty amount of 1.5 billion is enough to make many people risk their lives, especially forces of the nature of assassination organizations and mercenaries, they will not let go of such a high bounty. Boom boom boom. In the sound of fierce artillery fire, the shells fired at the moonlight hit the invisible spring bed, and directly bombarded the fleet not far away at a faster speed. In the endless explosions, one ship after another was sunk, the people on board suffered heavy casualties, and the corpses and those who survived fell into the sea continuously. Oversized ghost kamikaze bomb. A huge ghost was waved by Perona, and quickly flew from the deck of the moonlight to one of the ships. With an astonishing explosion, the ship was directly blown to pieces, and it was also the ship that would ride on it. All the people were killed. Dazzling hundred blossoms phantom wings. Numerous arms sprouted from behind, overlapping and crisscrossing, turning into gorgeous wings like angel wings, rolling up the whistling air waves, Nico Robin also flew into the air, and swept towards another ship. Hook. Maintaining the, phantom wings, Nico Robin hovered above the ship, his beautiful eyes glanced sharply, and his hands were crossed in front of him. Amid the dense bone fractures and screams, all the people on the ship below were twisted and broken by the flower arms growing from their shoulders, and then fell limply on the deck. Advertisement. When Perona and Nico Robin showed their abilities to attack, Luo Wei naturally didn't just watch the performance of the two women, and also launched a terrible attack. With a wave of the palm, terrifying shock waves of thought power burst out, and each shock wave contained amazing explosive power, enough to blast a ship instantly. Luo Wei just stood on the deck of the moonlight, waving his hands lightly, annihilating the enemy at a faster speed than Perona and Nico Robin. The battle took less than half an hour, and a fleet of more than a dozen ships was buried in the sea with their crews. After confirming that there were no enemies left, Perona stopped releasing the ghosts, and Nico Robin also flapped the, phantom wings, and returned to the, Lee's moonlight. Robin, your, phantom wing, is really beautiful. When Nico Robin fell back to the deck, Perona approached her with an envious expression, and even touched the, phantom wing, with an idiot expression. Isn't your ghost cute too? Nico Robin waited for Perona to touch it before dissipating the, phantom wings, into petals. At the same time, he touched the other's head and said with a light smile. Are ghosts cute? Not to ordinary people, but to Nico Robin and Perona, both of whom have very unique tastes, it is really possible. It's still Robin, you know how to appreciate it, the ghost is so cute, it's not like someone who blows up the cute ghost at every turn. Perona nodded repeatedly in agreement, and cast a glance at Luo Weijin who was standing aside while speaking. Advertisement. Chapter 206 The Growth of the Two Girls Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Nico Robin covered his mouth and laughed coquettishly when he saw this scene. She naturally knew why Luo Wei would often blow up Perona's ghost. The reason is very simple, that is, Perona has always had the bad taste of wanting to see Luo Wei in a negative state, so from time to time, he will sneak attack Luo Wei with a negative ghost. It's just that every time Luo Wei was very vigilant and saw Perona's sneak attack ahead of time, and then blasted the negative ghost approaching him with a brutal punch. Luo Wei shook his head helplessly, and waited until the two girls had finished chatting before saying to them, Looking at your appearance, your physical fitness has really improved a lot. If you don't recover your physical strength, you still have enough energy to chat here. Isn't this thanks to the captain, if you didn't use your ability to help us, our physical fitness would not have improved so fast. Nico Robin said with a smile. This sentence is true, if Luo Wei hadn't tempered the two women's bodies with the, vibration tempering technique, these days, they would never have used their abilities wantonly after fighting like they are now. Still retains quite a lot of physical strength. Although it is much more difficult for mind power to penetrate into the flesh and blood of others than to act on oneself, and it will also increase the effect of mind power. 
But in order to speed up the physical strength of the two women, and after adding the practice mode to the golden template, Luo Wei has enough free time, so now he regularly tempers the two women's bodies every day. But after talking about this, the corners of Luo Wei's mouth twitched. Advertisement. The essence of the vibration tempering technique is actually a high-efficiency body training technique that goes beyond conventional training, and it was developed by him to make up for his mediocrity. In other words, if a person with excellent physique also uses the vibration quenching technique to train his body, the efficiency will definitely be even better. Don't look at Perona and Nico Robbins' performance in the original book as if they are not good at gymnastics, but in fact, it is just that the two women lack training in this area. From the tempering effect of the past month, Luo Wei can already confirm that their physiques are not mediocre, but excellent. Even in the Marine Elite training camp where there are many talents, Perona and Nico Robbins' physique is enough to be ranked at the top level, not much worse than the top student aim. Just like it was shown in the battle just now, Nico Robbins' current physical fitness is much stronger than that of, two years later, in the original book. As for Perona, after training in the Boeing Islands, her physical fitness is already higher than that of Nico Robin. Now, her physical strength is sufficient enough to use the huge ghost that was originally a unique move as a regular move. Ahem, let's not talk about this, let's talk about the rewards in the underground world. You have also seen that not only are there more and more people attacking us recently, but the level is also getting higher and higher. When we land on the island for supplies in the future, you must be more vigilant. If you are attacked, you'd better contact me as soon as possible. Luo Wei, who felt his heart was hurt, coughed a few times, then decisively changed the subject, exhorting the two women. Advertisement. The fleet that was annihilated by Luo Wei and the others just now came to deal with a mercenary group of Luo Wei for the reward of the underground world. This is not the first time Luo Wei and the others have encountered such an encounter. In addition to being quite surprised at the beginning, after learning about the situation from a defeated assassin, Luo Wei already understood what was going on. Luo Wei is not surprised that West Blue's underworld forces will offer him a bounty in the underground world, and he will be, ajeb, surprised if the other party has no response. At the same time, Luo Wei was a little happy about the reward offered by the underground world. It's like when he used treasures to lure pirates to attack him when he was in the paradise, a steady stream of prey was automatically delivered to his door, which was completely convenient for him to obtain crime points. Both Perona and Nico Robin understood Luo Wei's exhortation. Although in West Blue, the underground world is worldwide. In the attacks encountered during these days, not every battle can be easily won as just now, but there are many masters and even strong ones appearing. It's just that these people are usually dealt with by Luo Wei, and if it is replaced by two women, even if their physical fitness has been greatly improved, the chance of winning is basically zero. After chatting for a while, Perona and Nico Robin recovered the physical strength consumed in the battle, and then went to the training room together, and began to develop and practice their respective devil fruit abilities. Advertisement. Just like the golden template does not have the practice mode, with the physical strength enhanced by the vibration quenching technique, the two women also put almost all their energy on the development of devil fruit. On the other side, Luo Wei who stayed on the deck and was in charge of controlling the navigation was also preparing to activate practice again. In the past month of frenzied hunting and killing of the underworld forces of West Blue, as well as the continuous annihilation of those who were attracted by the bounties offered by the underground world, Luo Wei naturally gained amazing results. Not only the original sin value, but also several points, and the number of evil points obtained exceeded 200,000. During this period, in addition to the medium practice of physical fitness, he also practiced the application of armament hockey several times. Now I have honed armament hockey's hardening application to the limit. It can be said that it is only a thin line away from the external release application. If this is the case, then this practice should be used on armament hockey. Looking at the golden template, after the battle just now, he once again broke through the crime value of 100,000, Luo Wei had a decision in his mind. His current physical strength has broken through 9,000 Dao power value. Compared with it, the application of armament hockey is somewhat insufficient. He is going to start a middle practice, and try to break through the application to the level of external release. Shua. Disappearing on the deck in an instant, Luo Wei immediately appeared in the vast and boundless training space after consuming 100,000 evil points. Feeling the wonderful feeling of sublimation of body and spirit, he did not hesitate to start the training of armament hockey application immediately. Advertisement. Chapter 207 New Rewards 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. On the swaying sea, a tall figure leisurely passed by on a bicycle. It can be seen that wherever the bicycle wheels pass, the seawater condenses and freezes to form a channel, which is why this tall figure can ride on the sea. Boo boo boo. A strange cry sounded from the tall figure's trousers pocket, which also made him stop riding. When his right foot put down the pedal and landed on the sea surface, the seawater under his feet froze instantly, forming ice blocks that he could stand on. Kuzan, I'm Sengoku, have you arrived at West Blue yet? 
As the tall figure connected, the phone bug vividly interpreted a serious face with round glasses and a mustache tied into a whip. At the same time, a voice came from the opposite side. It's Marshal Sengoku, I have indeed entered West Blue now, what's the matter, is there any trace of the evil hunter? Kuzan said lazily. That's right, that guy killed a top underworld gang in West Blue not long ago. After the analysis by the staff department, he can now roughly determine the underworld gang that the opponent's next target is. I will tell you where you can go to wait for the other party. Appear, Sengoku said quickly. After Kuzan recorded the location silently, he said with some emotion, Sin Hunter, the name is really correct. After entering West Blue, he kept destroying the underworld gangs here. Is he going to wipe out the underworld forces in West Blue? Don't say anything superfluous. Remember, when you enter West Blue this time, you must arrest Luo Wei, you know. Advertisement. Kuzan scratched his head, and said lazily, Don't worry, Marshal Sengoku, I will try my best to arrest the evil hunter, and if there is any new information, please notify me in time. 17. There is no problem with the information, but it's not about trying our best, but about making sure the arrest is successful. Don't be careless, you boy. Sengoku sternly reprimanded the phone bug. Kuzan was not surprised by Sengoku's reaction either, because he knew how much Marine's senior management, including Sengoku, attached importance to Luo Wei, or feared it. After Gion reported Luo Wei's information and confirmed that Luo Wei's identity was true, Marine executives not only changed the definition of Luo Wei from disappearance to defection, but also launched a more vigorous crusade. Although Kuzan will go to West Blue to attack Luo Wei, part of the reason is his own initiative to apply, but the dispatch of Admiral is enough to prove the determination of the Marine executives to attack Luo Wei. This is not only because of Luo Wei's major crime of killing the king of the allied countries of the world government and being a defector from Marine, but also because of Luo Wei's own situation. He is only 17 years old, but his strength is no less than that of a new world pirate. What does this show? It shows that Luo Wei has a monster-like growth rate. Under such circumstances, how could the marine executives tolerate Luo Wei's continued growth? For Sengoku's severe reprimand, Kuzan naturally had no choice but to reassure repeatedly that Luo Wei would be arrested, and then ended the call. Nico Robin, although I don't know if Luo Wei will be your companion, but he is too threatening, so I can only apologize. Putting away the phone bug, Kuzan looked up to the sky, finally turned into a sigh, and rode away on his bicycle. Advertisement. In the original Ohara incident, because of the guilt for killing his friend Saul, and a little wavering of the world government. Kuzan chose to let go of Nico Robin, the last orphan of Ohara, who is also a factor that can threaten the rule of world government. Even Nico Robin doesn't know that a large part of the reason why she is constantly being betrayed is actually from Kuzan's handwriting. Think about it, even if there is a reward of 79 million berry, as she grows up, her performance will become better and better. How could the faction that Nico Robin joins betray her every time for no reason? At the same time, she was only eight years old in the early stage, even if she escaped from Ohara, if someone hadn't helped her cover her whereabouts, how could she skip the world government's investigation? It's all because Kuzan has been secretly watching Nico Robin's growth. Zero. Seeking flowers. Point zero. The betrayal of the joining forces is nothing more than Kuzan following Saul's last wish and choosing a trustworthy companion for Nico Robin. Even this time, Kuzan took the initiative to apply for the arrest of Luo Wei, in order to prevent the dispatch of the other two and lead to the arrest of Nico Robin. Ten days passed quickly. In a certain area of West Blue, the moonlight was sailing slowly, heading for the nearest underworld gang. Advertisement. On the deck, Nico Robin and Perona, both wearing cool clothes and wearing sunglasses, were lazily lying on beach chairs and resting. Using the vibration tempering technique to refine the body, although Luo is the leader, the two women will not consume physical strength, but they will also suffer intense pain and extreme physical oppression during the tempering. The two girls also took a break from their busy schedule, and after Luo Wei completed the vibrating body tempering technique, for them, they simply took advantage of the rest time to sunbathe. For such a scene, Luo Wei did not stop it, but after fixing the rudder, he also moved a beach chair. High intensity practice can easily cause double tension in the nerves and the body. Just like a spring, blindly oppressing is not a good thing, on the contrary, only when it is properly relaxed can it burst out with greater strength. Not only has the photo been changed, but the reward amount has also increased. Half lying on the beach chair, Luo Wei did not close his eyes to recuperate like the two girls, but looked at the reward order and the newspaper in his hand. Although it took a long time for the release, after he voluntarily revealed his identity when he met Gion, Marine who learned of the situation obviously changed his reward. Not only did the photo on the reward order change to his real appearance, but the amount also increased, from the original 450 million berry to 500 million berry. In addition, the newspaper released together with the reward order also explained the reason for changing the photo, and even announced the fact that he used to be Marine. Advertisement. Chapter 208 Aokiji arrives, 4th. Previous chapter. Next chapter. 
Advertisement. Lua Wei is not the first to defect from Marine, and there have been many such situations in the past. Even if there is no accident, Drake, who is now one of the leading figures of the younger generation in Marine, will also defect from Marine, and will become one of the pirate supernovas. But it doesn't matter whether it's those people in the past, or Drake. After they defected, Marine did not cover up, but directly carried out a strong arrest as a Marine traitor. Although Lua Wei was stronger than those before, he obviously didn't let Marine cover up this aspect. In other words, this is also a way for Marine to express his determination, not to hesitate to damage his majesty, but also to carry out the most severe crusade against the rebels. But speaking of it, since the last time we met, Gion hasn't seen, 170, again, so it shouldn't be possible for the other party to give up so easily. Luo Wei thought about it. Although he got rid of the opponent easily last time, and showed part of his strength. But to say that this frightened Gion and prevented her from chasing her, Luo Wei himself didn't believe it would be so simple. The other party will be Admiral's candidate in the future, and even if the world government hadn't chosen to conduct world conscription, Gion might directly become the new admiral. How could such a character give up lightly? After thinking about it for a while, Luo Wei couldn't think of the reason for the lack of sufficient information, and then his attention was shifted to other aspects. We need to find an opportunity to replenish our personnel. Luo Wei stroked his chin. Advertisement. Not only does it need to continue to increase the number of fighters on board, but it is even more so logistically. Now the operation of the voyage is basically entirely in the charge of Luo Wei alone. Although there is the convenience brought by the power of thought, Luo Wei will feel bored after a long time, so it is necessary to supplement the logistics staff. At the same time, although the moonlight has not been damaged under the protection of Luo Wei, the configuration of this ship can only be regarded as average, and the size of the hull is not large. With preparations for personnel replenishment, Luo Wei naturally also has the idea of replacing the ship. Boom. Suddenly, just as Luo Wei was distracted, the moonlight suddenly shook violently, and abruptly stopped from its forward state. This sudden stop naturally caused a lot of inertia, for example, Perona and Nico Robin, who were relaxing in the sun, both fell from the beach chairs and fell on the deck. What's going on, have you encountered an enemy? Hey, how did the temperature of the air drop? Although the force of the fall on the deck was not small, Perona and Nico Robin, who were not weak in physical fitness, were not injured, but stood up quickly. The two women were very vigilant and observed the surrounding sea at the first time, but immediately after, expressions of shock and disbelief appeared on their faces. Looking around, with the moonlight as the center, until the end of the line of sight, the sea has turned into a snow-white glacier. Ten strands of cold air visible to the naked eye are lingering like heavy air and rising from the ice. Advertisement. Why is the sea frozen? Perona almost blurted out a scream. At the same time, Nico Robin next to her seemed to have thought of something, and her pretty face suddenly turned pale. Luo Wei didn't fall on the deck, but when the moonlight stopped suddenly, he just jumped up and landed on the bow of the ship vigorously. When he saw the frozen sea, his pupils shrank first, and then, under the perception of observation hockey, he turned his head sharply and looked sharply at the hill that was less than two or three hundred meters away from the bow of the moonlight. In the line of sight, a tall figure riding a bicycle was extremely conspicuous, and this figure was exuding a biting cold air. In this case, you should not be able to escape, evil hunter. The shadow was Kuzan, who used the ice age to freeze the sea and seal the moonlight with ice, he opened his mouth and exhaled a stream of cold air, his eyes also saw Luo Wei standing at the bow of the ship. Swish. The cold air spread like a whirlwind, and Kuzan disappeared on the bicycle in an instant, and when he reappeared, he had already crossed the distance between the two sides, and appeared in the air ahead of the moonlight. Two thorns spear, arms crossed in front of him, the moment Kuzan appeared, four trident-like ice spears condensed on both sides of Kuzan, and then shot toward Luo Wei like white lightning. Jung. Advertisement. Dazzling sword lights also burst out from the moonlight in an instant. The moment Kuzan appeared, Luo Wei drew out his sword decisively, and slashed out a blazing sword light towards the ice spear that was coming. Boom boom boom. The four ice spears were immediately swept by the flying sword light. Although it is ice, the ice spear is surprisingly solid and contains terrifying power. When the two collide, a strong impact bursts out, and the chaotic dance that stirs the surrounding void. After a brief stalemate, the sword light and the ice spear exploded into a huge air wave circle visible to the naked eye. Get up. With his right foot stomping on the deck, Luo Wei, who was emitting a sword light, did not stop at all, his tyrannical physical strength and mental power erupted at the same time. Not only did he shatter the ice around the ship, but he also directly controlled the moonlight, suspended the glacier for several meters, and flew towards the rear at a gallop. The sudden vibration of 0.3 and flying caused Perona and Nico Robin who were also on the deck to almost fall to the ground. After quickly stabilizing their bodies, the two also woke up from the shock. What the hell is going on here? How did the sea freeze suddenly, and who was that person just now? The accident happened so suddenly that Perona, who stabilized her figure, quickly expressed the doubts in her heart. It's Marine Admiral, that person just now is one of the Marine Admirals known as Aokiji. 
I don't know if it's because of the cooling of the air caused by the glaciers or something else, but Nico Robin lost his composure at all. When he spoke, not only his face was pale, but he was trembling faintly with his arms folded. Advertisement. Chapter 209 Freezing and Recognition, First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. What? That man was Marine Admiral. Even though she was not as psychologically shadowed by her childhood experience as Nico Robin was, Perona's expression changed immediately after learning of Kuzan's identity, revealing a look of horror. Boom boom boom. At this moment, the deafening crash attracted the attention of the two women. When they looked around, they immediately saw Luo Wei standing at the bow of the boat, slashing his sword and shooting out his sword light, intercepting and chasing Kuzan, who was also constantly sending out ice spears. After Luo Wei reacted swiftly to get the ship out of the ice and evacuated across the sky, Kuzan naturally would not remain indifferent, and pursued immediately. He didn't fall towards the glacier, but continuously created ice cubes under his feet. With this help, he also set foot in midair, chasing after him at a speed not inferior to the moonlight. At the same time, in order to prevent Luo Wei from escaping, he also burst out terrifying ice spears one after another, like a machine gun shooting at the moonlight. At a distance of less than tens of meters, John Mang and Ice Spear collided frantically and surprisingly. The wildly dancing air waves and the messy ice shards continued to flow, even causing the glaciers they passed to vibrate violently, with dense cracks appearing. The information provided by Guillaume, coupled with the ability that Luo Wei showed in the elite training camp, all these let Kuzan have a deep understanding of Luo Wei. Advertisement. Kuzan was not surprised that Luo Wei was able to control the ship, which is why he used an ice age to freeze the sea and freeze the moonlight from the very beginning. It's just that when he didn't expect, Luo Wei got rid of the ice cover of the ship in an instant, and under the control of the ship, he could still maintain a very fast speed. The two chased and fled, and they covered a distance of several kilometers in just a short while. Kuzan's ice age not only contained terrible cold, enough to keep the frozen sea from melting for a week, but also had a very exaggerated range, which could extend for tens of kilometers or even hundreds of kilometers. But I don't know if it's because the purpose is to freeze the moonlight or something else. The range of the frozen sea is not that amazing. Several kilometers away from the flight, the edge of the ice layer can already be seen vaguely. Perona, Robin, after you fall back to the surface of the sea, you go directly to the boat and leave. I'll delay each other. Luo Wei, who kept cutting out his sword light, let out a loud shout without looking back, and before the two women could react, he jumped up and sent an astonishing slash towards Kuzan who was chasing him quickly. Mind stream slash snake. With a violent whistling sound, the horrifying sword glow, like a dragon or a snake, rushed straight out in a swaying trajectory, blocking Kuzan who was not far away in an instant. At the same time, although Luo Wei jumped away from the moonlight, the flight of the moonlight did not stop, but continued to leap across the sky, moving rapidly towards the edge of the glacier. Kindness. There was a flash of light in Kuzan's eyes, and he immediately stopped chasing. Before he fell down, his palms erupted with a strong chill. Ice ball. Advertisement. Pushing out the two palms, the strong cold air directly turned into five thick icicles, and the impact of the wolf wolf hit the sweeping sky snake sword light. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark. Astonishing air waves and ice debris spread out, and the huge aftermath turned into air wave circles and spread wildly far away. In a short moment, the sword light of the sky snake lost to the gathered icicles and was engulfed by the terrible cold air. The white mist-like cold air expanded like an inflated balloon, and when it reached its limit, it dissipated abruptly. A terrible scene appeared, Luo Wei's sword light was frozen like a real thing, forming a huge ice sculpture in the shape of a snake, and then fell to the ice layer below, making ten loud noises. Click. The ice sculpture turned into countless ice chips and shattered, which also declared that Luo Wei's sword light was completely destroyed. Boom. On the other side, the moonlight, which was controlled by Luo Wei with telekinetic force, flew over the ice smoothly and landed on the distant sea. Why is this bastard here again? The other party is Marine Admiral, why should he stay? After the ship shook violently, Perona, who had rushed to the front of the ship after Luo Wei leapt away, had an angry expression on her face when she saw two figures confronting each other in the distance. She thought that Luo Wei wanted to stay and deal with the enemy alone just like the last time he met the Crusher Pirates. No, it's not that simple this time, Luo Wei should really want to buy time for us to escape, Perona, we must evacuate immediately. Advertisement. Nico Robin took a deep breath, suppressed the panic in his heart, rushed to the rudder, and shouted at Perona. What? Perona turned around quickly and looked at Nico Robin in astonishment. Nico Robin steered the ship with the rudder, and said with a complicated expression, Luo Wei is indeed very strong, but Admiral, the Marine Headquarters, is even more powerful at the apex of this world. You forgot the last time we met Marine, Luo Wei left without any entanglement. So, this time, Luo Wei didn't stay here to deal with Aokiji alone, but really to delay the other party and give us a chance to evacuate. When she first discovered Kuzan, Nico Robin was indeed greatly frightened, but after all, she has honed her excellent mind, so now she has gradually recovered her former calmness and wisdom. 
Then Luo Wei is not very dangerous. Perona was shocked, and quickly turned around again, looking at the glacier that was gradually pulling away after sailing with the rudder of the moonlight. Nico Robin was silent, she naturally knew how dangerous it would be for Luo Wei to stay and face Kuzan alone. But just as Luo Wei bought time for them to evacuate, even if she and Perona insist on staying, it will be difficult to help Luo Wei, and it may even become a burden. Even in the past so many years, I am still so weak. Even if I meet a trustworthy partner, I can only watch my partner encounter danger now. The hands holding the rudder were too hard, causing the backs of the hands to appear pale. Even though he manages his emotions well and doesn't show it on his face, in his heart, Nico Robin is full of deep resentment. Compared with the experience of the Crusher Pirates last time, under the shadow of childhood, Luo Wei stood up to resist Kuzan without hesitation, which had a greater impact on Nico Robin's mind, and it also made her truly recognize Luo Wei as a be your trusted partner. It's just the recognition at this time, Nico Robin would rather not, she is afraid that Luo Wei, like Saul, will be killed by Kuzan because of herself. Advertisement. Chapter 210 Ideas and Confrontation, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. When the moonlight was leaving in the distance, on the ice layer, Luo Wei and Kuzan also fell into a confrontation. After the sky snake, sword light was frozen and shattered, the two of them didn't make another move, but fell together on the ice layer below. Glancing at the departing ship in the distance, Kuzan's eyes flickered, and after turning his gaze back to Luo Wei, he said with interest, why don't you escape, since you can control the ship to fly, it should be easier to escape alone. Quote. Didn't you already see that my companions are still very weak, facing your combat power, they are too dangerous, I have to buy time for them to leave. Luo Wei said lightly. This is really unexpected to me. I thought that people like you who betrayed the marine would degenerate into pirates. Kuzan said playfully. Luo Wei shook his head and said sternly. First left marine because I have different ideas from marine, so it doesn't mean I will become a pirate. Also, can you just chat with me like this, my companion is leaving. It doesn't matter, my main mission here is to arrest you, as for your companions, it doesn't matter if they leave. Kuzan suddenly yawned, and suddenly returned to his previous lazy appearance, and then said to Luo Wei, compared with this, I am more interested in knowing what your philosophy is. The other party was not in a hurry, so naturally Luo Wei was even more in a hurry, and he happily gave Perona and the others more time to evacuate. Advertisement. So to Kuzan's question, he also casually said, don't you guys already know my philosophy, and you even gave me the title of, Sin Hunter. Hunting criminals, then I would like to ask, what happened to you killing the king of the country of flowers, he is not a criminal. Yi, quote. Why do you think that he is not a criminal, just because he is the king of a member country of the world government? With your status, I don't believe that you don't understand the situation of the kingdom of flowers. The eight naval armies of the kingdom of flowers, although they appear to be troops, are actually all pirates, and it is the flowers who condone all this. King of the country, what do you think such a person is if he is not a sinner? For another example, do you think celestial dragons are evil? Can you deal with them as a marine? The answer is obviously not. That's why I have a different view of criminals from yours. I won't be restricted because of the identity of the other party, and you, no matter how much you preach justice, you can't do justice at all when you treat those powerful people. Implementation. Of course, I don't want to put money on my face. I hunt and kill evil hunters not because I want to implement justice, but because of other factors. But at least, when I deal with criminals, I must freer than you. Luo Wei responded unhurriedly, and his words made Kuzan gradually fall silent. I have to admit that your idea sounds very reasonable, but it is also restrictive. It is too idealistic, or it is only suitable for individuals and small groups. After a little silence, Kuzan said slowly. Luo Wei nodded and said with a smile. You are right, that's why I only said that first and your marine just have different ideas, and I didn't say that marine's current ideas are wrong. Advertisement. It is impossible to be absolute in anything, just like where there is light, there is darkness. The operation of marine requires huge resource support, so it is unavoidable to be restricted by the world government. Being able to implement justice to the greatest extent under restricted circumstances, it is actually very rare for marine to be able to do this. Kuzan looked deeply at Luo Wei, and said, I can understand this, it seems that you left marine because of different ideas. Luo Wei said with a smile, does Kuzan Admiral approve of my ideas? How about letting me go? After all, there is no real conflict between me and Marine. That's not okay. Although I don't reject your ideas, but just like what you said, as a Marine, I also need to stick to my own ideas. Marshal Sengoku has already issued a death order. If I didn't catch you, it would be a serious negligence. Although Kuzan looked lazy, both his sight and observation hockey locked onto Luo Wei firmly, and even while speaking, his right hand quickly condensed to sharp ice force. Is that right? That's a pity, in this case, it seems that I can only surpass Kuzan Admiral's strength. Luo Wei had a look of regret on his face, but he was also tightly locked onto Kuzan, and his body continued to emit a fierce aura, as if he couldn't wait to start fighting. 
Nico Robin's ideas are not wrong, but they are not comprehensive. Advertisement. Controlling the moonlight, Luo Wei is indeed not sure that he can get rid of Kuzan's pursuit, but part of the reason why he chooses to stay is because he wants to truly experience the level of world-class combat power. After all, the cognition of the original work is too one-sided, especially after entering the overlord level of combat power, although Luo Wei has divided it, but because of the lack of sufficient cognition, the combat power at this stage is no longer as clear as before. Whether it is to determine the level of combat power he is in, or to enhance his understanding of world-class combat power, Luo Wei really wants to have a good fight with Ku Qian's Zan. With the end of the exchange, the atmosphere between the two suddenly became depressing, as if the air had frozen. Mind flow slash hyphenation point blood mosquito. After a short confrontation, seeing Kuzan still not moving, Luo Wei's eyes narrowed slightly, and he chose to take the initiative to attack. First, he performed shaving, his figure flew out like a phantom, and then he slashed straight at the top of the opponent's head. The astonishing sharpness easily cuts the void into long and narrow white marks visible to the naked eye, which also surprised Kuzan's eyes. Under Luo Wei's first attack, he also responded immediately, raised the skate in his hand, and quickly blocked it. Ding. Boom. Yuan. Chushui collided with the ice blade in an instant, and amidst the sound of a clash of gold and spears, a huge circle of air waves burst out. Advertisement. Chapter 211 Luo Weaves Aokiji 3rd. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The violent impact not only radiated a hundred meters away at once, but also caused the nearby ice layer to crack and form messy cracks like spider webs. Although Kuzan's skates are made of cold ice, but under the astonishingly low temperature, the ice skates are as strong as real knives, even comparable to famous knives. At the same time, the ice blade is also covered with armament hockey, which has extraordinary strength, which greatly increases its sturdiness. But even so, during the collision, Kuzan's skate still couldn't completely block Luo Wei's slash, and Chu Shui quickly cut a gap that was one-third deep. At the same time, Kuzan's face also changed slightly, feeling an extremely tyrannical force oppressing him. Click. Not only did the ice under his feet collapse, but he also took a step back with his right foot to stabilize his figure. Ice time. Kuzan's reaction was very quick. As soon as he stepped back, his left hand immediately condensed bitter cold air and ice, and he slapped Luo Wei with his palm. Shave. Luo Wei, who originally wanted to take advantage of the victory to pursue him, was terrified, and he retreated decisively, avoiding the opponent's cold palm. However, Although 553 retreated, Luo Wei's offensive did not end there. Instead, while retreating, his right leg swept out, kicking out a fiery chopping wave. Advertisement. Tempest Kick Dragon Tail. The berserk slashing wave was like a dragon waving its tail, thick and terrifying, as it swept out, the ice layer it passed through immediately shattered severely, creating a majestic wave of air. Kuzan didn't take back his left hand, but in the face of the sweeping slashing wave, a turbulent cold burst out in an instant, and a huge ice wall was erected in front of him in an instant. Bang. The berserk slashing wave slammed into the huge ice wall. Under the fierce collision, the billowing air wave spread and spread, which also caused the ice layer where the two of them were to vibrate violently, and cracks continued to extend around. Although the dragon wagging tail slashing wave tore deep cracks on the huge ice wall, and even allowed it to climb dense cracks, it still failed to break through the huge ice wall's defense in the end. Strength is still underestimated, not only the way of swordsmanship has reached the level of a great swordsman AJDB, armament hockey and physique are also not to be underestimated. Behind the huge ice wall, Kuzan murmured, followed by a sharp look in his eyes. Fighting against Kuzan's world-class combat power, Luo Wei naturally can't hide anything, except that he didn't activate the Devil Fruit Awakening, it can be said that the entire area exploded in the slash just now. In addition to the sharpness of the blood mosquito, he also has the physical strength that has reached more than 9,000 Taoist power. And, the breakthrough time is not long, and armament hockey has reached the application level of external release. That's right, in the middle practice, more than 10 days ago, Luo Wei broke through the application of armament hockey to the advanced level of external release, as he wished. Apart from the help brought by open black lens bracket cultivation close black lens bracket, Luo Wei has been able to grow so fast, but also because Luo Wei has an extraordinary talent in the practice of skills. Advertisement. His armament hockey's strength has been greatly enhanced after being promoted to the 8th level, and the application has also reached the level of external release, the power of armament hockey naturally increases with the tide. Blood Mosquito. Edge, coupled with a tyrannical physique, and the last high-level armament hockey. Combining the three, even Kuzan's world-class combat power was forced to take a step back. Although there are also reasons why Kuzan is a world-class combat power majoring in Devil Fruit, and hockey is relatively weak in physique. But being weak, capable of becoming a world-class combat force, Kuzan's physique and hockey are still very strong for others, and even these two strengths alone are enough to defeat many big pirates in New World. Luo Wei's ability to force Kuzan back is enough to prove that his current strength is already amazing. Even if he enters the new world, there will not be too many who can threaten him. 
Click. While whispering, the huge ice wall in front of Kuzan shattered and turned into ice shards flying all over the sky. But it's not that the huge ice wall was shattered by the chopping wave just now, but that Kuzan lifted the ice wall's defense by himself. Storm Pheasant Mouth. Lifting the ice wall defense is naturally for a better attack. Lua Wei's strength is much stronger than Kuzan's initial estimate, which also made him really face up to this battle. Terrible cold air gathers on the right arm, and when it is pushed out with a wave, the cold air immediately condenses into the void, turning into a huge ice bird flying with wings spread. Boom. Advertisement. The huge ice bird flew out, accompanied by an astonishing impact force, the air was crazily squeezed, and a huge wave visible to the naked eye was rolled up, which also caused the ice layer to vibrate. Lua Wei, who was retreating quickly, stopped his figure, looking at the huge ice bird flying mightily, his eyes were full of heat. Let me see how far it is from world-class combat power. Roaring in his heart, Lua Wei didn't intend to dodge at all, but strode towards the huge ice bird, and at the same time, invisible waves spread from his body, turning the surrounding ice into countless golden light spots and converging towards his body. Awakening Dragon Armor. Thinking Flow Slash Violent Ape. The mighty dragon-shaped armor seamlessly covered the whole body, and Lua Wei's already improved physical fitness immediately experienced a sharp increase again. At the same time, the crystal of thought power was attached to the autumn water, as if it was coated with a layer of dark golden light, making it even more miraculous and solid. Boom. Holding a knife in both hands, Lua Wei, who was striding forward with a burst of fury, leapt up in a ferocious posture, swung the autumn water, and slashed fiercely on the head of the huge flying ice bird. Explosive roars resounded throughout the entire glacier, and the terrifying air wave burst and spread in a frenzied manner, crushing everything it passed. The void is distorted and disordered, while the ice layer is constantly shattering, rolling up ice shards all over the sky. The astonishing range of impact radiation exceeded one kilometer, and even if the aftermath weakened and could not cause the ice to shatter, it would continue to spread far away like a strong wind. Advertisement. Chapter 212 Vibration and Flame 4th. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. During the collision, long and narrow cracks appeared on the head of the huge ice bird, but it was still far from being destroyed. Luo Wei's muffled snort came from the dragon scale mask. Not only did he fall backwards under the impact of the huge ice bird, but also the icy cold air from the ice bird made the dragon armor climb up quickly. Ice. Under the frightening cold, even with the defense of the dragon armor, Luo Wei's body stiffened. Crush me. The terrifying impact of the huge ice bird made Luo Wei's blood surge and his throat was sweet. When he realized that his body was about to be frozen, he immediately activated the Nian Nian fruit. The groaning sound caused by the high-frequency vibration appeared from Luo Wei's body instantly, no, it was more prepared to say that it came from the, dragon armor. Dragon armor. Shock state. Just like the use of, blood mosquito, Luo Wei has transformed the ordinary thought power that constitutes the, dragon armor, into vibration, thought power. With a frequency undetectable to the naked eye, the, dragon armor, vibrated wildly, and the ice adhering to it immediately received a strong counterattack, turning into ice shards as it shattered and scattered. Drink. Without the freezing of the ice, Luo Wei's body also recovered freely. After drinking heavily, he pushed Chushui hard, and with the reaction force, the whole person flew obliquely away from the collision range of the huge ice bird. Advertisement. Boom boom boom. The huge ice bird flew past Luo Wei, and then quickly jumped over the ice area, heading for the distant sea. Under the constant frightening cold air, where the huge ice bird passed, the sea surface immediately froze a wide ice channel, extending to the end of the line of sight. It actually got rid of the freezing of the storm pheasant's mouth. Kuzan looked surprised at Luo Wei flying into the air, but immediately attacked again in the next second. Frozen time capsule. The right hand swung out quickly, and the cold air condensed like a beam shock wave, and shot towards Luo Wei at a fast speed. But in an instant, the cold air crossed the distance between the two sides and approached Luo Wei. Luo Wei, who avoided the huge ice bird, had been locking on Kuzan tightly. When the cold air hit, he not only stabilized his body immediately, but Shen Chushui burst into a scorching red color in an instant when he was in the air. Flames. Thinking flow. Fire. Songming. Slashing fiercely with the knife, the crimson flames combined with the slashing of the sword, and under the slashing, it turned into a flaming sword glow spinning and burning like a tornado. The terrifying high temperature directly distorted the surrounding air. Boom. In an instant, the flaming sword light collided with the light speed cold air surprisingly in midair. Advertisement. Amidst the violent roar, Layers of air wave circles stirred and spread, and the confrontation of ice and fire caused a chi 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 sound, and a thick mist quickly diffused. When Nianian fruit breaks through the seventh level, Luo Wei has a fine grained control over Nianli, which can promote the movement of atoms. Up to now, his Nianian fruit has reached the eighth level of strength, and the control over atoms has naturally been greatly enhanced. Just like now, Luo Wei easily produced a crimson flame with a temperature of around 500 by accelerating the movement of atoms. Of course, if only 500 flames are still unable to compete with Kuzan's chill. 
After all, the opponent's development of frozen fruit has reached a very terrible level, and the cold air produced is at least below minus 200. Therefore, Luo Wei also combined flame and kendo to form a special fire type mind flow chop. Ice and fire are two extreme forces that restrain each other. Although it cannot be said that the fire type psychic flow is stronger than the conventional psychic flow, but against Kuzan's frozen fruit ability, the fire type psychic flow is undoubtedly better than the conventional psychic flow. In the fierce collision, even though the strength gap between the two sides was huge, the tornado-like flame and sword light still weakened the power of the cold air to the greatest extent, and also gave Luo Wei enough buffering opportunities. Like a golden streamer, Luo Wei instantly fell to the ice layer below, and at the same time avoided the beam of cold air that engulfed the flame sword light and reduced its power a lot. Zero. Seeking flowers. Flame. Isn't his devil fruit ability Nian Nian fruit? How can he still produce flames? Kuzan didn't know how many times he was surprised. Luo Wei's consecutive amazing performances made him uncontrollably shocked. Advertisement. Boom. The strong impact of the engulfed ice cracked the pit, and Luo Wei, who fell on the ice layer, jumped out of the pit without any hesitation, slashed down, and immediately shot towards Kuzan on the opposite side, firing red flames Jonmang. This flaming sword light is like a huge crescent moon, extending over a hundred meters on both sides. When it slashes and shoots down, the ice layer where it passes not only shatters in a large area, but also shows signs of melting. Kuzan reacted from the shock, his eyes condensed slightly, his feet erupted with cold air, and his whole body immediately rushed to the sky. The huge flaming sword light slashed through the air, melting the glacier where Kuzan was originally located into a small lake-like existence, almost burning through the entire ice layer. Whoosh whoosh. 1. Kuzan, who was flying straight into the sky, did not give Luo Wei a chance to attack again. As soon as he pushed down with his left hand, a large number of ice spears condensed all over his body, and shot towards Luo Wei like a storm. Ding ding ding. The dense ice spears approached in the blink of an eye, Luo Wei quickly slashed through the autumn water, and cut the ice spears that were shooting at him. Amidst the continuous collision sound, the surrounding glaciers were pierced by the ice spears with terrible penetrating power. One by one ice caves. Swish. The ice spear that Luo Wei had just launched was blocked, and a figure suddenly swooped in. This figure was Kuzan, but he used the ice spear to delay Luo Wei's action, stepped on the ice and quickly swept over, at the same time, he slashed at the top of Luo Wei's head with the ice knife that condensed amazing armament hockey and cold energy. Although Kuzan majored in devil fruit, his hockey and physique are also very strong. Under the battle, he restrained his aura with the deep observation hockey, so that Luo Wei's observation hockey couldn't see the opponent's attack mountain at all. Chapter 213 Frozen and Broken Please subscribe automatically. First update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. When he reacted, Luo Wei could no longer dodge, so he could only hastily raise his knife to block the falling skate. Boom. A violent air wave circle burst out, and the surrounding ice layer was severely shattered. The ice blade slashed on the autumn water, and Luo Wei immediately felt the amazing pressure. Not only did his feet bend sharply, but the ice layer under his feet instantly collapsed and collapsed, forming a deep pit. In addition, the terrifying cold air carried by the skates quickly spread over the autumn water, and then extended towards Luo Wei's body, intending to freeze Luo Wei. Mind flow slash, fire, torch. Without hesitation, in an instant, a raging crimson flame erupted centered on Luo Wei, like a volcanic eruption, not only reaching a height of tens of meters into the sky, but also expanding wildly in all directions. Unfortunately, Kuzan backed away the moment the flame erupted, without being touched by the flame in the slightest. Just like being able to restrain the breath so that Luo Wei's observation hockey can't understand it, Kuzan's observation hockey is superior to Luo Wei's in terms of strength and application. Luo Wei can't see through the opponent's attack, but Kuzan can see through Luo Wei's attack. There is a restraint relationship between Devil Fruit's ability, even if it is Logia, once it encounters restraint power, even if it does not restrain armament hockey, it can still bring harm to the restrained ability user. Ice and fire are mutually restraining, even if the flame produced by Luo Wei is much weaker than Kuzan's cold air, if it is touched by the flame, Kuzan's elementalization will lose its effect. Advertisement. I really don't know how he developed Devil Fruit to be able to extend the power of flames. If this is the case, I have to be a little more serious. Looking at the scorching flames like a volcanic eruption in front of him, Kuzan stopped after retreating to a safe distance, turned to squat down, and touched the glacier with his fingers. Boom. The cold air visible to the naked eye is like a white wave, starting from Kuzan's finger, sweeping towards the continuously erupting flames in a fan shape. Where the white waves passed, the ice layer suddenly became colder and firmer. At the same time, when it hit the erupting flames, a large amount of mist overflowed and diffused. Crunch. The flame was extinguished almost instantly, and a small iceberg more than 10 meters high appeared in its place. Looking through the thick ice, Luo Wei was obviously frozen inside. Call. Under the eruption of terrible freezing cold air, Kuzan slowly got up, and when he opened his mouth to breathe, the bitter cold air dissipated like poisonous smoke. This should resolve the 
Kuzan was talking to himself, but before he finished speaking, his eyes were attracted by the abnormality of the small iceberg in the distance, and his words stopped because of it. A series of small cracks quickly climbed up the small iceberg, and at the same time, a crimson light bloomed inside. Almost counting the time, an astonishing explosion appeared. Advertisement. Boom. Amidst the loud sound, the small iceberg was directly blasted into pieces, followed by scorching flames that spread wave after wave towards the surroundings, as if changing the winter climate into summer. Did it fail? Is it because the flame cannot be frozen? No, it should be related to the armor on his body. The vibration can also block the freezing. Kuzan stared at the figure standing in the center of the flame wave, thoughts flashed through his mind, and quickly analyzed the reason for his failure to freeze. On the other side, Luo Wei, who was out of trouble and breathing a little shortly, immediately fixed his eyes on Kuzan in the distance. It's really dangerous. It was almost frozen in ice. I didn't expect that the cold air he released could be strengthened. If I didn't use the power of flame and vibration at the same time, I might break free with only one power. It won't be frozen. Luo Wei thought with some lingering fear, and at the same time looked at Kuzan, his eyes became more vigilant. The power of world-class combat power is more terrifying than he expected. Even with the help of the flame that has a restrained relationship with the ice, he is still at an absolute disadvantage, and even if he is a little careless, he may be defeated and perish. But Luo Wei didn't feel afraid because of this. He treats those who are stronger than himself with admiration, but never fear. On the contrary, seeing a stronger power will only make him more determined to become stronger like an inspiration. Let's see how powerful the world-class combat power is. Advertisement. Luo Wei didn't give in because of the fear in his heart. On the contrary, there was a sharper look in his eyes. Using. Shave. He did not passively defend, but chose to actively attack, and his figure swept out like a golden streamer. At the same time, scorching flames lingered on the autumn water, and then swelled wildly in an instant, turning into a huge flame knife tens of meters long. Under the outer layer level, armament hockey can already leave the body like a breath, and the huge flame knife is also engulfed in the armament hockey urge by Luo Wei with all his strength. Almost instantly approaching Kuzan, Luo Wei didn't pause at all, and directly slashed out with a huge flame knife, sweeping towards the opponent. Kuzan's expression remained unchanged, and he grabbed his left hand, and the burst of cold air immediately blocked the sweeping flame knife like a huge palm. When the two collided, the power of ice and fire intertwined under the overflowing dense mist, creating a 4.9 red and white air wave circle, which continuously burned and frozen the nearby ice layer and air. The huge flame knife couldn't break through the defense of the cold air, and was even suppressed in reverse, getting smaller and smaller, but Luo Wei's offensive was not over yet. He immediately dissipated the flame knife, then sprinted to Kuzan's body, punching him violently with his left hand. Iron body hyphenation point ape hammer. The fist arm swelled in a circle in an instant, revealing the muscular body full of explosive power, and the violent force was also the squeezed air, like a copper wall in an iron wall, solidifying Kuzan's body. Boom. Luo Wei's fist was blocked by Kuzan lightly with the ice blade, and a terrible impact was made, which immediately formed a violent air wave circle, agitated and spread. Advertisement. Chapter 214. The Power of Earthquakes, Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The solidification of the air could not restrain Kuzan's body at all, and at the same time, the amazing power contained in Luo Wei's fist was completely relieved by Kuzan. After blocking Luo Wei's bombardment, Kuzan also launched a counterattack. His other hand that resisted the flame knife quickly clenched into a fist, wrapped in the bitter cold air, and punched Luo Wei's head. With observation hockey unable to understand the opponent's attack, Luo Wei can only rely on the observation of his eyes and his own reaction to respond to the opponent's attack. There was no time to dodge, he could only raise the knife quickly like Kuzan just now, and block with autumn water. Boom. Kuzan's fist hit the autumn water solidly, not only burst out a terrible chill, but also made Luo Wei feel an astonishing oppression from the force. Kuzan's armament hockey and physical strength are no weaker than Luo Wei's, and even stronger. Not only was the autumn water frozen by the cold air and condensed into ice cubes, but also the oppressive force came from Luo Wei's muffled groan, and his figure uncontrollably retreated backwards. Stopped. Nian Liu 09 slash hyphenation point blood mosquito. As soon as he stabilized his figure, Luo Wei urged his thoughts to make Chu Shui vibrate at a high frequency, so as to shatter the ice frozen on it. Just at the same time, Kuzan's second wave of attack swept over. Frozen time capsule. After freezing the ice layer, under the messy ice passage, a beam of cold air approached Luo Wei in an instant. Advertisement. Danger. Luo Wei was startled, and immediately swept to one side, avoiding the ice of the beam of cold air. Swish. All of a sudden, Kuzan intercepted the looting Luo Wei at an astonishing speed, and the icy ice knife instantly chopped on Luo Wei's chest. Scoff. There was a tearing sound, and the dragon armor covering Luo Wei's chest was cut into a long and narrow gap by the ice blade. At the same time, the biting cold air contained in the skates was also transmitted, madly spreading towards Luo Wei's whole body, forming thick ice. 
Kindness. After the attack was successful, Kuzan did not feel the slightest joy, but let out a light sigh instead. When the ice knife slashed at the dragon armor, a strong shock force was also transmitted to him. This not only brought his offensive to a standstill, but at the same time, in order to alleviate the shock force, he also retreated a few steps towards the rear. The occurrence of such a situation is naturally due to the shocking dragon armor that Luo Wei has been maintaining. In addition to being able to effectively prevent being frozen, the shocking dragon armor can also form a strong anti-shock force due to the shocking power. Just like Kuzan's attack just now, his ice knife slash was under the Genshinlong armor, although it caused an attack on Luo Wei, but he was also affected by the shock. Advertisement. Although such a counter-shock force was far from enough to cause damage to Kuzan, it also interrupted his offensive and gave Luo Wei time to react. At the same time, the oscillating power also has a super strong defensive effect, which can weaken the attacks layer by layer like a filter. Although the dragon armor on Luo Wei's chest was torn open by the ice blade, the weakening of the shock force did not really break through the defense of the dragon armor, and naturally it did not cause substantial damage to Luo Wei. As for the freezing of the cold air, in addition to the impact of the shock, Luo Wei also burst out flames immediately after reacting, washing over the dragon armor to melt the cold air and ice. Thinking flow, fire, sky snake. The moment the ice was dissolved, Luo Wei swung his saber in a ferocious posture, slashing at Kuzan like a thorn. Boom. Changing the situation of mind power did not affect Luo Wei's performance of swordsmanship, or in other words, under the strong pressure brought by Kuzan, Luo Wei not only did not collapse, but improved under the pressure. Amidst the violent whistling sound, the flaming sword glowed like a giant snake that devoured the sky. It swallowed Kuzan, who was right in front of him, into his belly in one bite, and then swept away like a huge pillar of fire, melting the ice layer out of the sunken hole. Isle. Although after being transformed into flames, the sky snake slash lost its powerful cutting effect, but under the restraint of strength, it can give Kuzan the greatest lethality. However, Kuzan is obviously not someone who can be easily dealt with like this. The flames were burning, and almost instantly, a tsunami of cold air erupted inside. Under the overwhelming force, the flame was quickly extinguished and dissipated, and at the same time, Kuzan walked out of it unharmed. A terrifying cold air lingered on his body like a substance, as if Luo Wei's dragon armor gave him the best defense. Shave. Advertisement. For his attack was easily blocked by the opponent, Luo Wei didn't show the slightest wave on his face, but quickly rushed out very calmly. Ding. Luo Wei appeared in front of Kuzan like a flash, but the autumn water he cut was blocked by the opponent's recondensed ice blade. You performed very well, but you still have no chance of winning this battle. 813 inches. Steadily supporting Luo Wei's slash, Kuzan said lazily to Luo Wei with a smile as if he didn't have the slightest pressure. Then give it a try, Luo Wei said indifferently. After the words fell, he just took a step back, and then broke out with a more ferocious attack, the blade slashed down quickly, forming a dense blade light, covering Kuzan's whole body in it. Ding ding ding. Kuzan did not panic in the slightest, just as the expression showed. Facing Luo Wei's attack, he kept slashing the skates. Amidst the endless crashing sounds, the surrounding void also stirred up layers of air waves, and even burst out terrifying sharpness and cold air from time to time, tearing the surrounding ice to reveal cracks and messy places extending far away. Waterway. Kuzan will develop moves like, Ice Knife, even though he mainly attacks with cold air, but he obviously masters the way of the sword. In the confrontation between the two, although Kuzan's level of kendo is not as good as that of a great swordsman like Luo Wei, he is already a very powerful swordsman. Whether it is the realm of kendo or swordsmanship, they are all very superb. At the same time, under the increase of frozen fruit's cold air, Luo Wei not only could not suppress the opponent with the way of swordsmanship, but quickly fell into a disadvantage. Advertisement. Chapter 215 Limits and Leaving Please Subscribe Automatically. The Third Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. With every slash and collision, Chushui will be impacted by terrible cold air. In addition to freezing the blade, the cold air will continue to spread to Luo Wei's body. Under such circumstances, even with the defense of the shocking dragon armor, Luo Wei's body is gradually covered with a layer of ice, and his movements are also slowing down. In just a short time, the two confronted at least hundreds of times. During this process, his body continued to slow down, and the dragon armor covering Luo Wei's body was also slashed by the ice knife many times. Even though the shocking dragon armor weakened Kuzan's slash to the greatest extent, the bitter cold air still penetrated into the dragon armor after being torn apart many times. The bone marrow freezing cold not only made Luo Wei's movement stiffer, but also caused severe frostbite on his body, as if his blood had been frozen. Have you reached the limit? Feeling that his body is getting worse and worse, although he is unhappy, Luo Wei also knows that if he continues, it will only be a matter of time before he loses. Mind flow slash, fire, torch. Under another horizontal blade blocking the incoming ice blade, Luo Wei was extremely decisive, erupting billowing flames centering on himself like a volcanic eruption. 
The scorching flames soared into the sky tens of meters high, and at the same time, most of them swept towards Kuzan in front, like a huge sea of flames. Do you want to use flames to dispel my cold air? It's not that easy this time. Advertisement. Although Luo Wei's outburst was very sudden, Kuzan reacted immediately, and at the same time, he did not retreat as before, but let go of the ice blade with his left hand, and raised his hand to release the cold air to dissolve the flames. Boom. Suddenly, a turbulent airflow surged out of the void, and an astonishing coercion full of oppression fell on Kuzan in an instant. Caught off guard, Kuzan let out a muffled groan, and the oppression from his heart also made his movements pause. Although it was only for a short moment, the raging flames engulfed Kuzan in an instant, making him disappear in the sea of flames. The power of thought burst out, and Luo Wei, in the center of the flame, immediately rushed to the sky like a golden lightning, and shot directly into the distance under the rolled-up air waves visible to the naked eye. The reason why he never used the conqueror's hockey in the previous battles was to make it easier for him to escape. In the battle with Kuzan, Luo Wei knew that his chances of winning were basically zero. Under such circumstances, he would naturally leave a way out for himself. Even if there is a huge gap in strength between the two sides, Luo Wei's conqueror's hockey is not enough to cause Kuzan much distress. But under a sudden attack, it can still play a delaying effect. Crunch. In the billowing sea of flames, cold air-like white waves swept out immediately, not only quickly extinguishing the flames, but also thickening the ice layer where it passed. Advertisement. I'm careless, I didn't expect him to awaken conqueror's hockey. Standing on the thickened ice with a chill all over his body, Kuzan frowned and stared at the direction Luo Wei was leaving with a dignified expression on his face. The burn marks left by the flames could be faintly seen on his body. It can be seen that under the pressure of Conqueror's Haki who was caught off guard, Kuzan was also a little too late to react, and was injured by the flames before releasing the cold air. However, compared with the mere injuries, what really made Kuzan serious was the fact that Luo Wei had awakened Conqueror's Haki. Although Conqueror's Haki is not very rare in the New World, the significance of Conqueror's Haki will also bring more weight to the awakened. Originally, Luo Wei was feared and valued by marine executives because of his monster-like growth rate, but now he has awakened Conqueror's Haki, which naturally makes Luo Wei appear even more dangerous. However, Luo Wei flying alone in the air, the speed is much faster than the control of the moonlight, which is several times the speed of sound. When Kuzan looked, Luo Wei had already disappeared into the distant sky, which made him helpless even if he wanted to chase him. Forget it, just run away, Nico Robin will be safer with such a person as Shelter. While talking to himself, Kuzan returned to his usual laziness and took out the phone bug he was carrying. After dialing, the phone bug is the appearance of Sengoku. Hey, is this Marshal Sengoku? Yes, I'm Kuzan. Advertisement. Well, have you found Luo Wei yet? Uh, found it, but something went wrong. Not to mention Kuzan's reaction after reporting the incident to Sengoku. On the other side, in order to prevent Kuzan from chasing him, Luo Wei not only drove his thoughts to gallop for hundreds of kilometers, but also changed direction several times in the middle. After confirming that Kuzan did not catch up, Luo Wei landed when passing a small island. Landing on the rocky coast, Luo Wei's severely frostbitten body was revealed as the dragon armor turned into countless golden light spots and dissipated. Not only was his face pale and bloodless, but severe edema appeared in the frostbitten, Ma Zhao Hao area, and even his heartbeat became slow. He didn't feel anything during the battle, and now that his tense nerves were relaxed, Luo Wei realized how bad his body was. You have to contact Perona and the others to come over. Even if the extraordinary physical fitness is not as fragile as ordinary people, the serious injury still makes Luo Wei dare not take it lightly. After putting Chushui, which had been in his hand, into the scabbard, he was a little stiff and ready to take out the phone bug. It's just that when his palm was put into his pocket, he paused, and immediately took out the cold phone from his pocket. Even Luo Wei's physical fitness suffered from severe frostbite. Naturally, the phone bug couldn't be spared. Advertisement. Chapter 216 Frostbite and Encounter Please subscribe automatically. Fourth update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. In this case, it seems that I can only find it myself. With a helpless sigh, Luo Wei threw the frozen phone bug into the sea. Originally, he wanted to contact Perona and Nico Robin and ask them to pick him up in a boat. After all, his injury is not serious now. To avoid aggravating the injury, the best thing is to stay where he is and recuperate. It's just that the phone bug is broken now, and when he landed on this small island, he didn't see any towns. It was most likely an uninhabited island, so he naturally couldn't contact Perona and the others. Fortunately, in order to deal with emergencies, Luo Wei not only made the paper of life himself, but Perona and Nico Robin, who joined later, also made the paper of life. Opening the interlayer of the pants pocket, Luo Wei quickly found Perona's life paper. After putting it in the palm of his hand and looking at the direction of the opponent's movement, he urged his thoughts again, soared into the air, and quickly flew towards the direction of the life paper. Huh, change direction, 
Using thought power to form a defensive cover to resist air resistance, Luo Wei unexpectedly discovered that the life paper on the palm of his hand suddenly changed its direction of movement not long after flying. He immediately stopped moving forward, suspended in midair, looked down at the paper of life whose direction of movement had shifted by about 30 degrees to the left. Advertisement. After concentrating on it, Luo Wei quickly figured out the reason. Just like he changed direction many times when leaving to prevent Kuzan from chasing, Nico Robin obviously also changed direction while driving away. As for whether it was an accident, it can be determined only by looking at the life paper. The Perona life paper in his hand didn't show the slightest sign of burning, which was enough to save the other party from being harmed. After being relieved, Luo Wei continued to move forward, galloping towards the latest moving direction of the life paper. Even though Luo Wei didn't use all his strength to launch the Nianian fruit because of his injuries, his flying speed was still extremely fast, enough to cover a distance of 100 meters in just 10 sweeps. After changing the course again, Nico Robin fixed the rudder and walked towards Perona who was standing at the bow, looking down at the paper of life in his hand. Coming closer, Nico Robin also saw the life paper belonging to Luo Wei in Perona's hand, and there were obvious signs of burning on it. There was a hint of worry in her beautiful eyes. After Luo Wei made the life paper for her, she naturally knew what the burning signs of the life paper meant. Perona, don't worry too much, we have to believe that Luo Wei can get rid of Aokiji, and hasn't the paper of life stopped burning. Maybe Luo Wei is coming to us now. With a forced smile on his face, Nico Robin touched Perona's head and said softly. She is not only comforting Perona, but also comforting herself. Well, I also believe that Luo Wei will be fine. Perona looked up at Nico Robin and said firmly. Advertisement. Seeing Perona like this, Nico Robin was relieved a lot, and also knew that Perona was much stronger than he imagined. Robin, there's a ship approaching us. Just when Nico Robin was about to say something, suddenly, Perona seemed to have noticed something, first her eyes were slightly fixed, and then she raised her finger to point to the opposite side. Nico Robin was slightly taken aback, then quickly turned around to look in the direction Perona pointed, and immediately saw a ship heading towards them in the distance. And as the AJCE ship in the distance approaches, it can already be faintly seen that there is a smiling face shaped skull pattern on the open sail. As this a pirate ship, Nico Robin frowned after seeing the skull pattern on the ship in the distance. If it is normal, when Luo Wei is around, if a pirate ship appears, it will naturally attack directly, sink the pirate ship, and eliminate all the pirates on it. But in the current situation, although she and Perona are not weak, they are not as confident as when Luo Wei was around, and they unconsciously become vigilant. Perona, let's get ready to fight. The opponent is trying to loot us. After the pirate ship on the other side approaches, you can directly attack with the bomb phantom and sink the opponent's ship directly. After a short pause, Nico Robin looked at Perona and said in a deep voice. No problem, leave it to me. Perona nodded, and at the same time looked at the approaching pirate ship, with a hint of danger in her eyes. Advertisement. Although she was firm that Luo Wei could return safely, the burning signs of the life paper still made her feel restless. Now that she meets a pirate who wants to get their attention, she naturally doesn't mind venting her inner anxiety. Nico Robin is also in the same situation, otherwise she would not choose to fight, but would directly drive the moonlight to get rid of the opponent. Although he stopped directly without dropping the anchor, Nico Robin also slowed down the sailing speed, and then prepared for battle with Perona. After a while, the pirate ship on the opposite side sailed within a range of 100 meters from the moonlight. At the same time, this pirate ship also behaved very strangely, it did not launch a bombardment attack after entering the range of the artillery like those pirates encountered in the past. However, at this time, Nico Robin and Perona didn't think too much. When the other party approached, the two began to act according to the plan they had formulated. Perona, attack, Nico Robin looked at the approaching pirate ship, a cold light flashed in his beautiful eyes, and he immediately issued an order. Great Ghost Kamikaze Bomb, Perona, who had already been ready to go, naturally waved both hands without hesitation, and created two huge ghosts at once. After the appearance of these two huge ghosts, they rushed towards the opposite pirate ship at a fast speed like bombardment shells. With Perona's current level of development of the, kamikaze bomb, the explosive power contained in the two, kamikaze bombs, is enough to easily blow up small and medium-sized ships to pieces. Advertisement. Chapter 217 Trafalgar Law Please subscribe automatically. First update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hum. But when the, kamikaze bomb, was about to hit the opposite pirate ship, suddenly a spherical translucent energy field expanded from the pirate ship. The two, kamikaze bombs, rushing towards the pirate ship were immediately absorbed by the energy field, and in a blink of an eye, they turned into two sea fish. Boom boom. At this moment, two astonishing explosions appeared from the sea behind the pirate ship, sending out deafening roars, also stirring up violent air waves and majestic waves. Under the double impact of air waves and sea waves, the pirate ship's sailing speed increased instantly, and it rushed into the moonlight at a distance of less than 20 to 30 meters. 
What? Not good. The sudden change made Perona's face show consternation, and it also made Nico Robin's face change drastically. Especially Nico Robin, she immediately activated the flower flower fruit ability, crossed her hands, and her eyes fell on the nearby pirate ship. Swish. Advertisement. The expanded energy field did not disappear, but approached, including the moonlight, and then saw a beach chair on the deck of the moonlight suddenly disappear, replaced by a figure. Although the movement was very subtle when the figure appeared, Nico Robin and Perona were very keenly aware that the two women suddenly turned their heads to look at the figure almost at the same time. Negative. Negative. Especially Perona. When she saw a figure, she waved out dozens of negative ghosts without hesitation, and rushed towards the opponent. Room scan. Seeing the rushing ghost, the figure's eyes immediately froze, and a small air wave circle appeared on his empty left hand, and then the air wave circle expanded into a huge spherical energy field centered on him in the blink of an eye. Like the previous, Kamikaze bomb, the negative ghosts disappeared immediately after rushing into the energy field, replaced by sea fish. This is the situation again, did this guy use this ability to transfer my ghost just now? As an ability user of the ghost fruit, Perona can naturally sense the location of the ghost. Regardless of whether it was the previous, Kamikaze bomb, or the current passive ghost, Perona discovered that the two did not really disappear, but were shifted by some unknown ability. Just like now, Perona just found out that her negative ghost was transferred to the seawater below the moonlight. Please wait a moment, I came here without any malice, so let's stop this unnecessary battle. After the figure transferred the ghost, it seemed that it was afraid that Perona would attack again, so it decisively raised its voice. Then tell me why you are here, otherwise, your companion will feel bad. Advertisement. Nico Robin, who kept his arms crossed in front of him, looked at the other party vigilantly, and said coldly. The figure took a deep look at Nico Robin, and then glanced at his own pirate ship not far away. It can be seen that at some point, on the deck of the pirate ship, including a white bear in clothes, everyone on it was tightly hooked around the neck by the arms growing from the shoulders, and it was difficult to breathe. The flushed face also showed an expression of pain. The reason why the figure did not fight back, and even asked for a truce, was precisely because of this. Nico Robin, however, used his flower flower fruit ability to attack the people on the pirate ship the moment the pirate ship approached, taking the lives of everyone on the deck. Well, you have also seen that I am a pirate, but I am not approaching you for looting, but because we don't have enough supplies on board, so I want to buy some from you. Wearing a black plush hat with Madara dots, and holding a very beautifully shaped long knife in his right hand, the figure said in a deep voice. If Lua Wei is here, he can definitely recognize the identity of the other party immediately, because this figure is one of the future supernovas, Trafalgar Law. But regarding Luo's words, Perona sneered directly, and mocked, speaking is better than singing, when will pirates be so polite? Zero. Ask for flowers. She naturally wouldn't believe Luo's words, or she didn't believe that the other party just wanted to obtain supplies through the procurement situation. Luo looked as usual, and he also knew that the other party would not believe what he said, even his explanation was modified words. Because at the beginning, he was planning to seize the supplies directly, but he didn't expect that there would be two capable people on this ship, and they were not weak, and even held his crew hostage now, so that he couldn't fight back. Sorry, the supplies on our ship are not for sale, you can leave now. Nico Robin said lightly. Advertisement. Naturally, she would not believe the other party's words, but the other party's ability was very strange, which made her very jealous, so she had no intention of fighting, and was going to expel the other party as soon as possible. Okay, I can leave, so can you let my crew go? Luo nodded and said while staring at Nico Robin closely. He also has no idea of seizing supplies now. Although the supplies on the ship are seriously insufficient, it is better than Beppo and the others being in danger. You leave first, and when we drive away to a safe distance, I will naturally release your men. Naturally, Nico Robin would not easily release the hostages. Luo frowned, but there was nothing he could do. He couldn't ensure that before his op-op fruit attacked the opponent, the opponent would not hurt Beppo and the others first. Okay, then I, with no way to break the situation, Luo could only choose to agree to Nico Robin's request, but before he finished speaking, a sudden strong sound of breaking through the air came from far to near, and quickly impacted on the bow of the moonlight. Swish. The air waves rolled up at super fast speed dissipated into a violent whirlwind, and at the same time, it also caused the three people confronting each other on the deck to quickly pass the evidence. Luo Wei. Times two inches. Seeing the tall figure appearing at the bow of the ship, Perona and Nico Robin couldn't help showing surprise on their faces. Perona rushed over directly, and then jumped into the arms of the tall figure. Chapter 218 Deterrence and Solicitation Please subscribe automatically. Second update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Sorry for worrying you. Although being thrown into Perona's arms caused some injuries and caused a lot of pain, Luo Wei still smiled and caught her, and at the same time signaled to Nico Robin with a smile. Although Nico Robin was not as excited as Perona, when Luo Wei looked over, he showed a beautiful smile like a flower blooming on his face. Say sorry, 
We should be the ones to say sorry, if we weren't too weak, you wouldn't have to take the risk to hold back the enemy. Perona hooked Luo Wei's neck with her hands, raised her delicate face, and said with tears in her beautiful eyes. As the captain, isn't it my duty to protect the crew, and it's all right now, let's deal with business first. 363, Luo Wei smiled, and then turned his head to look at Zheng looking at Luo in shock. Cold sweat was visible to the naked eye on his forehead. When Luo Wei saw Luo Wei, his heart was filled with disbelief and horror. How could such a thing happen? Why did the evil hunter appear here? Could it be that this ship belongs to the other party? Luo is a very careful person, so he will naturally pay special attention to information, so he recognized Luo Wei immediately, but because of this, he was frightened into a cold sweat. He had no idea that such a terrifying figure like Luo Wei would suddenly appear here, and he seemed to be the owner of the ship he was in. Thinking that he originally wanted to seize the supplies on this ship, Luo felt bitter in his heart, knowing that he had gotten into big trouble. Advertisement. In particular, he also found that although the expression of the woman who had taken his crew hostage had changed when Luo Wei appeared, she still did not relax, which made him even have no chance to escape. Luo Wei was also a little surprised when he saw Luo. When he came over and found a pirate ship next to the moonlight, he thought it was the attack of the pirates Perona and the others encountered, but he didn't expect that the identity of the pirate would be Luo. Hey, Luo Wei, are you hurt? At this time, when he calmed down, Perona also got off Luo Wei's body, and at the same time, he also discovered the severe frostbite on Luo Wei's body, and Dao was shocked. Well, after all, the opponent is Marine Admiral, and injuries are inevitable, so go and call Hoback over here. Luo Wei said casually, walking towards Luo at the same time. I'll go find Hoback right away. Perona hurriedly ran to the cabin. Robin, put away your abilities. When Perona entered the cabin, Luo Wei also noticed Bebo and others on the other side of the pirate ship who were hooked around the neck by arms, and he waved to Nico Robin and said. Good. Nico Robin nodded, without any hesitation, he directly released the ability. Even though Luo Wei's injuries were not serious, his appearance was enough to make Nico Robin feel a strong sense of security, and he lost any scruples about Luo Wei. Advertisement. Similarly, even though the crew regained their freedom, Luo still didn't dare to make any rash moves, and stood there tensely, staring closely at Luo Wei who walked in. Is Trafalgar Law right? How about sitting down and chatting? Before arriving at the other party, Luo Wei stopped, looked at the other party with a smile, and then casually sat cross-legged. Luo's heart shuddered, and he became even more wary of Luo Wei calling out his name directly. After hesitating for a while, Luo sat down as Luo Wei said. Luo Wei put too much pressure on him, so he didn't dare to initiate conflicts before he was completely sure that Luo Wei was going to deal with him. What does Mr. Luo Wei want to talk to me about? After sitting down, it was not Luo Wei who spoke first, but Luo Wei. He tried his best to keep himself calm, and at the same time, he wanted to understand Luo Wei's attitude as soon as possible. Let me see, with that, let's start with the Don Quixote family. Nico Robin also came behind Luo Wei after putting away his ability, and Luo Wei touched his chin and started talking about Luo Wei's words. Since you know me, you must also know that I killed Diamante and Lao Ji, right? When Luo Wei mentioned Don Quixote family, Luo's pupils shrank into a needle shape immediately, and he almost couldn't bear it anymore and was about to activate his ability to escape, but what Luo Wei said later stabilized him again. Yes, I have read the report about Mr. Luo Wei, but I don't understand why you want to talk to me about the Don Quixote family. Luo said in a deep voice. Advertisement. Corazon, I think this name should be enough for you to understand. Luo Wei said indifferently. Even with a calm mind, Corazon's mention made Luo's face change obviously. Seeing the other party's reaction, Luo Wei said lightly, I can say very clearly about the grievances between you and Doflamingo, and the reason why I told you about Diamante and the others is just to let you understand that I there is also a conflict with Doflamingo. While talking, Luo Wei saw Perona and Hoback coming out of the hatch in a hurry. He didn't waste any time and directly explained his intentions. As the saying goes, the enemy of an enemy is a friend. Although I am not afraid of Doflamingo, I don't mind recruiting excellent talents on board. So, if you want to avenge Corazon, you might as well join my team. At the same time, I can also give you a guarantee that I will take Doflamingo's head off for you in 4.2 at most one year. When Luo Wei finished speaking, Perona and Huobake also came over. Luo Wei, let Hoback treat your injury first. Perona said nervously. Huobake opened his eyes wide when he saw the injury on Luo Wei's body, and quickly said, My lord, the frostbite on your body is very serious, you'd better treat it right away. Well, you go and prepare the medicine you need first, and I'll come to you later. Luo Wei took over and said, Yes, I'm going to prepare now. Huobake didn't dare to hesitate, although he just learned some of Luo Wei's injuries from Perona's description, but Luo Wei's injuries were much more serious than he expected. Advertisement. Chapter 219 Treatment and Incorporation Please subscribe automatically. The third update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement.
The medicine kit he brought over was obviously not enough for the medicines and tools he needed, so after receiving Luo Wei's order, he hurried back to the cabin and entered the infirmary to prepare various medicines for frostbite. How about it? Do you agree to my proposal or reject it? Luo Wei showed a slight smile, looking at Luo who fell silent because of his own words. After a while, Luo tentatively said, what will happen if I refuse? Luo Wei smiled unabated, but his voice became indifferent, and said, do you know how I got the name? Sin Hunter, it's because I specialize in hunting down criminals, do you think you, as a pirate, is it the object of my hunting? Although he didn't directly express his attitude, Luo Wei's words were enough for Luo to understand the consequences of his refusal. It seems that I have no other choice. Is there a one-year deadline? Then I will join your team temporarily. Luo let out a long breath, with a helpless expression on his face. Hey, what expression do you have? Tell you, it's your honor to join our team, you know, not everyone wants us, let alone pirates. Pei Luona's concerns about Luo Wei's injury were partly shifted, and she said displeased with Luo Wei's reaction. Luo glanced at the other party, and didn't refute anything. Before he was really sure about his safety, he would naturally not cause other conflicts. Advertisement. Okay, since you have joined, your crew members will also be incorporated into our team, temporarily acting as peripheral members, Robin, the rest will be left to you. Seeing that the other party had already made a choice, Luo Wei also stood up, and after explaining to Nico Robin, he seemed to be completely at ease with Luo and went to the cabin. Regarding this situation, Luo Wei's eyes flickered slightly, but in the end he still didn't do anything. Even though Luo Wei seems to have been seriously injured, from the information he has learned, Luo Wei is absolutely no less terrifying than Doflamingo. Unlike others, Luo Kei, who had been in the Don Quixote family, knew very well how powerful such a terrifying existence was. Even if he was seriously injured, he didn't have much chance of winning. What's more, apart from Luo Wei, there are Nico Robin and Perona on board, so Luo naturally dare not mess around. Severe frostbite caused many flesh and blood tissues on Luo Wei to show signs of necrosis. During the treatment, Luo Wei soaked in warm water for half a day to revive the flesh and blood from the frozen state, and then Huo Bakay performed the surgery. By the time the treatment was over, a full day had passed. At the same time, even though Luo Wei's physical fitness is strong, if he wants to fully recover from this injury, he needs at least half a month to a month of recuperation. At the same time, Nico Robin was also in the process of receiving treatment for Luo Wei, and with his excellent management ability, he easily completed the recruitment of the Heart Pirates. Advertisement. At this time, the Heart Pirates, whether it is personnel or ships, are not as complete as when the members landed on the Sabayati Archipelago in the original book. The staff plus Beppo is only a dozen people. As for the ship, it is not the polar diving ship that can be called a mobile hospital. However, this is the case, because of Luo, the members of the Heart Pirates, except for Bipo, have basically mastered good medical skills. At the same time, the current pirate ship also has quite sophisticated medical equipment and perfect medicine. It can be said that after accepting the Heart Pirates, Luo Wei not only recruited Luo, an excellent seed with great potential, but also obtained ten very complete medical teams. On the second day after the operation, Luo Wei's injury has improved significantly, and he can even get out of bed and move freely like ordinary people. The head of the family is really strong like a monster. After suffering such severe frostbite, the injury has improved so quickly. On the deck, Luo Wei was lazily lying on the beach chair basking in the sun, while Perona and Nico Robin stood on both sides. At this time, it was Luo who was standing opposite who was speaking. He first spoke as if he was praising, and then asked curiously. Speaking of which, I still don't know how the boss was injured. With the strength of the boss, West Blue, there should be no one who can cause such a serious injury to the boss. HMPH, I'm afraid to scare you to death, but the enemy we met is Iokiji, one of the marine admirals. Advertisement. After Luo Wei's injury recovered, Perona also recovered her former spirit. She hummed coquettishly to Luo Wei's temptation. Marine Admiral. Luo's expression changed slightly. Although he had guessed that the person who could cause Luo Wei's injury was definitely not a simple person, he didn't expect that it would be Marine Admiral. I see. I've heard that Iokiji from Marine Admiral is a Logia frozen fruit capable person. It's hard to imagine that the head of the family would suffer such severe frostbite. Luo said solemnly. At this moment, Luo Wei also got up slowly, looked at the other party and said calmly. You don't have to be so nervous, even if you really meet Marine Admiral again, I will delay the other party's use, and I won't let you go face to face. Yes. Although his inner thoughts were exposed, Luo didn't show embarrassment. Instead, he said with a normal expression. So, the reason why the master is injured is because of delaying Marine Admiral's pursuit. As soon as these words came out, Perona and Nico Robin's faces became gloomy, and at the same time, their eyes showed firm gazes. The encounter with Kuzan this time can be said to have made them truly feel weak and weak, and it has also given them a stronger determination to become stronger. Luo Wei didn't continue talking about Kuzan, but changed the subject and said, let's talk about the business, this time the three of you are gathered here, mainly to formulate a new practice project for you. 
A new practice project. Apart from Luo, Perona and Nico Robin's eyes lit up, and they immediately looked closely at Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 220 Team and Name Please Subscribe Automatically. Fourth Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Yes, this is what I prepared for you. It records in detail the two methods of practicing hockey, the armed color and the knowledge color. You can practice hard on hockey in the future. Like magic, Luo Wei moved his finger forward a little, and the three handwritten notes appeared out of thin air, and then attached to them with the power of thought, they flew to the front of the three of them immediately. Luo Wei, where did you get this note? Could it be the ability you developed again? Including Luo, the three of them were surprised by the way the notes appeared, and Perona asked even more in surprise. Well, compared to this, you should take a good look at the practice method in the notebook. Although hockey is not uncommon in the new world, what I have prepared for you is the top hockey practice method. Luo Wei naturally took the notes from the space of the golden template, but he didn't explain much, but let the three of them focus on the notes. Hearing this, Perona and Nico Robin didn't think too much. After taking the notes floating in front of them, they began to read them carefully. They are naturally not unfamiliar with hockey, because Luo Wei has already explained it to them, but because their foundation is not enough, Luo Wei has not taught it all the time. In fact, the two have longed for hockey very much. After all, hockey is not only the most effective force against demon fruit power, but also possesses super fighting ability. Advertisement. Top hockey practice. Luo didn't pay much attention to it at first, after all, he had come into contact with hockey when he was in the Don Quixote family, and he also obtained the hockey practice method circulated in the Don Quixote family. But after Luo Wei mentioned that the notes contained the top-notch hockey practice methods, he looked at them squarely, and after taking the notes, he began to read them carefully. The hockey practice method recorded in the notebook is naturally obtained from the hockey inheritance of Zephyr by Luo Wei, and it is absolutely no exaggeration to define it by the top. Although Perona and Nico Robin have not seen other hockey practice methods, they are also deeply attracted by the exquisite content recorded in the notes. As for Luo, after silently comparing the hockey practice methods passed down by the Don Quixote family, he immediately focused his attention on the notes in his hand. The hockey practice method handed down by the Don Quixote family is naturally the hockey practiced by Virgo. Although it can be regarded as the best in hockey's practice method, compared with Zephyr's inheritance, it is obviously inferior by more than one grade. Luo naturally also recognized this situation. After a long time, the three of them came to their senses after reading all the notes. Luo Wei, can we really practice hockey now? Nico Robin couldn't help asking. Armament hockey is still a little short, but if I give you the vibration tempering body technique, body training, it shouldn't be too long. You two can practice observation hockey first. Luo Wei said. Advertisement. Should I practice observation hockey first? That's fine. Observation hockey can predict attacks and perceive breath. After learning it, it can also play a very good role in battle. Nico Robin nodded, then held the note in his hand cherished in his arms. Perona also said seriously to Luo Wei. Don't worry, I will learn observation hockey as soon as possible. If it is not enough to learn armament hockey, learning observation hockey can undoubtedly increase the strength to the greatest extent, which is of course extremely important to the two girls who are eager to become stronger. Luo also said in a complicated tone at this time, such a precious hockey practice method, can the head of the family just give it to me, a newcomer, so easily? Why not? I recruited you to join my team, which in itself shows that I believe in you. Although this hockey practice method is precious, it is not as good as my trust in you. Luo Wei said indifferently. Luo was silent, not knowing what to say for a while. Although it can be said that he was coerced into boarding the ship, the trust Luo Wei gave him now made him unable to complain at all, but he became a little grateful to Luo Wei. Speaking of the team, we don't seem to have an exact name yet. In this case, there will be a lack of sense of identity and collective sense. Nico Robin said suddenly. Perona also suddenly said. Really, there were few people before, and I didn't think of this. Now, I really have to give our group a name, otherwise I don't feel a sense of belonging. Luo Wei was also thoughtful, as if he really needed a name. Advertisement. Is the head of the family going to form a pirate group? Luo also eased from the complicated emotions at this time, and couldn't help asking. Luo Wei shook his head and said. No, we are not pirates, Perona, come and explain to Luo the nature of our group. Leave it to me, Madara boy, listen carefully, our team is dedicated to hunting down those criminals, you. After receiving Luo Wei's order, Perona soon began to explain to Luo. Although he was called Madara's kid, Luo didn't pay much attention to it, but listened carefully. After all, he is also a member of the team now, and it is very important to understand the nature of the team. At the same time, Luo Wei was also thinking about the name. After thinking about it for a long time, perhaps because of the reason of thinking about the fruit, and adding his title of, Sin Hunter, he couldn't help but think of another anime that is very famous Zhao. Zhao, an organization. Robin. What do you think of our group being called the Hunters Association? Luo Wei asked Nico Robin. Hunter Association, 
The term hunter is fine, but for associations, this is usually only defined by those large organizations. With our current number of people, it seems a little inappropriate. Nico Robin said after thinking about it. Hearing this, Luo Wei pondered slightly, and said again, what about the hunter brigade, hunting and killing criminals while traveling around the entire world? This one is not bad, but I also thought of a name, why not call it the Dark Hunters? Nico Robin nodded first, Zhuangxiwen enthusiastically put forward his suggestion. On the other side, Perona, who had just finished the explanation, immediately said, I think the Ghost Hunters are better. Advertisement. Chapter 221 Hunter Brigade Please Subscribe Automatically. First Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Okay. Then it's called the Hunter Brigade. Luo Wei pretended not to hear the words behind the two women, and decisively decided on the name of the group. What are you doing? Isn't the Ghost Hunter group very good? No, I still think the Dark Hunters are better. Perona patted Luo Wei's shoulder coquettishly, and then wanted to stick to the name she had chosen unwillingly. Not to be outdone, Nico Robin crossed his arms, lifted his two babies more prominently, and said with a serious face. Cough cough, the head of the family, since the name of the team has been decided, then if there is nothing else, I will go to practice first. Seeing this situation, Luo Yi, who was about to say something, closed his mouth wisely, and then resolutely slipped away. Although Luo Wei really wanted to leave with him, but because of his injury he needed to bask more in the sun, so he had no choice but to lie back on the beach chair again, but he also cleverly sealed his ears with his thoughts. Although some disputes occurred later, the hunter brigade was successfully established in the end. After confirming the hunter brigade, Luo Wei also took advantage of the recovery period to plan for the brigade. Of course, because he was not good at these, Luo Wei only made the division of classes in 703. Advertisement. As for other reward and punishment mechanisms and salary distribution, they are naturally all handed over to Nico Robin, who has excellent management skills. For a perfect organization, strata must exist, otherwise there will be confusion in management, and it will not be conducive to development. Because the number of personnel is still small, Luo Wei only made a simple class division for the brigade. The upper level is naturally the head of the regiment. Needless to say, he must be in charge of it himself. Then there is the middle class, Luo Wei of this class is defined as an official member of the brigade. Although there is no plan to limit the number of members, Luo Wei's requirements for full-time members are not low, and they must be true elites. There are two types of elites that Luo Wei requires. The first is that the strength has reached the powerful level of combat power. The second is to have at least the potential to grow into a powerful combat force. Currently, the three official members of the brigade, Perona, Nico Robin, and Luo, all belong to the second category. The last is the lower class, which belongs to the bottom personnel of the brigade AJ, so Luo Wei defines it as the peripheral members of the brigade. Including members of Hoback and the original Heart Pirates, these people are peripheral members of the Hunter Brigade. In addition, the ship of the original Heart Pirates was equipped with quite complete medical equipment, so Luo Wei did not abandon it, but used this ship as the brigade's local ship. A few days later, when passing an uninhabited island, Luo Wei issued an order to rest in place. Advertisement. One is because the food on board needs to be replenished, and the other is that he needs a relatively stable environment to recuperate. Although Aokiji has not appeared again in the past few days, it does not mean that we can relax our vigilance. In his heyday, Luo Wei only ensured that he could get away, let alone take care of Perona and others. Naturally, he had to recover from his injuries as soon as possible. As for choosing to recuperate on the uninhabited island, it is naturally to prevent the location from being scouted by Marine's Intelligence Force Emperor. After resting, the entire hunter brigade has completely entered the state of practice. Even Luo, who has already mastered the hockey practice method passed down by the Don Quixote family, has not really started to practice hockey because he has put all his energy on physical training and the development of op-op fruit. Under the current practice, whether it is Luo, or the two daughters Perona and Nico Robin, they are all studying hockey's practice assiduously. Perona and Nico Robin, who are slightly deficient in physical fitness, mainly practice observation hockey, while Luo practices both kinds of hockey together. In addition, the former members of the Heart Pirates, Beibo and others who are now peripheral members of the brigade, were also arranged for strict practice by Luo Wei. Not only is there physical exercise, but he also imparts marine six styles to them. After dealing with the affairs of the brigade, Luo Wei naturally sorted out his own situation. When I formulated the division of combat power, although I had imagined world-class combat power to the greatest extent, I still underestimated the horror of this level of combat power due to limited cognition. Because of the need to recuperate, Luo Wei did not enter the island to practice like Perona and others, but stayed in the training room of the cabin. After completing the sword meditation practice that does not require using the body, Luo Wei began to ponder. Advertisement. In his division of combat power, Marine and Admiral, including Kuzan, are also world-class combat power, but they are slightly weaker than four emperors. A few days ago, in the battle between him and Kuzan, it can be said that he was suppressed by Kuzan throughout the whole process. 
If he hadn't just mastered the flame power that was incompatible with the frozen fruit attribute, he might have been defeated by the opponent in a short time. From the results of such a battle, Luo Wei naturally deeply understood how far the gap between himself and world-class combat power was. In the division of his combat power, his current strength has entered the middle overlord level of combat power. Although he cannot be regarded as the top in this level, he is by no means weak. But even so, he was still almost powerless to fight Kuzan. It can be seen from this that there is an insurmountable gap between the overlord level combat power and the world class combat power. The feeling of fighting with Luo Wei. Apart from Kendo, Kuzan's strength in other aspects has definitely reached at least 8th level of strength. Especially frozen fruit, whether it is strength or application, the opponent has developed to the pinnacle level. If in terms of strength, it is said that it has reached the 10th level, Luo Wei will not doubt it. As for physical fitness, although Kuzan didn't show much in the battle, Luo Wei can be sure that the opponent's physical fitness is probably higher than his from the fact that the opponent can easily block his slash. If you think about it, the use of devil fruit consumes physical strength, and to be able to condense such a terrifying cold air naturally requires a lot of physical strength. Kuzan can freeze the sea lightly, how could his physical fitness be poor? Advertisement. Chapter 222 Growth and Intelligence Please subscribe automatically. Second update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. After thinking about the level of world-class combat power for a while, Luo Wei also focused on the Golden Template. In the 10 days before meeting Kuzan, he naturally gained a lot of crime points through hunting down gangsters and offering rewards in the underground world. Adding the original remaining tens of thousands of evil points, there are still more than 70,000 evil points. As for the original sin value, although it has not been gained after Capone Beige, there is still original sin value of 12 points. Except for Observation Hockey and Conqueror's Hockey, all other powers have reached the 8th level of strength. The enhancement of Conqueror's Hockey will grow simultaneously with the improvement of its own strength, so there is no need to pay more attention, but Observation Hockey should also be improved. Part of the reason why he was suppressed throughout the battle with Kuzan was that Luo Wei was far weaker than the opponent in terms of Observation Hockey. He couldn't even perceive the opponent's breath, and when he couldn't predict the opponent's attack, but his own attack was predicted by the opponent, he would naturally have a one-sided situation in the offensive and defensive battle. Not only does the strength need to be improved, but Luo Wei is also ready to practice the application of observation hockey after gaining new evil points, and strive to break through to the advanced stage as soon as possible. Observation hockey mainly comes from the power of the mind, and it will not affect the body when it is lifted, so even if it is in a state of recuperation, Luo Wei can still improve it with peace of mind. Click on observation hockey, and he immediately puts the sin value on it continuously. When the experience value reaches the full value, it consumes B points of original sin value to upgrade. Advertisement. During the upgrade, Luo Wei's observation hockey involuntarily entered the open state. The invisible perception continued to expand, and finally covered the entire uninhabited island. Even if the application is still in the intermediate stage, but after the observation hockey intensity is raised to the eighth level, the sensitivity of perception has also been greatly enhanced. Just like the three Peronas who are practicing on an uninhabited island, Luo Wei can easily capture every movement of the three even though they are far apart. With a long breath, Wei's face showed a trace of downfall. Every time his strength increases, he can't help but feel happy, which may also be engraved in his genetic instinct for the pursuit of strength. However, after this promotion, not only did he have only 9 points of original sin value left, but also his sin value was less than 10,000. Under such circumstances, he naturally cannot activate practice, so he can only continue to improve his strength through the practice of Saber Zen. Perhaps Luo Wei chose to rest on the uninhabited island to avoid the detection of marine intelligence. More than half a month passed in such a calm manner, and at the same time Luo Wei's injury was completely recovered. After recovering from his injury, Luo Wei naturally announced the end of the rest and set sail again without hesitation. The rest of the hunter brigade has naturally come to an end. Advertisement. A few days later, the hunter brigade successfully completed its first hunt after its establishment, destroying the headquarters of a first-class underworld gang in West Blue. In the battle, not only Luo Wei showed overwhelming power, but Perona, Nico Robin, and Chuan also showed their impressive combat power. As far as Luo is concerned, although it is still a lot worse than when it landed in the Sabayati Archipelago in the original book, it already has a high-level superhuman combat power. Especially the op-op fruit ability, if the enemy does not know armament hockey, it can even leapfrog the battle. At the same time, during the first half of the month on the uninhabited island, Luo's physical fitness has been greatly enhanced. From the original power value of just over a thousand, to now it has a power value of about 1,500. There is such an astonishing growth rate, and the reason is naturally that Luo Wei, like Perona and Nico Robin, also performed a walking body tempering technique on Luo Wei at the end of the year. Although the power of Nianian fruit comes from physical strength, it is used like spiritual energy. Even if Luo Wei is recovering from his injuries, the use of them will not affect his injuries. Zero. 
seeking flowers. I said Doflamingo was coming to West Blue. After finishing the hunt, Luo Wei did not leave immediately because the supplies on the ship needed to be replenished. It's just that he had just returned to his room to count the harvest of this hunting, when Luo hurried over and found something that surprised him. Advertisement. Luo Lian nodded, and at the same time said solemnly, Yes, leader, and not only Doflamingo, but also Ember of the Three Plagues of the Beast's Pirates who came with him. Although it is still not completely sure what the opponent's purpose is for coming to West Blue, but with this lineup, I think we should proceed cautiously. After all, you once killed Diamante and Lao Ji. Luo's solemnity is not without reason, because he has been in the Don Quixote family, so he has a full understanding of Doflamingo. Maybe it's just to buy people's hearts, but what Doflamingo instilled in the Don Quixote family is the family concept. Family members were killed, even if it was for the sake of face, it is impossible for Doflamingo to remain indifferent to the assailant Luo Wei. At the same time, Luo also thought of himself, and he knew that Doflamingo had always wanted to catch him so that he could perform the ageless surgery for him. Luo Wei naturally thought about Luo's explanation. As soon as his side showed up, Doflamingo was heading for West Blue, bringing with him one of the three major disasters of the beast's pirates. Although I don't know how the two got mixed up, the possibility that Doflamingo will find him to avenge his family is not small. By the way, how did you get this information? Luo Wei asked. Luo said. Commander, you also know that Doflamingo has been trying to catch me, so I once found an opportunity to steal the heart of a high-level intelligence organization in the underground world. Now the other party is completely under my orders. With the help of this intelligence organization, it is responsible for investigating the movements of Doflamingo and Don Quixote family for me. As long as the other party makes any changes, they will report to me as soon as possible. Advertisement. Chapter 223. The two powers come together, please subscribe automatically. The third update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Hearing this, Luo Wei naturally understood the situation immediately. If it were him, he would do the same. Facing an enemy far stronger than himself, when trying to improve himself, obtaining the enemy's intelligence is also crucial. However, after confirming that there was no problem with the information, Luo Wei did not think about how to avoid Doflamingo, but came up with another idea. Luo, are you interested in asking Doflamingo to collect some benefits first, such as destroying the Don Quixote family? Luo Wei looked at the other party with burning eyes. Luo was stunned, and it took a while to react, and he said in shock, Leader, are you planning to attack Dressrosa? The Don Quixote family has captured the news of Dressrosa, so it is natural that they will not be ugly and unclear about Dressrosa who has been paying attention to the other party's movements. Yes, no matter what purpose Doflamingo came to West Blue, it means that he has left Dressrosa, and with my ability, it is enough to enter the new world in the shortest possible time. As long as we move fast enough, destroying the Don Quixote family is not a difficult task. Luo Wei chuckled lightly, with a gloomy look in his eyes. Advertisement. For Luo Wei's words, Luo immediately thought of a lot. The first is the strength of the Don Quixote family and their brigade. Although after the lack of Doflamingo, the Don Quixote family still has a number of openings in the two most promoted teams of Pika and Torebel. But they also have Luo Wei, a powerful existence that even Marine Admiral can't catch. Secondly, Luo is not boasting about himself. With his current strength and the particularity of Op Op Fruit, the cadres of the Don Quixote family, he is not without a chance of winning. Coupled with the assistance of Nico Robin and Perona, if the arrangement is good, it is really not impossible to destroy the Don Quixote family. Captain, are you sure you can hold off Pika? He is one of the top cadres of the Don Quixote family. His ability is the Paramecia Stone Fruit, and his strength can be said to be second only to Doflamingo. After thinking quickly with his head down, Luo suddenly raised his head to look at Luo Wei. Luo Wei smiled lightly, and said, Luo, you don't underestimate the leader of your family. He's just a pika, it's not difficult for me to kill him. How could he not know how much pika weighed? With his current strength, in the entire Don Quixote family, Doflamingo is the only one he can fear. Advertisement. As for the others, it wasn't that Luo Wei looked down on them, and together they wouldn't make him feel pressured. There was a flash of light in Luo's eyes, he was not a hesitant person, and immediately said decisively, then trouble the leader, I have no objection to the attack on Don Quixote family this time. Luo Wei smiled he knew that he would soon gain a large amount of sin value and even original sin value again. Afterwards, Luo Wei also brought Nico Robin and Perona over. Although he is the leader of the Hunter Brigade, he will not carry out dictatorial rule. He will still consult other members for collective actions, which is also a way to maintain the order of the brigade. Knowing that Luo Wei was going to Dressrosa to attack the Don Quixote family, Perona and Nico Robin were surprised, but they quickly expressed their support. Although Luo Wei did not implement a dictatorship, how could Perona and Nico Robin oppose his proposal, the two women are his staunchest supporters. Without any objection, Luo Wei naturally started to act immediately, and even directly manipulated two ships to leave from the sky in order to prevent being discovered by the intelligence force of the Don Quixote family. Luo Wei didn't land until he entered the uninhabited sea area, 
and then he urged the Nianian fruit with all his strength, and went directly to the calm belt near New World. The huge pteranodon in black clothes flew in the sky, and every time its wings moved, violent air waves would be rolled up. Da Flamingo, although our captain agreed to your request, Lousy won't stay with you for too long, you'd better lock the location of that evil hunter for me as soon as possible. Advertisement. The pteranodon also opened its mouth to spit out human words when it kept flying forward, and the thick voice was mixed with an uncomfortable tone. Boiling. Jin, don't worry, I've already had someone monitor that guy's location, as long as you and I attack together, we can easily take care of him. On the top of the pteranodon's head was Doflamingo, who was wearing a flamingo coat and was full of rebellion, and he laughed evilly. The pteranodon is the embers of the fire among the three major disasters of the beast's pirates. Regarding Doflamingo's words, he said mockingly, don't talk big, if the evil hunter is so easy to deal with, why would you take out one? The ancient devil fruit came to our captain. Although lousy, the evil hunter, didn't specifically inquire about this, he also knows that Locke and his crusher pirates were destroyed by this guy. You kid did not hesitate to take out the ancient devil fruit and ask the captain to send me to help you. This is enough to show that this guy makes you feel threatened. No, more precisely, it should be that you dare not find this guy alone. As Jin continued to speak, Doflamingo's laughter also gradually disappeared, his face became gloomy, and he said indifferently, So what, the thing I can't deal with in this world is that even your captain, isn't it still often was Whitebeard seriously injured? Besides, you and I will go to West Blue together on 2.5 this time. Do you think there is still hope for evil hunters? It is worthwhile for me to get rid of a potential threat with just one devil fruit. Buy and sell. It's really rich and powerful. It should be said that it is a big shot who is about to control the arms trade in the underground world. But Doflamingo, don't get me wrong. The reason why our captain keeps looking for Whitebeard is just to use the old guy Whitebeard to hone his body. Look, sooner or later, our captain will take off Whitebeard. Head. Even in the shape of a beast, Jin's sneer can still be heard, and at the same time, he showed strong confidence and arrogance when referring to his own captain. Advertisement. Chapter 224 Dressrosa, Seeking Automatic Subscription. Fourth Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Really? Then I look forward to this day's appearance. Doflamingo ignored the other party's sarcasm, but split the corners of his mouth, revealing a wicked and crazy smile. If Whitebeard is really killed by Kaido, it will definitely cause chaos in the new world and even the whole world, which is exactly what he wants to see the most. Only when there is chaos, can he take advantage of the fire, expand his territory and power again, and throw off the throne of those people who are high above and who call themselves gods. Boo boo boo. Suddenly, Doflamingo's pocket called the phone bug, which made his inner madness restrained, and then he took out the phone bug and connected it. Hey, is it the young master? I'm Monet. The latest news came from West Blue just now. The evil hunter manipulated the boat from the sky and escaped our monitoring. Opposite the phone bug was Monet who stayed behind in Dressrosa, and her words immediately frowned. Doflamingo frowned slightly, and his face sank. Immediately mobilize all the intelligence forces of West Blue, we must determine the new location of the evil hunter as soon as possible in 09. Wait, Monet, you contact me with those top intelligence organizations in the underground world, and give 500 million berry as a reward, let them also find me the whereabouts of the evil hunter. Yes, I will do it right away. If there is any new news, I will pass it on to you, young master, as soon as possible. Advertisement. When the call ended, Jin, who also heard the content, said dissatisfiedly, Doflamingo, didn't you say that you have confirmed the location of the evil hunter? What's going on now? I don't want to play hide and seek. Don't be so urgent. Although the evil hunter's Nianian fruit ability can manipulate objects, it is impossible to control the boat in the sky all the time. As long as he appears in the crowd, I can immediately get the opponent's position. Doflamingo replied blankly, HMPH, up to 10 days, your ancient seed devil fruit is only enough for me to play with you for such a long time, once the location of the evil hunter is not determined within 10 days, I will not play with you any longer. Veins popped up on his forehead, and Doflamingo was obviously very angry about Jin's perfunctory attitude, and it could even be said to be murderous. The value of the ancient devil fruit is so precious. If Luo Wei didn't feel a deep threat from the monster-like growth rate, how could he use it as a commission? But now, Jin is acting as if a devil fruit is very cheap, or, to him, it is a very cheap commission, and he can only be hired for 10 days. Such an attitude naturally made Doflamingo very angry. Just thinking of Jin's strength, he could only endure it forcefully. In Beast's Pirates, Jin can be said to be the existence of the Vice Emperor, the boss of the three major disasters, and his strength makes Doflamingo full of fear. Okay, that's 10 days. If you haven't confirmed the position of the evil hunter during this time, then you can leave, but, during these 10 days, you must listen to me, and you must not be passive and sabotage. Doflamingo gritted his teeth growled. Advertisement. Cut. Then I will accompany you to have fun in these 10 days. The wings suddenly increased their strength, and under the gust-like air waves, Jin's speed increased significantly, and he flew towards West Blue at a faster speed. 
Kong Belt is a Jedi for ordinary people, a natural barrier of nature, and humans cannot pass through it at all. But just like Locke at the beginning, when the strength reaches a certain level, the Kong Belt is just a very ordinary sea area, and it is not too difficult to cross it. Propelling the boats with thought power, even with the addition of two boats, Luo Wei still increased the speed to an astonishing level. Because the sea area where he was originally was not very far from the Kong Belt, Luo Wei entered the Kong Belt in just half a day. Boom. Observation Hockey sensed the terrifying number and size of the Sea Kings under the sea, Luo Wei directly launched the Conqueror's Hockey, like an invisible oppression, immediately causing the Sea Kings to avoid it. As this the Conqueror's Hockey that cannot be learned through practice, but can only be awakened by oneself. I don't know if I can awaken it. On the deck of the moonlight, looking at Luo Wei who was standing at the bow, constantly bursting out Conqueror's Hockey to open the way, Perona imitated Luo Wei's movements, rubbed her chin and muttered. Beside, Nico Robin heard the other person's words very keenly, and said with a charming smile, Maybe it's true, if Perona awakens Conqueror's Hockey, she will be very handsome. One inch. Advertisement. Hey, Robin, I can understand what you said, are you praising Luo Wei for being handsome now? Perona turned her head and said with a smile. Unfortunately, Nico Robin showed no shyness at all, and smiled gracefully. Yeah, our team leader is really handsome now, do you feel excited? Don't talk nonsense, I don't know how to do it. Perona retorted hastily with a blushing face as if she had been punctured. And when she was talking, she secretly glanced at the position of the bow. After realizing that Luo Wei didn't seem to have heard the conversation here, she first breathed a sigh of relief, and then showed a faint expression of disappointment on her face. Seeing Perona's series of reactions, Nico Robin showed a smile in his beautiful eyes, but considering the other party's thin skin, he didn't continue to tease her. Luo, who was hugging the guardrail on the side of the ghost crying place, looked at the two girls who were chatting and frolicking speechlessly. These two people really didn't have any tension before the big war. Dressrosa, here is one of the largest island countries near the Red Line. Although this country was captured by Doflamingo after some calculations. But I have to say that Dressrosa has entered a better state of development after Doflamingo took control than the original ruler. Dressrosa used to be a very poor country, but it was also invaded by New World pirates. But now, under the awe of Doflamingo, few pirates dare to come here to plunder Dressrosa, and there are also signs of prosperity in the original book. Advertisement. Chapter 225 Action and Attraction Please Subscribe Automatically First Update Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement It's just that the bustling city is not the people who live here. In order to achieve absolute rule, Doflamingo turned all those who opposed his rule in the country into toys. It can be said that this is a deformed country that began to prosper on the surface, but was ruthlessly suppressed internally. On the king's highland in the center of the city, four figures floated in the sky, which was out of sight. Before I act, I will repeat the plan again. I will make noise later and try to lure the cadres of the Don Quixote family out of the palace. If Granos doesn't show up by then, then the three of you will have to enter the palace to find each other. Remember, you not only have to guard against Torebel, who is the personal bodyguard of the sugar, but also pay attention to the sugar himself. The other party is a childish fruit-capable person. Once she touches the body, not only will it become a toy, but it will also be wiped. Get rid of the meaning of existence. Looking around at the other three, Luo Wei reminded them with a serious expression. The four figures floating in the sky are Luo Wei, Perona, Nico Robin, and Luo. After successfully crossing the calm belt, Luo Wei came to Dressrosa without wasting any time. Advertisement. At the same time, in order to avoid the eyes of the Don Quixote family, Luo Wei even parked the boat in the nearby sea area, and just, manipulated him and Master Perona to enter Dressrosa from nowhere. Understood, we will proceed carefully. Perona and Nico Robin were both shocked. Whether it is turned into a toy or wiped out of existence, this is a very terrible thing, and the two women naturally dare not be careless in the slightest. Luo also said firmly, Captain, don't worry, I will definitely pay more attention to the sugar. Okay, let's start to act, I will send you to the other side of the palace first, and then you wait for my news, Luo Wei nodded, and then quickly manipulated the three of them with his thoughts, and they landed together towards the high ground of the king. Go. King's Heights naturally has the heavy hand of the Don Quixote family, but people's blind spots of observation cannot be changed, and they will subconsciously ignore the sky and the ground. At the same time, Luo Wei now has complete control over the Conqueror's Hockey, not only able to control it freely, but also to carry out targeted attacks. When landing towards the remote corner of King's Highland, Luo Wei first sensed it with Observation Hockey, and after finding out the guards in this area, he stunned them with Conqueror's Hockey. Putting the three of Perona down, Luo Wei didn't pause, and flew directly to the other side of the king's heights, and he was not as cautious as before, but very flamboyant. Boom. Like a meteor falling, Luo Wei landed forcefully on the other side of Wangji Heights amidst the huge roaring sound and billowing air waves, and the engulfed swooping momentum directly hit the landing ground with cracks. What's going on? What happened here? Look, it's a man, grab him quickly. Advertisement. Is there an intruder? What a stupid guy, 
he dared to break into the king's heights by himself. Under the huge commotion, the area where Luo Wei landed naturally welcomed the guards and patrols rushing forward. After the air wave and the dust dissipated, when they saw Luo Wei, they shouted and rushed up in shock, wanting to arrest Luo Wei. Then let me make a big fuss. The ferocious way of landing did not affect Luo Wei at all, and he even ignored the many guards rushing over, but staring at the distant palace, his eyes instantly became horrified. Boom! An invisible circle of air waves erupted from Luo Wei's body in an instant, turning into a terrifying coercion and radiating towards the palace under the turbulent air in a radius of tens of meters. Puff puff! As if the conqueror's hockey, who wanted to shake the world, swept across, the sound of falling to the ground appeared in an endless stream. Not only did all the guards rushing towards Luo Wei roll their eyes wide and fainted, but in the palace where the conqueror's hockey radiated away, people were constantly seen unconscious on the ground. Although Luo Wei didn't improve the conqueror's hockey with the crime value and original sin value, but with the growth of his strength, the conqueror's hockey is also steadily increasing. Up to now, his conqueror's hockey strength has reached the full value of the seventh level, and it can be said that only one step is enough to enter the eighth level of strength. The conqueror's hockey with the full value of the seventh level is naturally extremely amazing in strength. Without superhuman combat power, it is impossible to resist this coercion. Advertisement. Backquote This is Conqueror's Hockey. Who? Who is using Conqueror's Hockey on us? Damn it, you dare to release Conqueror's Hockey on our family's territory so recklessly, no matter who you are, I won't let you go. Who is it? Such a powerful Conqueror's Hockey is definitely not something that ordinary people can have. We must stop the opponent. In just a split second, the palace on King's Heights was full of stunned people, and only a very small number of people resisted the impact of Conqueror's Hockey, and among these people, the cadres of the Don Quixote family were undoubtedly the leaders. Suddenly being attacked by Conqueror's Hockey, all the cadres were frightened and furious, and rushed out of the palace, towards the direction of Conqueror's Hockey. Good digging. Boom. Luo Wei, who was continuously releasing Conqueror's Hockey, didn't have to wait long, when the ground he was in suddenly shook. Suddenly, a series of sharp stone pillars rose up from the ground around him. They were like swaying tentacles, carrying a terrible impact, and quickly stabbing and attacking Luo Wei in the center. It's pretty fast. Luo Wei raised his brows, his face was completely flustered, and in an instant he pulled out the autumn water from his waist, and saw the sword light flickering ten sword chi like circles of air wave were centered on himself and moved. What? The sword energy showed an astonishing sharpness, not only rolled up the howling air waves, but also tore all the surrounding stone pillars in half. The broken stone pillars fell to the ground one after another, causing bursts of roars and violent vibrations of the earth. Advertisement. Chapter 226. Start with the rock please subscribe automatically. Second update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this time, the cadres of the Don Quixote family also rushed to the vicinity, and immediately saw Luo Wei walking out of the broken stone pillar. Is this man a crime hunter? What? He is the evil hunter. Isn't he in West Blue? The young master went there specifically to find him. No. The other party must have known that the young master went to West Blue, so they came here and tried to attack us. The cadres of the Don Quixote family who rushed to Luo Wei's place, except for the Sugar and Torrible, who were not seen, the others, including Violet, the cadre who was forced to join, were all present. And as Monet's expression changed drastically after seeing Luo Wei, and after he deduced the most possible reason, everyone else's expression also changed. Did he just make Doflamingo the evil hunter who needs help from the beast's pirates? Is he really here to deal with the Don Quixote family? Different from other cadres, Violet was surprised but also mixed with surprise, and at the same time, there was a strange color in her beautiful eyes looking at Luo Wei. When Monet and the others looked at Luo Wei, Luo Wei also glanced at him, and immediately his eyes flashed, and he took out his left hand that had been in his pocket all the time. In his hand, there was a phone bug that was in the connected state. After taking it out, he immediately said calmly to the phone bug's microphone, let's get started. The opposite of the phone bug is naturally the three of Perona. In the absence of sugar, the other party must be in the palace, and the three of Perona need to start looking for each other. Advertisement. After Luo Wei finished speaking, the phone bug that was originally connected ended the call. This is also planned. Once Luo Wei sends the message and Perona receives it, she will respond by hanging up the call, which means that they have already started to act. What about the evil hunter? It happens that the young master wants to get rid of you. Since you have sent yourself to the door, I will kill you for the young master. Seeing that the phone bug ended the call, Luo Wei was just about to put it in his pocket, when suddenly, a shrill voice came from behind, and at the same time, ten large heads were raised in the distorted ground. Open. Stone bite. Manipulating the head of the situation is undoubtedly Pika, one of the top cadres in the Don Quixote family. Under the shape of a huge stone skull with a cross-shaped helmet on the face, the opponent opened his mouth wide, and bit Luo Wei directly like a beast. The flow of thoughts Shen Luo Tianzheng. The majestic thought power converged behind him, and at the moment when the giant stone skull approached, a terrifying shock wave burst out from Luo Wei's back immediately. Bang! 
The shock wave visible to the naked eye directly blasted the huge stone skull into a sky full of rubble with terrifying force, and even unabated the lingering power, stirring up the void in front of it into layers of spreading storms. Do you really think that hiding underground is because it is safe? There was no sign of Pika in the giant stone skull that was bombarded, so it can be seen that he dived into the ground again while attacking. Advertisement. Luo Wei quickly put the phone bug in his pocket, a cold light flashed in his eyes, and he turned to the ground with observation hockey perception. Although observation hockey perception will be greatly limited due to the obstruction of rock and soil, but under the observation hockey of the 8th level intensity, Luo Wei still easily locked Pika's position. Standing straight up from the ground, Luo Wei appeared tens of meters above the sky in an instant. Luo Wei swung the autumn water fiercely, and slashed towards a place on the ground below. Jung. In the piercing light of the sword, a terrifying sword energy struck the ground fiercely like a huge crescent moon. Amidst the violent AJFG roar, the terrifying edge contained in the sword energy easily split the earth into two, tearing a deep crack hundreds of meters long and several meters wide. At the same time, in the crack, a huge figure was also full of pain, and fell to the bottom of the crack in embarrassment with blood on his body. This huge figure is exactly Pika hiding under the ground. Luo Wei's astonishing sword Qi shattered Dabi again, and also hit him with precision. Although he only used pure kendo, the sword energy released by Luo Wei is still extremely sharp in the 8th level strength of kendo realm. Even though Pika defended immediately when he was struck by the sword Qi, and covered his whole body with purple armament hockey, the sword Qi still tore out bloody Momo force marks. No, hurry up and help Pika. The fight between Luo Wei and Pika was only for a short time, and when the other cadres reacted later, they rushed forward in panic and anger to support. The first shot was Mona. Advertisement. She is a Lodia Snow Snow Fruit capable user. While rushing out, she waved her hands quickly, forming dense snow blades that cut towards Luo Wei quickly. Tempest Kick Dragon Tail, Luo Wei, who fell to the ground after the slash, glanced at him, twisted and spun in midair with his powerful airborne ability, and kicked out a huge slashing wave like a dragon's tail with his legs. A violent collision appeared immediately, and the, dragon wagging tail, slashing wave easily smashed the flying dense snow blades with an extremely violent attitude, and then directly hit Monet's body with a fierce aftermath. Boom. Terrible tearing force acted on the body, before Monet had time to react, his whole body was torn into pieces by the chopping wave. Hateful. The other cadres who followed were shocked, and fighters like Gladius immediately attacked Luo Wei angrily. Stone blasting. Gladius raised his right arm, and the mechanical device above immediately shot out several stone-like objects, not only shooting at Luo Wei like bullets, but also expanding rapidly during the lacing process. Boom boom boom. After the stone-like object that swelled like a cannonball hit Luo Wei who had just landed, a violent explosion occurred immediately, and the turbulent surrounding air swelled violently, causing dense cracks to crack on the nearby ground. But it's a pity that just after the explosion, a strong impact burst out from the inside, not only scattering the rolled-up dust, but also revealing an unscathed Luo Wei. Advertisement. Chapter 227 Constantly Crushing, Seeking Automatic Subscription. Three more. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Shave. Luo Wei's eyes looked sharply at Gladius who was attacking him, and they flashed out like lightning in an instant, so fast that it was difficult for observation hockey of average strength to understand. Poof. The frightening knife light flickered and disappeared, and when Luo Wei reappeared, he had already appeared behind Gladius. At the same time, a circle of blood spattered from Gladius' neck, his head was thrown off his shoulders, and flew into the air. Gladius. Monet, who had just been immune to Luo Wei's attack with elementalization, and his body reappeared under the white snow, immediately showed horror when he saw this scene. How is this possible? Gladius was instantly killed. Impossible. How could Gladius be killed? Gladius' death naturally shocked the others too. For example, both BABY5 and Buffalo hastily stopped the movement of rushing forward, ten faces were full of disbelief and horror. However, veteran cadres such as Jora, Mahabath and Senor Peak were more angry than shocked. They didn't stop their actions, but broke out a more ferocious offensive. A large amount of transparent smoke-like bubble clouds spewed out from Jora's palm, rushing towards Luo Wei quickly. Mahabasi and Senor Peak jumped high, and the other dived into the ground like swimming. Advertisement. Most of the cadres of the Don Quixote family are capable people, and one person, Eula, belongs to this category. Yora is a person with the ability of the fruit of art, and the transparent smoke from her palm can turn people into works of art imagined by themselves. As for Mahabasi and Senor Peak, one of them is a person with the ability to press tons of fruits, and the other is a person with the ability to produce fruits. Facing the transparent smoke sprayed out by Jora, Luo Wei casually shot out a ferocious shock wave with his thoughts, blowing the smoke away with strong power. At the same time, he stomped his foot, and after shaking a piece of gravel, the incomparable power of thought was attached to it. Boom. The gravel shot out, not only at a speed comparable to the bullets fired by a sniper rifle, but also with unimaginable power. The gravel directly hit Jora's head, as if a watermelon had exploded, and Jora's head was directly blasted by the gravel. 
10,000 ton buys of hell. At this moment, Mahabasi, who had leapt into the sky, plummeted towards Luo Wei's place. Under the effect of his ability, his body weight directly increased to 10,000 tons, which was as terrifying as falling like a meteorite. Under observation Haki's perception, Mahabasi's attack could not escape Luo Wei's insight at all. When the opponent fell, Luo Wei just swept to the distance. Bang! With a deafening roar, Mahabasis fell to the ground where Luo Wei was originally. The terrifying weight directly caused the ground to vibrate and collapse violently, and cracks spread rapidly to the surroundings. A huge deep pit soon appeared on the ground, and Mahabas was lying in it with many scars. Although his ability can freely adjust his body weight, and use it to attack the enemy, but the impact of the 10,000 ton fall will also cause damage to himself. Advertisement. Mao Mao back fall. Luo Wei, who was flying to the distance, stopped and was about to return when suddenly the ground behind him splashed like water, followed by Senor Piku jumped out of it and grabbed Luo Wei's body. Jung. The piercing knife light flashed quickly, and Luo Wei reacted the moment Senor Peak jumped out, turning around and slashing out. Without any suspense, although Senor Peak covered armament Haki's body in horror when Luo Wei turned around, he couldn't block the terrible slash at all. With the sound of tearing flesh and blood, before he could grab Luo Wei, his body had already been cut in half by the light of the knife falling on him. Ah, the body broke, and Senor Peak let out a scream, and the two parts of the body fell to the ground, and the upper body rolled over in pain while screaming. Boom. With a blank expression, Luo Wei raised his foot and kicked the opponent's head. Not only did Senor Peak's upper body fly tens of meters away, but it also completely cut off the opponent's vitality. Zero. Seeking flowers. Damn you, Sin Hunter. The successive deaths of Jora and Senor Peak are undoubtedly a heavy blow to others. After crawling out of the crack covered in blood, Haika let out a shrill roar when he saw the scene where Luo Wei kicked Senor Peak away. Stone. Advertisement. The ground around Luo Wei twisted and shook immediately, and on both sides of him there were two cylindrical stone pillars protruding from dozens of sharp stones with two circular cuts. Boom! Almost in an instant, two cylindrical stone pillars moved towards Luo Wei, colliding violently and colliding with each other, making a huge roar. Point zero. Pika, who just launched an attack, was not happy, because when the cylindrical stone pillars collided, Luo Wei had already jumped up and appeared in midair. The flow of thought's universal pull. His sharp eyes scanned the audience, Luo Wei did not counterattack Pika, but instead reached out to catch Mahabas in the deep pit. The majestic thought power turned into a terrifying suction force, and the enveloped Mahabasi immediately flew out of the deep pit, his body arched backwards and quickly flew in front of Luo Wei. The grabbed left hand immediately formed a claw, and Luo Wei directly clasped the opponent's neck with the finger pistol eagle claw, and pulled it hard, tearing Mahabasi's neck apart with one blow. BABY5, Buffalo, get out of here quickly contact the young master, and tell him that the evil hunters have attacked us. Seeing that Mahabasi died tragically in the hands of Luo Wei in the blink of an eye, Monet anxiously shouted at Baby 5 and Zongpaluo who were not far away. At the same time, after shouting, she rushed towards Luo Wei again, trying to stop Luo Wei and give them a chance to escape. Snowstorm. A large amount of cold air and white snow poured out of Monet rushing towards Luo Wei, which quickly turned into a snow tornado tens of meters high. Chapter 228 Killing Pika, please subscribe automatically. First update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The idea is good, but the strength is not enough. Monet's actions naturally made Luo Wei see the other party's intentions, and his thoughts wrapped around his body. After stepping in the air, he uttered lightly, swung his knife and slashed towards the snow tornado that was coming. Thinking flow. Fire. Songming. The scorching flames slashed out with the blade, forming a terrifying tornado-shaped flame sword light. Because the cold air brought by the snow tornado was quickly dissipated, and the scorching high temperature was transmitted crazily, the flames of the tornado collided with the snow tornado in an instant. Chi 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 chi. The collision of fire and snow filled the air with dense mist, and at the same time, it could be seen that the snow tornado was quickly evaporated by the flames. Compared with Kuzan, Monet's snow snow fruit has no pressure on Luo Wei at all. This is not only because the frozen fruit, 143, is actually superior to snow snow fruit, but also because of the degree of development of the two not on a level at all. Under the attack of Shanky's attributes, in the rapidly evaporating white snow, Monet was not only beaten back to his original shape, but also fell to the ground screaming with serious burns. Boom. The entire king's highland shook. On the ground, a huge figure rose continuously, and the rock and soil poured into this figure continuously like liquid. In a short period of time, a half-length stone statue with a height of more than 100 meters appeared on the ground, which was made by Pika with the stone fruit ability. Die. The stone statue was like a real-life body, with an angry expression on its face, and amidst the roar, raised its right arm and punched Luo Wei violently. Advertisement. The stone fist was 20 or 30 meters tall, and the terrifying force contained within it easily compressed the air into a hemispherical air wave visible to the naked eye, like a falling meteor. Go, baby five, let's go. 
From Monet's departure to Pika's mad attack, all happened within a few breaths. After reacting, the terrified buffalo turned around and wanted to escape after shouting at Baby Five beside him. Tears of hot iron I wail. Before Baby Five could react, a huge high temperature wail suddenly charged from not far away, intercepting Buffalo who was trying to escape. What are you doing, Violet? Buffalo was shocked, stopped his movements quickly, and then looked at the person who blocked him in shock and anger. The opponent was Violet who had never shot since the battle. Bang. Unfortunately, before Buffalo could wait for Violet's answer, there was a deafening roar behind him. When his heart was shaken, and he hurriedly turned around to look, his mouth grew bigger, and his face was full of shocked expressions. The flaming and huge sword light flew up, facing the falling huge stone fist, Luo Wei didn't dodge at all, but went directly to meet it, and sent out an astonishing slash. What shocked Buffalo was the scene where the sword light tore through the huge stone fist, and even severed the stone statue. The broken arm fell, and a cross-cut crack appeared on the towering stone statue like a mountain. Immediately, the upper half was seen slanting down, falling towards the ground. His figure flashed like lightning, and Luo Wei, who sent out the slash, did not stop but directly appeared in front of the half-stone statue that fell to the ground, and then directly grabbed it in the air. Advertisement. Boom. Amidst the roaring sound like an explosion, the center of the falling stone statue instantly shattered, countless stones were scattered, and Pika hidden inside was directly forcibly sucked out by Luo Wei's universal pull. Sin Hunter. After being sucked out of the stone statue, Pika was extremely frightened and furious. He wanted to control his body to stop, but he couldn't do it at all. When he saw Luo Wei, who was approaching him quickly, he roared and raised his fist. Luo Wei's expression remained unchanged, he was not intimidated by the opponent's attack posture at all, he continued to absorb, and slashed at the opponent with a single stroke. Boom. An astonishing collision immediately appeared, Luo Wei's slash directly tore through Pika's armament hockey defense, not only cut off his fist arm, but also slashed hard on his chest. The violent air wave circle spread out, and the turbulent void with a radius of tens of meters trembled endlessly, and at the same time, there was also a billowing spray of blood. With one blow, Luo Wei chopped Pika's body in half. After armament hockey dissipated, his eyes quickly dimmed, and he fell to the ground in two pieces. Bang bang. The place where Pika's body fell was right in front of Buffalo and Baby 5 and the sound of the body hitting the ground immediately woke up Buffalo and Baby 5 who were in shock. Ah. Buffalo screamed subconsciously, looked at the mutilated corpse, and staggered back, with a terrified expression on his face. How could it be that even Lord Pika is dead? Advertisement. Although Baby 5 was not as unbearable, his face was still pale, and his expression of disbelief was mixed with panic. Swish. Suddenly, Buffalo, who was retreating, froze in place, and a bloodline slowly emerged from his neck as the cold light flickered. The mouth was open, but he couldn't speak anymore, Buffalo's head fell off his neck quickly, and landed at Baby Five's feet while rolling. Ah, when Baby Five saw Buffalo's head, his pupils constricted violently, followed by a scream, his legs went limp, and he fell to the ground. The one who cut off Buffalo's head was Luo Wei who fell from the sky at some unknown time. He glanced at the screaming BABY5, and the invisible force instantly enveloped the BABY5. The screaming stopped abruptly, and Baby5 was imprisoned in place as if being hit by acupoints, not only unable to move the body even the sound could not be uttered. Want to escape? Come here. Suddenly, Luo Wei turned his head to look into the distance, and saw a figure staggering towards the distance as far as he could see. Raising his hand to grasp falsely, the unparalleled suction immediately stretched away, and in the distance, Monet, who was trying to escape, flew backwards towards Luo Wei with a coquettish cry. Almost instantly, Monet came close, and then was imprisoned by Luo Wei with his thoughts. Even a person with the ability of Logia, under the shroud of fully enclosed thought power, Monet couldn't break free from the confinement, at most he turned into a ball of white snow. Advertisement. Chapter 229 Solicitation, Seeking Automatic Subscription. Second Update. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. After doing all this, Luo Wei looked to the side again, opposite to Violet who just prevented Buffalo from escaping. Why did you stop this guy from escaping just now? Luo Wei didn't pay attention to the two people who were imprisoned by him, but looked at Violet who was not far away, pointed to Buffalo's body in front of him, and said to the other party. Just looking at her, Violet felt tremendous pressure from Luo Wei. I used to be the princess of this king, Da Flamingo took this country, I want revenge. Slightly hesitant, Violet gritted her teeth and truthfully told the reason after glancing at the corpses of the nearby Don Quixote family cadres, as well as Baby 5 and Monet who were unable to move for unknown reasons. Luo Wei nodded slightly, and said, Since you have a grudge against Da Flamingo 09, are you interested in joining my team? After all, our enemies are the same. Naturally, he would not be unfamiliar with the other party. What he said before was just to open up the topic. Although he intends to destroy the Don Quixote family, he does not intend to eliminate all members. Like Violet, not only was she coerced into joining the Don Quixote family, but Luo Wei also admired her very much for her abilities. 
If possible, he naturally has the idea of recruiting the other party into the Hunter Brigade. Advertisement. Violet froze for a moment, she naturally understood what Luo Wei wanted to recruit her. Reminiscent of the overwhelming strength that Luo Wei showed just now, and Doflamingo dared not go alone in order to deal with Luo Wei, but instead sought the assistance of the beast's pirates, her heart felt turbulent. Okay, as long as you can help me kill Doflamingo, I'm willing to join your team. Without much hesitation, Violet said firmly. Luo Wei was not surprised by the other party's answer, and nodded with a smile on his face. No problem, I will kill Doflamingo. Hearing this, Violet heaved a sigh of relief as if relieved, and at the same time showed a beautiful smile on her pretty face, and walked in front of Luo Wei. Then what should I call you now, the captain or the chief? After making a decision, Violet quickly adjusted her status and new identity, and asked Luo Wei respectfully. Although Doflamingo is not dead yet, Luo Wei has killed Pika and other Don Quixote family cadres in a row, which is enough to make Violet develop a good impression and closeness to Luo Wei. Call me captain, our team is not pirates, but a brigade of hunters. Luo Wei smiled lightly. Hunter Brigade, Violet repeated softly, analyzing the meaning of this title. After a while, she nodded heavily and said, Understood, then I will ask the leader to take care of me in the future. Naturally, Luo Wei smiled and nodded. Advertisement. As he spoke, he looked at BABY5 and Monet who were imprisoned by him, and after thinking for a while, he said to Violet, Both of them have good abilities, it would be a pity to kill them. You are now a member of the Brigade, and you have some relationship with these two people. I don't know if you mind if I recruit these two people into the brigade. Monet is a Logia Snow Snow Fruit capable user, and Baby 5 is a Weapon Fruit capable user. Although their Devil Fruit abilities are not top notch, they are definitely first class Devil Fruit power, with great potential. In addition, Luo Wei is very satisfied with the appearance and figure of the two, which is another reason why he wants to recruit. Violet subconsciously stared at Baby 5 and Monet. The former looked at Luo Wei with resentment in his eyes after finding out that he could not fight for the imprisonment, while the latter was full of panic and fear. Violet didn't think too much about Luo Wei being able to say her name, but what Luo Wei expressed surprised her. Luo Wei's words undoubtedly showed respect and importance to her, rather than being used as a tool. Compared with Doflamingo's coercion, Luo Wei's method is undoubtedly much more clever, and it also made Violet develop a good impression of Luo Wei not long after the two parties first met. It doesn't matter. Although these two are the cadres of the Don Quixote family, the only person I hate is Doflamingo. Since the head of the group has taken a fancy to them, it's their luck. After sorting out her emotions, Violet shook her head and smiled at Luo Wei. Advertisement. She is not a person who does not know how to advance and retreat, just like Luo Wei expressed respect for her, she also knows how to reciprocate, and will give Luo Wei full trust. Luo Wei naturally appreciates this very much. If Violet expressed objection just now, he would of course get rid of Monet in order to buy people's hearts, but he would also lose interest in Violet. These 710 interests are naturally not about the relationship between men and women, but about cultivating each other as confidants such as Perona and Nico Robin. After Violet expressed that she didn't mind, Luo Wei also waved his hand to release part of the restraint on Monet and BABY5, allowing them to regain their ability to speak. You heard what I said just now, how about it, are you willing to join my team? Luo Wei looked at Monet and Baby 5 with a smile. Hey, don't dream, you killed Pika and the others, the young master will never let you go. Hey, do you need me? The reactions of the two women were completely opposite. Monet had a look of hostility and anger, while Baby 5's eyes lit up, and her pretty face was full of surprise and anticipation. Luo Wei naturally chose to deal with the best Baby 5 first, and said with a smile, Of course, I need you very much, so are you willing to join my team? I am very willing, please let me work for you. Baby 5 said happily without any hesitation. Because of her childhood experience, she desperately longed to be needed by others. Now facing Luo Wei's needs, how could she refuse? Advertisement. Chapter 230 Coercion and Confluence Please subscribe automatically. Third update. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Similarly, although Luo Wei is aware of Baby 5's mental defects, he doesn't care too much about it. Baby 5's inability to refuse the needs of others is indeed a serious flaw, but this flaw is not unsolvable, and he naturally has follow-up methods to deal with it. After Baby 5 surrendered, Luo Wei completely released the other party's imprisonment, and the free Baby 5 came behind Luo Wei obediently like a little maid, just like the clothes on her body. Regarding Baby 5's series of reactions, neither Violet nor Monet was surprised, because they were also aware of Baby 5's flaws. Why, are you just so loyal to Doflamingo? After dealing with BABY5, Luo Wei naturally looked at Monet who looked at him hostily. HMPH, if you want to kill, kill, I can't betray the young master. Maybe knowing that anger is useless, Monet just opened his eyes and waited to die. Luo Wei was not surprised by Monet's determination. In the original book, the other party showed his loyalty to Doflamingo. 
it can be said that in the entire Don Quixote family, Monet is the most loyal to Doflamingo. However, it was precisely because of the loyalty of the other party that Luo Wei would give him more opportunities, otherwise he would have killed the other party long ago. So, you don't even care about your sister's life, Luo Wei said lightly. Advertisement. Although he didn't know what method Doflamingo used to make the other party so loyal, he was not interested in finding out, but decisively took out his own chips. Mona, who had closed his eyes waiting to die, suddenly opened his eyes, and the determined look on his face was replaced by shock and anger. What are you going to do to Granu? No, you have accomplices, you attracted us, it's for your friends to deal with Granos, right? After all, he is the person who can serve as Doflamingo's secretary, and even in the excitement, he still maintains a quick mind. Luo Wei's words immediately made her aware of the problem, and she looked angry. Smart. Then tell your choice now, is it to sacrifice your sister for allegiance, or to surrender to my enemy for the sake of my sister? Meme. For Monet's disdain, Luo Wei didn't make any waves, because he didn't think he was a good person. Although the golden template is nourished by evil, it does not mean that he will become a good person. On the contrary, for Luo Wei, the golden template is just a tool to make himself stronger, and what he does is only for his own benefit. Whether it's intimidation or temptation, as long as it doesn't touch Luo Wei's own bottom line, he doesn't care what method he uses. Don't talk nonsense, just tell me your choice, I'm afraid your sister may have been killed by my companions in a while. Luo Wei said indifferently. This is of course just a kind of psychological coercion. In fact, although he asked the three of Perona to deal with the sugar, he also confessed that they would keep the sugar alive. Advertisement. Tongchu Guo's ability is one of the abilities that he also values. Unless it is absolutely necessary, Granos is also one of the people he wants to incorporate into the brigade. Monet glared at Luo Wei, but soon became discouraged again, and said decadently, You won, as long as you don't hurt Granu, I am willing to join your team. A very wise choice. The corners of Luo Wei's mouth rose, and a slight smile appeared on his face. Although he understood that the other party was only temporarily submitting, not a real submission, but it was enough. As long as he holds the life of the sugar, plus he will cut off the other party's thoughts later, it will only be a matter of time before he can kill Doflamingo and completely subdue him. Like BABY5, after Monet gave Luo Wei a satisfactory answer, Luo Wei also completely released the other party's imprisonment. Luo Wei is not worried that the opponent will act recklessly, with his strength and the power of Nian Nian fruit, if the opponent changes, he is enough to suppress the opponent in an instant. Mona obviously knew a little better, so after regaining his freedom, he just looked a little lonely, and then came behind Luo Wei like baby dollar. Violet, check the situation over there. Seeing that Monet was very honest, Luo Wei told Violet. Although his knowledge and knowledge are enough to easily cover the entire King's Highland, it is undoubtedly much worse than the detection ability of Gangao Guo. Asterisk backquote understood, Violet nodded, and then touched the fingertips of the index fingers and thumbs of both hands, showing the okay gesture and placing them in front of his eyes. Advertisement. Her current development of the staring fruit may not be as good as when it appeared in the original book, but the scope of investigation is enough to cover the entire King's Highland. But after a while, a strange color appeared on Violet's face, and she said quickly, Captain, Grano seems to have been fainted by your companion, and Torebel, who was in charge of protecting her, was also cut into pieces. Quite a few bucks. Oh, was it resolved so quickly? Luo Wei raised his brows, with a look of surprise on his face. He originally thought that Perona and the others were still fighting fiercely with Torre Pole. Now, he seemed to have underestimated Perona and the others, or he might have overestimated Torre, did Zhao Pol's ability. But no matter what happened, it was a good thing for Luo Wei that Perona and the others could get rid of Torebel and Granos. He took out the phone bug directly. Hey, it's me, have you already dealt with the enemy? Of course, we were just about to meet you. Okay. Then come out, I'll wait for you at the south side of the King's Highland. After a brief conversation, Luo Wei just stayed where he was and waited for him. After a short while, several figures quickly walked towards the direction of the palace. These figures are Perona, Nico Robin, and Luo. At the same time, Luo Wei's hands are still holding something, one side is the sugar in a coma, and the other is Torval's head. Ahem, it's still three o'clock today. Advertisement. 